have a spell that gives me plus ten to sneak. I have axe equals whack. I got a spell that can fuck some shit up. Wow, thanks for cursing within the first 60 seconds. It, you didn't say you were just starting. You said you started like 20 minutes ago. I did. Come. You check the kid friendly option. And you'll oh, see. Yeah. <laughs> you just get banned. Sued for $40 million. actually surprised the YouTube Rewind for 2019 wasn't horrible. It's just a top ten list. Yeah, that's all You can't is. make it horrible. It's impossible. They, they went the easy route. Yeah. Well, they could have fucked it up like they have the past four years. <laughs> I didn't yeah, hear disappointing. Boomer once, and I'm very disappointed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> okay, Boomer. That's where the Gen Z wars come in. Yeah. What is uh, 2001 in our world? Because I know, like... Gen Z is 1995 to, like, 2007. Come on, Steve. You've got to Google it. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Because I, I know... Gen I know Z Christian. is 1995 to 2000-something. I know Christian's Gen Z. He yeah. was born, like, 1996. Yeah, like, barely. He was almost a millennial. Very close. I mean, he's, he's it, glad he wasn't. It doesn't fucking matter because generations are bullshit. Yes. Huh. Uh, 1997 and 2012. Generations are bullshit. They are. And years mean nothing. Got the book opened where we need to start whenever everyone's ready and has their stuff up. Daniel is grabbing his laptop. He said it's here as soon as he gets it. Millennial is 1981 and 1996. Gen Z nerds are fucking bullshit. Everybody knows boomers don't exist. Be dead in a few years. But they don't exist, so how can they die? How Just can unicorns like die? They don't exist, so they don't die. Spartans never die. They just come in our life. Until you start lasting them. You son of a bitch. I'm dead. Then you die a lot. Eh. Dying's boring. You gotta do it in a fun way. It's like last of Ah, yes. Suicidal terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm getting blown up by your friends. <laughs> hmm. I was thinking more along the lines of inventive suicide, but. Suicide is badass! <laughs> oh no. I am Danny DeVito. So anyways, let's start at greyest. So anyways. A man who should be the next Wolverine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I'm the trash man. Actually, Danny DeVito doesn't exist. He can't hurt me, Danny DeVito. Danny Have you seen DeVito. that meme? No. Nor Fan do I want to. The Thanos version of Danny DeVito. Jojo DeVito would be Stanny DeVito. <laughs> we need to make that a character. I'm not. Charisma plus 20. No. I already made Terry I Bogard a character. 20. I don't need to make a fuck another one. Who? Terry Bogard. Is that the big muscly guy? What? Was he the guy from Brooklyn Nine-Nine? No. He's the one with the huge penis. Who? He's a Smash <laughs> character. <laughs> yeah, the one he with was the from huge King, penis. He was from King of Fighters. Oh, that's why I don't know them. And he has an ability that if he is damaged enough, he can just summon a 
fucking pillar of fire in front of him as many times as he wants. At least in Smash, not in the actual game. He can do that, but... You fuck? He also has Buster Wolf, where he can, like, charge forward, grab somebody, and then just fucking put a Rip hole in them. See, he's a masochist, because the more damage he takes, the harder he gets. I mean... <laughs> just yes, like Lucario. Don't ask me what I mean. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> That's how every I would imagine has. you just played Smash, <laughs> but is there some other way? I don't want to see your search history. I mean, it's got to exist, see my right? History. I don't want to remember what I look up. <laughs> oh, no. I don't either, to be fair. Lucario DDS. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I will show you it if I find it. You're probably going to find some. You will. Uh, I'd give it about 30 seconds. Not even. There's four figures. <laughs> On rule 34. Uh, <laughs> there's been no in that. <laughs> it's a bush. You want me to go over and ask him to turn down his music? I mean, it's not that loud, but he should be... Okay, do you want the image with the penis or without the penis? Whatever you want. All right, I'll go without the penis. A lot of them have sneaky penises where it's just like, you don't see it at first, and then... <laughs> Magically, there's a penis. Yeah, that's... Oh. Uh, did I did I miss the penis? <laughs> no, I didn't. I, didn't. <laughs> I don't want to see it. You want to see the penis version? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Are we actually ready to start at any point? If you need an extra character sheet, I got some stock on it. I don't. Sean? Everyone does it digitally except for you. Yeah. Hmm. At least everyone in this group, I should say. No. It's every D&D player. I don't know about that. I didn't do anything. Have you actually started record? Actually started recording yet? Or uh, for eight minutes we've been recording. You oh. son of a bitch! <laughs> so they heard your entire conversation of that. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. I'll go to the stream and link some Lucario <laughs> DDSM <laughs> coins. No one will see it because no one's gonna show up. The, see, this the is the, this is the only time where like fifty people are gonna show up, and they're all gonna follow that link. Mm. What's the I unevolved form of Lucario? What? What's the unevolved form of Lucario? Leola. Oh no! Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard! That's child porn. It's <laughs> child porn, and it's feed to be What is wrong with you? Oh, look, man, I'm just scrolling. <laughs> He's just curious, that's all. You're the one who looked it up. <laughs> what? Curiosity traumatized the cat. <laughs> what the hell? It's just that. You like to see her? You made a wise decision. <laughs> I mean, I already saw what you showed him, but okay. <laughs> There's more. No! We don't need more. This, nah, they're man. all horrible, except for, like, one of them. Yeah, because child porn's fine in some cases. It's not child porn, it's <laughs> pregnant porn. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lucario, uh, he's, got the, he's got the spike in the middle of his chest. Get started. Can we put that behind us and just start the <laughs> You never put that behind us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just did. It's always there. And I still, still there, see it. My eyes are wide open. I it's still there, but I'm behind you. you want to see some more? Yeah, put porn behind you. That's a great idea. Gario's <laughs> titties are like plants. Kyle! <laughs> Let's do this. 
No, that's that's what we don't want to do. We want the exact opposite of that to be happening. Not even the bard wants to hear that. She's just disappointed. Same. Are we in character when we want your card? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is one of the times where the I wouldn't suggest it. I think that's one of the things where the timelines have kind of merged unwillingly. Because Joker would absolutely just fucking kill him. The oh, please. The BDSM Lucario porn is strong enough to break parallel universes. <laughs> in half. <laughs> I said merge, not break. There's, like, a surprising amount of gender bent Lucario. And it's not even porn. Like, none of it's porn. You know, it's, it's all really just, like, actual fan art of gender bent Lucario. You know Lucario is literally just a Pokemon, right? They put titties on it. (laughs) This is pleasant. Let's get this shit started before I go even crazier. I mean, most of the time it's not even titties. Will you fucking stop, please? It's just big thighs. Oh my god, man! It's really not that bad. He's only one of the They're short. (laughs) They're short. They're straight. What the fuck? It's just gender bent. It's not even porn. I don't know what you want from me. Okay, now that's porn. (laughs) (laughs) Please just start the fucking session. It's just gender bent. Yeah, it's just gender. What? Show me in the Bible where it says gender bending is illegal. (laughs) Which version? Was that the like? Was that the fifteenth commandment? (laughs) They're like. Fifteen. Well, actually, by now there's probably a couple thousand different ver- versions. Any. Fucking Christ. In the yeah. furry Bible, maybe. <laughs> Fucking damn it. Heresy. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to save this till someone died. You guys are eating chocolate. I died. Yeah. I'm allergic to it. So. <laughs> what the fuck is with you and slamming the goddamn table? That's literally what you're supposed to do with this. You're supposed to slam it to break apart the little wedges. That doesn't excuse why you've done it like three times before then. Because I'd rather, because otherwise I'd probably hit him. And you haven't actively. You're gonna die next. I will kill your goddamn elephant Come on, and skin it. I'll moan the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The character Batman. might be uncomfortable, but I sure as hell won't be. That was one of the most uh-huh. powerful threats I've heard of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chat map. Hello. You missed everything, and you should be eternally thankful that you did. Hey, you want to see Lucario BDSM? Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake! <laughs> Okay, boomer. <laughs> that is one of the most pathetic attempts I've ever seen. Is you did that and it somehow went forward away, trying to escape to freedom. And you just fucking took it back. Like, no, you son of a bitch! <laughs> You're mine, bastard! I need to make a character that's just like fucking insane, just constantly yelling random (laughs) shit. Well, you have plenty of hope for that. No, no, like worse. (laughs) Oh fuck! The whole goal is to take this crazy person and keep them alive. (laughs) The entire. (laughs) I have the perfect name. We can do a one shot with that. Banana fish. (laughs) No. Give me a better name for a crazy. Uh, well, depending on their race, you got a point. That's just self-interest, though. Yeah, yeah. What do you think Joker is? You're not Joker. I'm not, but she's my character. A self-insert like is when you put yourself insert. in a thing. Right, I'm retarded. Never mind. It's not, like if that were the case, they have like a negative and all the fucking ability scores. You're like third-party inserting. Think you about bitch. it. Third party inserting. What about it? Doesn't make sense. 
to a degree, I suppose. I love these oranges. It's not a fucking orange. It's, chocolate. it's not actually a fruit. You're not being healthy in any way. <laughs> it's a chocolate orange. Fuck off. Uh, it's in the shape of an orange. Who gives a shit? It's not chocolate. It's still an orange. It's an orange. It's orange in it. I don't know if I believe that. I'm pretty sure it's just a solid block of chocolate. Would you like to taste it? Do you want me to die? No, but you're disbelieving the chocolate. Because I'm looking at it. Anyway. Is everyone level 9? That was genuine encouragement. Uh, and you just... You mock me when I say that. I mock everyone. You but rolled, I also give love to everyone. You rolled a 1 to it's care. It's the same thing. You rolled a 1 to care. My mocking and my love are the same. <laughs> you must understand it. <laughs> so you're a sadist. <coughs> sure. <laughs> yes. No, no. All I right. Mean, he's a sundere. To be fair, I do the same thing, yeah. so. Same thing. All right. I mean, I suck dick for crack, so. <laughs> I suck for Christian's ones? dick just because I wanted to. All right. Fair enough. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to assume the party picked up the elephant at some point, and you've made your way through 70 rooms of this dungeon, and that's where we're going to pick up. There's not a whole lot in all those rooms other than just traps, and fights, ways, and ways to waste all of our spell slots. That, death, no. so, a lot of things. Can we roll for loot? No. You want to also roll to lose all of your fucking spell slots and health? No. How many? How much more HP did you get? We're at level nine. You're just you're level nine. Okay. Magically at level nine. We got a lot of shit to update. So much. And uh, you're in a room. You don't say. I don't say. I explain. Enthusiastically. <laughs> and, uh. We're in a room, he ejaculated. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I guess that was a thing that I had to hear. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, in the room, there is a large pillar in the center. It's kind of letting out this very bright green gas in the room's a bit hazy. Is it the pig bitch? Is it that thing? Is it that pig thing? Like the pig demon from you the You said we room? went through like 70 floors already. Oh, oh that's what I'm trying to come through here. I mean, you guys are already pretty much a floor away from the final fight. We're just we're going from here because I don't know how long this is going to take mm. and we're going to find out. It's going to take I doubt that, because Acerac's going to step in. You just don't know when. You fool. All of my spells are movement. <laughs> you think he can't catch you? I'm not moving me. I wonder if oh, I you want to try and move him. I wonder if I should have Good your fucking luck. Black pool. They never seem to come up. You could just make a black hole. I think you make a wall. Wait. Black hole beats wall. Wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> How big is the boss? Mm. How no. big is the room we're in now? I can tell you that because you're in the room. Uh, it is 35 feet by 40 feet. And there is, uh, it's called banisters. Like there's like a floor yeah. above. Mm -hmm. It's like a walkway. Yeah. Essentially that is on both sides of the room. And the set of stairs are on the other side. is releasing the green mist and the room's kind of hazy. So it's a weed pillar. Could be. Uh, you want to take in a big whiff of it? Yes. Cool. Take Do you need a set of eyes? Uh, 
Not be far off. Well, Does anyone want a wedge of chocolate orange? It's just chocolate. It's I will take a wedge of chocolate orange. orange. If you would be so kind. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Zion. Uh, give me a con saving throw, elephant boy. Yeah. Girl. He's a woman. How was your character? I got no idea what my fucking bonus is. It's probably a plus five, hopefully. Yes, it is. I got a nine. You failed. Really? I would not have fucking guessed. Wow. They're at CVS and Kroger. They are very good. You take 28 poison damage. Fuck. Does anybody else want to take a huge whiff of this gas? Fuck no. Am I, I high? Will, hell no. <laughs> what? Am I high? No. Fuck! Um, Your lungs like just hurt. I would like to roll. You feel shortness of breath. I would like to roll to see what to try and see what it is or where the gas at. It's gas. Gas. It's coming from the pillar in the center, like I said. Like me. Can I roll investigation for more details? Sure. Gas is clearly some sort of magical poison. It's clearly meant to keep the living out of the room. Plastic. Oh, I <coughs> got a weed counter in the middle. Got it. Um, Fuck, it hurts. <laughs> oh. It's a poison tower. Not. Uh, no, just. Huh? No, it's weed. Go back. <laughs> Fox, are you trying sure? to kill the newbie? Try to burn. Don't don't leave any more evidences. You want to try some? No. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna grab him and try to make him take a fucking whiff of this. I'm a you. her. I am a she. I'm gonna grab you. How the I would hell like, would you do it? I would like to not be grabbed with my trunk. I'm gonna pick you up by the neck and just plop you in. Can I dex the fuck Ooh, away I'm an from elephant. That? <laughs> you're already I'm in the gas. It's just as long as it's you're a race. not fucking snorting the shit, you're fine. It's called Loxodon. I'm like an elephant humanoid. Okay, that works. What is so, by the way, if you're on this gas for too long, you will start all taking poison damage. Is this is why I suggested it. Is it literally the entire room, or yes. is it just like fanning out? The entire room is poison. We should probably move on to the next room before we... Um, before the gas starts to take effect. I misunderstood where the gas was. All in the room. Yes, it's everywhere. It's just like a small area around the pillar. No, it is all over the room. I understand now. Lovely. Where's the door? <laughs> uh, there are six doors in the room, uh, technically. One's a gate, but there are six doors. Uh, across the room is the gate. And to your right, up on the banister, is three doors, and to the left, there are two doors. So you have to walk up the banister to get to any of these. And as the group is talking, three little figures walk up to the party. What did they look like? Hey, girl. You're a little sneaky. I'm not. <laughs> Failed your... Three tiny figures check. waddle towards you through the smoky haze. A straw doll with rusty pins sticking in its body. A faceless child molded from clay, and a stuffed monkey with the lower body of a unicycle. I'm starting the box. The straw doll says, you need to run away. The Sewn Sisters will be back any minute now. The what sisters? Sewn Sisters. Sewn. I'm assuming they've been sewn together. You like to come up with that? I'm sorry, but what? That's the three things that have approached you. Thank you, children. Let's Aww, go. Little babies. They are very tiny. Aww. They're like a foot tall each. I'm going to step on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> cool. 
card. Give me a dex check. Specifically the monkey one. <laughs> Give me a dex check. Understood. Ah, negative one dex, my favorite. You fail. You got a net 20. What if he gets a net 20? Then you have a 19. I'm really kidding. And it has a plus three of dex. A net 20 would just be a crit success. You can still beat a net 20 if your modifier's high enough. Two people roll net 20s. Does it do a re-roll? No. That hurts. Then, it, then that. it's determined by a modifier. Just like an initiative, what I didn't know is that if two people roll the same number in initiative, whichever one has the higher dex mod goes first. You don't get re-roll. Nice. Good for you. I didn't know that, but that's a thing. I should probably. <laughs> Let's go to the next room. There are five of them. Which one do you want to go to? Door number one on the left. Let's go. Number one on the left. <laughs> All right. We are going to fucking die. Cool. You want to go to a different door so I make them suggestions? The timer is still going, by the way. Make your decisions with All right, let's go. When you pick first door, do you mean the first one that you come across or the one that's farthest on the left, which would be all the way down the banister? Farthest on the left. Why do you get to make a choice like this? Well, we're doing the opposite of what you just said, so... Level A. On the door is a large square carving. The room is filled with flying sheets of parchment, with writing on the pages visible as they flutter by. A metal plate bolted on the far wall is set with a ghostly lever. Is this the Harry Potter room? Because I was thinking, is I was like, this is Harry Potter <laughs> shit. No, this room is not poison. Okay. I'm just reading out of the book. <laughs> sure, what do you want to do? Can I, like, try and see what the fuck the papers are? Dex check. A dex. Like pure dex or yeah. acrobatics or something? Pure dex to catch a piece of paper. or you roll the d6? I don't care which. Either you can roll one or I can roll one. I'll test your one. One. Lovely, it's a level one spell. What does that mean? It's a level one spell right on the piece of paper. Is it a spell scroll room? Yes. Which one I need is? to which one figure is? out what spell it is. Like, can I use it? Yeah. <laughs> It has one charge on it. A level one spell. Mm, yeah. Which I will just figure out what the fucking spell is. What does it say on the page? It's the spell. <coughs> hey, small dog. What does it say? It's a detect magic spell. It's a detect magic spell. Uh, Pew. Use a spell scroll then. We should probably pick one. <laughs> <laughs> Dex check. If you want to catch yeah, one. For order. Can I grab like a few more? I got a four. <laughs> you failed. Oh Fuck. Fuck. Can I grab a few more? You can try and grab one. Oh, there's 17. Plus. Plus five. That's a lot. 22. Seven. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Wait, is he trying to grab one as well? <laughs> I know that. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? Yes, I'll grab a piece of parchment paper. What'd you roll? 23. Lovely. You catch one, and it is, woo, a level five spell. Oh, hell. <laughs> find amount. <laughs> Wait, what's a level five find amount? That's going to be weird. Uh, uh, gotta find it again. Uh, oh, here we go. So, let me filter by level five spells, and then I'll just... How many different levels? It's a level five fireball. There's a lot of fucking more spells in here. Shit! All right. There's a lot of spells in here. All right, we're gonna go with. You get cone of cold. One use. What does that do? 
I have one more guitar. Cone of Cold. It's one action, has a range of 60 feet. It's a cone. Um, a blast of cold air erupts from your hands. Each creature in the 60 foot cone must make a constitution saving throw. A creature takes 8d8 cold damage on a failed save, which happens much on a successful one. A creature killed by this spell becomes a frozen statue until it thaws. friend grab another one. Sure. I'm sure there are no downsides to this. How many are there? There are 20, 30 floating around in the air. 11. 11. You succeed. You catch one. You want to roll a d6 or should I? 5. It's a 5 spell. Ooh. Yours is a commune spell. What does commune do? You contact your deity or divine proxy and ask after three questions that can be answered with a yes or a no. You must ask your questions before the spell ends, and you receive a correct answer for each question. Divine beings aren't necessarily omniscient, so you might receive an unclear answer, uh, as if a question pertains to information that lies beyond the deity's knowledge. In a case where a one-word answer could be misleading or contrary to the deity's interests, the DM might offer a short phrase as an answer instead. You know... So you just get to ask a god some questions. Magic man, you answer gotta my ask. question. Hmm? Are traps gay? <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. False. I don't know. Um, I'd like to try and grab one more. Oh, roll. Eight. You fail. Okay, I'd like to actually catch one more before I quit. I like the number three. There's nobody else going to try. I can't. Three. Sweet, good. I'm gonna keep rolling until I get it. I got Eight, a 17. Seven. I mean, he rolled twice, so you might as well get to roll twice. All right, do you want me to roll the six or you roll the six? Six. Six, six spell. <laughs> I'm basically a chad. Let's look up a level six spell. All right, how many are there? Ah, uh, there's more than fucking fifth level. Uh, Don't ooh. they build off on each other because different spells can be cast at higher levels? Six, seven, eight, nine. I'm kind of sad that the only spell with a lot of support spells. I just want a level six high guy. You get the magic jar spell. The fuck does that do? I have no idea, but it's got a huge ass fucking text box. I'll read it. I'll find out. I got it right here. I've read Help Us Dead Spell. Oh one. my god. Rune Smith did a video on this like fucking three days ago or some shit. You put your soul in a jar and then you can put the jar in a place and any person in like a fucking 150 foot radius, you can just take over their body with a charisma check. And if they die with your soul in it, your soul goes back to the <coughs> jar. That would be <coughs> amazing <coughs> for my character. <coughs> It'd be amazing for a necromancer in a tower somewhere who just wants to be a dick to a town. <laughs> oh, um, a necromancer spell. Can I catch one more piece of paper? One last piece of paper. All the papers turn to dust. Damn it. And a dust method appears. A what? A dust method. I still don't know what the fuck that is. A dust method is what that is. Okay, please explain what the fucking de a dust method is. An amazing little creature. Uh, fucking a bastard. It's only half a challenge rating. Half a challenge rating. And by one, I mean there's four of them. Fuck. Regardless. A dust method? Yes. Don't look up the stat block or they will kill you first. I just want a picture of the fucking thing. You can have a picture. I don't care about the picture. 
Everybody roll initiative. Four. Two shits. Come back here. Holy shit. Well, they didn't roll too shabby. Okay. I'm going to need to keep track of all these initiatives. Wow, Joker. Holy fucking shit. These things are fucking ugly. Yeah, this shit must be vexed, motherfucker. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so I got 18. Uh, okay. Joker got... Oh, I don't, I don't want to put that there. Whoops. Dylan. Uh, hold on. I'm figuring out my two that I just rolled. Joker got a 22. Uh, Method got a 14. Okay. Kyle first. 20. That's the only good initiative roll I've ever done. What did you I think roll? I get a 20 with a negative one. Oh, alert. Oh. Okay, Bard. Um, I got a nat 20 plus 5 for 25. You're probably going first. Uh, Barbarian boy. 23. Wow. You Everyone rolled fucking, fucking high. great. Uh, monk. Are we going to fuck these guys up? Oh, and Sam. Cool. So the order is going to be Bard, Barbarian, Rogue, Monk, Method. Did I forget anybody? I forgot somebody. You forgot Cat Map. You said Monk. I said Monk. Oh. You fool. Did I forget Kyle? Monk. Probably. I didn't. You said you go after You go after Joker. Okay. So let me actually put this into some sort of order. Sadly, Shall I we? gotta save my spells, otherwise uh, this would be good. So Bard goes, and then Barbarian, and Joker, and Kyle, and then Monk, and then Method. All right, we've got the order. So we will go ahead and start while I get the rest of this prepared. Bard, what do you want to do? I would like to throw the Jevil's Scythe at the one on the right. Really? Why do you want to fight him? Which one? What? Are they hostile? Do we know if they're hostile? Well, I mean, we had to roll initiative, so. They are hostile. They want to eat your ass. <laughs> now that's well, kinky. who am I to stop them? You should. You should let them kill you. What if I use my spell to summon my own what dust methods? Please don't. And we had to fight. Can we start a cockfighting ring with dust methods? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> right now I could summon ten. <laughs> no. Now, when you say cockfighting ring, chickens. Okay. Okay. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> okay. Look, I have a fifth level spell Please that start. I can animate ten objects that can attack for a max of ten HP. All of them spoon. Actually, I have tiny little metal ball bearings. That we also do. <laughs> um, the spoons can scoop out the eyes. Ball bearings, you can just shove them up the ass and rip up their insides. How are you going to get to some of these assholes? The eyes are accessible. You know, they're right there. They're being presented for you to scoop. This is going to be a real fun encounter. <laughs> I can't wait for them to These things have extra abilities that I was unaware of. Do they have Isn't extra that health every bars? Mo- uh, they do have extra health, actually. actually. And they have three more abilities. Okay, because I remember looking at their stat blocks because They're I could summon them. So, I jevil sights. I throw jevil sight at the sandwiches. <coughs> and what? I want to throw my sight at the that one part. on the right. Which one? The one on the right. There's two. The one on the utmost right. Got it. Throw. Hmm. Where's my four? There are four. Sixteen plus nine. That's a hit. I should hope so. Well, now that you say that. What? 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 Huh? <laughs> All right. All these are going to be one. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Nine plus five is fourteen damage. Cool. I just want to use this one ability. I don't even care what the fuck happens. I just want to use it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to. It's going to be really fun. You 
You fool. What are my lines? Oh, right. I can do things. Love my I can do shit. What the fuck else can I do? Um, I'll end my turn. That's what the fuck I'll do. Surprising you didn't think your bonus action, but cool. Barbarian. Fuck. Beam. I forgot about cantrips. Uh-huh. Ask his humor turn. Okay. Which one are you swinging at? I'll do the one next to him that he attacked. Cool. Do it. And I have uh, extra attack this time. Beat the shit out of him. Oh. Holy shit. Oh. 18. Plus 18. That's 36. That is 18. 10, 8, 10, 8. You're not adding them together. Oh wait, no, it's not 17, it's uh... Should be higher than that. Should be like 19. Yeah, it's 19. I mean, either one would hit, I just want, to, I just want you to be certain. 19, and then this one is almost that much. Yeah, so it's hit. These things have fairly low AC. But the abilities they have, whoo. God, are these things still half a challenge rating? 23 damage Could total. be. 23 in total? Okay. Mm -hmm. Still alive. I feel like these things can't be half a challenge rating for the bullshit they can do. Alright, Joker's turn. Uh, she will throw a dagger at the one the barbarian just hit. And she hits. I think that's just a kill. I don't even think she has to roll anything. Still alive. Wait, nope. She does. She has to roll. <laughs> is dead. Hmm? She rolled as high as she could. Okay. He's dead. Very good kill. So, one method is down. So we are alive. She will throw another dagger. That hits. Which one? Yeet. That's the uh, one on the inner left. That one takes nine damage. And that is what? Cool. Alright. Math is hard. Next, Kyle. Oh boy. Um, the one on the far right's down, and then the one on the right is damaged. Inner right is down, far right is still up. Okay. Inner left is damaged as well. Um, I'm going to cast Toll the Dead on the one on the far right. Got it. You got Toll the Dead. Yep. What the hell is its wisdom? Magic Initiate Cleric. It's wisdom is not great. What's the thing it has to pass? Seventeen. It didn't pass. Uh, but we're fucking dead. No. Two D twelve. He can't kill it with Toll the Dead itself. Really? Yeah. Seven plus five. That's twelve. Twelve. Yep. Twelve. Cool. Could have done 24 damage. Uh, with Toba? Yeah. Just barely, but it would kill it. Now that's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just 1d12. It upgrades to level 5. They need some flexi. Most cantrips upgrade to level 5 and level 11. Uh, are you done? Um, magic is floating. No, <coughs> I'm gonna cast magic stones on some stones. There is no scent in this room. Do I have any in my pocket? Because like I've had this spell, I would like I would have some in my pocket. It's just some fucking pebbles. You know, you see a gravel road and you're just like, <laughs> nom, 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 nom. you just I believe it. You just empty your shoe and a whole mound of pebbles falls out. I'm gonna put that in my items. I need some pebbles. Roll. A D12, and then do plus 12 for my roll. What? Roll a D12. D12, plus 12 for pebbles. The number of pebbles that you currently have at your disposal. Oh, D12. 22. Cool, you have 22 pebbles. 
I mean, they're dark, so probably decks. So, uh, nine. Okay. What's your dex? Plus, Plus five, five, probably. Hmm. We have a lot of dexterity. Dexterity. A lot of people with high dexterity on this. Dexterous. Dexterous. And that's because dex is a god stat. Eight. Here's the other dart. Thank you. I still have my phone. What does that say? Also very ugly. How small am I right now? I don't know. I didn't give a size comparison. Um, I just stand on this big. I'm gonna have one of them target. Yeah, yeah. Who's the biggest threat to them right now? Which one of you bastards? Is Probably the Joker. Standing Probably in the Joker. middle of them hitting me. I feel like it'd be Joker who just like almost killed two of them by herself. Well, she did kill one. She killed one and almost killed the other. Mm. So. Uh, so the one in front of me is still living, yes? Joker is on the ground and can't move. Huh? Well, that is the turn. So the other two. We'll do the first one. Everybody, roll a d20. Everybody. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, I saw ten. Ten? Eighteen. 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 Uh, the two... Wait, no, there's three of them. Hold on, I need to roll again. Doesn't matter. Uh, two of the methods got thirteen. One got seventeen. Jerker got eighteen. You rolled the lowest. Gang, gang. You take 66 force damage. Holy shit. Hold on, I got this. That's the thing that they can just do. And I love that ability. Because they can hurt themselves with it if they roll low enough. That's a lot of high numbers. That was three sixes, two fives, and a three. Shit! (laughs) That was almost max damage. Why did you me roll it? Okay. I'm gonna roll the same thing. 18. I might have to use Spare the Dying on myself, honestly. 31 damage. Oh no, my 111 hit points. Holy fuck. Now let's have the other one do the same thing. Everyone roll a d20. You said 30. Bastard. You said 31. Yeah. Ooh. Fuck! Four. Uh oh. 19. Six. God, two of these guys rolled 19, the other rolled a 12. Still in. And then Joker rolled an 11. Three. Yeah, the other one's using it as well. Oh, thank God, not one. <laughs> Anyone else rolling that one? <laughs> no. Guess who's taking 66 force damage? You roll it this time. Hold on. I don't want your elephant blood on the hand. <laughs> Hold oh, on. He is. Can I turn into a beast to try to dodge this? No. Their turn. That's an action. Or a bonus action. It's one of the two. It's a bonus. But not a reaction. Yeah, it is a bonus action. <laughs> hey, okay. lower numbers. Five, four, three, two, one. And another three. He's counting down. <laughs> My death. Two plus nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen plus five. That's eighteen. Take eighteen force damage. Fucking hell. I love these things. <laughs> I found my new favorite enemy, suddenly. 
fucking methods. What's the number? 18, I think, is what he rolled. And he said the cha challenge rating was a half? A half. But oh. that's without these three abilities added on. They wouldn't be able to do this if they were a regular method. So that concludes their turn. These methods have been hitting the magical gym. They're on steroids. Mm. They also have an ability to poison all of you, but I don't want to do that because I like the, the random force damage thing. <laughs> uh, spin the I just, wheel. I just like the fact It's literally called Spindle Dash. This is the ability. <laughs> I fully expected to be the one to take the damage for both of those. But no, it was the it was the fucking elephant. It's kind of good that it hit me because he has beefy as fuck. I think he has the best hit points other than the I, barbarian. I still have thirty three left. So, the bard, it is your turn. I spit on my book. Um, I'll jevil scythe the bitch on the far far right. Oh, do it. Where the fuck is my dice? Sixteen plus nine. That's a hit. Same thing as last time too. All right, forty-four. Eighteen damage is dead. If fucking uh, dead. Ugh. Is that all? Um. I'll cast Vicious Mockery on the on the uh, one to the left, inner left. Cool. What does it have to beat? 17. And what check is it? Is it Charisma? Uh, wisdom for Vicious Mockery. Wisdom, I got an 18. Fuck those bastards. Is that all? That's all it can do. Lovely. Barbarian. Barbarian. Rock me, boy. Quack. Sponge boy Quack. me, Bob. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Seven and a one. Seven and a one. Shit. That one's 17. 17 hits. That one's 11. 11 doesn't hit. Nine damage. Which one you hit? Inner left or far uh, left? Inner left. Cool. How much was it? Nine? Yeah. Cool, they have the exact same amount of health now. I don't know how you guys managed that, but congratulations. Gotta love those clones. Do we win now? No. Oh. Now, Joker's turn. She has to roll a strength check to see if she can stand up. Fucking she's, she's not getting up. It's in that one. So she got zero. Um, Kyle. Your turn. I'm gonna walk over to Joker and give her a hand up. Uh, right. Isn't she affected by abil um, abilities? Is that She's being affected by magic. Mm. But and she can roll again with uh, assistance from someone. Advantage? Else. Advantage, that's what it's called. I was fucking blanking on the word. I was like, okay, 13, not high enough. 14, not high enough. You can't pull her up. If I use my trunk to pull her up. How much can you lift with your trunk? Very good question. They have elephants have very strong trunks. She weighs a fuck ton right now. Um, how much? Five times the strength score, which is sixteen. So how much? Uh, that's a very good. Fifty times question. thirty would be ninety. I mean, well, fifty plus would be. I mean, that's ninety. Uh, eighty. Unless I'm mentally failing. It, you said it was 16 times 5? Yes. Alright, then 80, yes. Four. I said 90, didn't I? Fucking stupid. You cannot pick her up. Dang. Bastard. That's a lot of weight. I don't know about this. She I'm weighs done. a lot at the moment. Um. Can she even pick herself up right now? Hold on. I don't yes. even know if she can. So if we kill the thing, would she be fine? Nope. Yep. We're gonna spend half an hour trying to get her to stand up. Or once the guy with 20 strength is done beating the shit out of people, 
alcohol. Uh, yeah, she needs to roll pretty decent to get up by herself. Because of her horrible strength score. Eight. No, it's nine. Because she's a human. Everything got plus one. Because uh, that human bullshit. Humans are great if you don't mind being blind in the dark. Cast light, please. That's an Elmar thing. You can have you taken your turn yet? Yes, you have. You can still get it as a uh, mug. Well, she's a rogue. She can't. Fuck him up. Is the one I hit before still alive? Yes. Okay. So uh, I'll throw two more daggers and take a bonus action of taking the first. You throw two in a single turn as an action. Is that a thing monks can do? Monks can do a lot of weird bullshit. I know they can. So I thought it was like action to attack, bonus action attack as well. And then you could use a key point to spend your bonus action to do an extra thing. Well, is that is that a thing you can do? Is that what it is? I don't know how monks work. Well, you're to using be fair. a key point, but um, saying you have a bad so you should have an extra attack still. Anyone okay. else want to take the choker? No, I'm good. I think, oh, and then you could spend a key point to do that. Okay. Or a key point to do the patient defense thing. I'm not sure. I don't know how monks work in well, any way. It says, um, it's a bonus action, though, to spend a key point to do this. And then you wouldn't be able to attack twice. You could attack once and then spend the key point. Yeah, that's what I did, right? Okay. Roll for hit. Uh, 18 plus 5. That's a hit. 1 plus 5. Yep. Cool. It is still up. Still fine. Fine relatively. It's getting there. So, it is back back to the methods. And I just read a thing that says I can't use the same ability twice in a row with these guys, so, uh, I can't do Spindle Dash again. Poison, and I'm really sad. So yes, they have to poison. So um, everybody, give Constitution saving throws. Wait, does that include them? Yes, it does. They can poison themselves. Uh, Joker got a twenty. She's fine. Uh, what is the Constitution saving throws? Yeah. What did you do with the dice? <laughs> <laughs> we're right fucking there. Do I look like an idiot? Oh, there oh, they fuck. are. Oh no, the bass There fuck. it goes. Bye. Man, just flying away with the fucking balls. The fuck is that? Fucking. Uh, There's something right over there by that yeah. leg. I got a seventeen. Seventeen, cool. I think it's a sucker leg. So we do D twenty plus Constitution modifier. Yes. No, oh, wait. Fine. They're immune to poison damage. They don't have to make the saving throw. Never mind. Fuck, Those son of a bastards. bitch. I forgot. Uh, 24. 24. 3. Wait, 4. 4. 17. 17. I got 15. 15. Now I'm the unlucky bastard who gets hit. You failed. You rolled 17? Yeah. You're fine. 15, yeah. you failed. 24, you're fine. You have to roll Fuck 20, yeah, he's fine. High. So the two of you who failed take how much damage? 10 poison damage. Oh, wow. No. Now the other one does the same thing. Everyone roll constitution saving throw. Yeah. Fuck the bastards. God damn it, Joker. Right. Holy shit, nat 20. Yeah, Plus you're one. fine. Uh, What'd you roll? Well, better than fine. I'm immune to poison. No, that's not a pass. It's not a pass either. It's not a pass either. You're the only one who succeeded this time. <laughs> so everyone Lucky else guy. is taking... Jesus Christ. All right, 13 poison damage. Haha, <laughs> you took more than me. I've been surprisingly lucky this time around. I'm scared. We're How did we make it through 70 floors? I had 20 fucking hit points after one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yes, this is a single a room. Yet. This isn't even a floor yet. You still have four more rooms after this to get through this floor. Let's see about gaining the hit points by being recognized. By being what? Yeah, every level you get hit points. 
Okay, so. To have your hit die plus one plus con mod. And if you have tough, it's plus two as well. Which is why he has over 100 hit points. Which is why I have 76. Why does he only have 76? Joker has 84, she doesn't even have tough. Eh? Yeah. Oh, what's her constitution? 18. That's why. My constitution <laughs> is 12. She got a high con. Okay, my so con is 12. So that's your, that's your problem. Big hey, I got dex. You're going to die. Well, she has dex as well. Big yeah, but I got charisma and dex. Plus your con. She has a 16 charisma. Uh, 18 con, 20 dex. What the fuck is her intelligence and wisdom? She's a, her wisdom is a 14, intelligence is 10. Human. Human. Got like an extra three points to put into shit than you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't they get an extra three? No, it's no. an extra three. Right, extra three. One is plus two, one is plus one. Unless you're half elf, then you get plus two, plus one, plus one. Because uh, half elves. I Bullshit. Think, I think there's another race that gets plus two, plus one, plus half one. Half elves, better than everyone except humans. <laughs> Pretty much. But half elves get dark vision, so in my opinion, they're better than humans. Oops. Anyway, let's go again. I got sidetracked. We're fucking okay, shit. Okay, how much damage did I take? So I'll do thirteen. Thirteen damage from poison. And if you and if you were still scorned, then you would have only taken half. We're back to the bard. All right. Um, Your turn. Oh, Devil Scythe, the bitch on the inner left. Devil Scythe. Dev Jevil Scythe. All right. Inner left. That would be. If you couldn't tell, I can't fucking speak today. Do it. You might kill it. Kill a bitch. Based by the fact he's not saying anything, this is gonna be really low on the hit. Based by his classic, I'm guessing it's a nat one. Without even looking. We did it, guys. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Well, what plus half is it? Because you still rating. might hit. Plus nine. No, you don't hit. Half challenge rating. <laughs> okay. To be fair, well, I'm I gonna I'm gonna up the challenge rating because they get these three crazy ass abilities. I moved the <coughs> paper while it was rolling. A three challenge rating. Paper. They're probably like a one. All right, I'm still going to um, fucking. What the fuck are you? Doesn't matter. I'm not giving out experience because you're not going to level up from any of this. So no point. Vicious mockery. Cool. I'm viciously mocking. Let's watch it bias. succeed. What is it? Wisdom again? Has to. Yeah. Eighteen. Fuck the bitch. It's the same as last time. It is. That utter asshole. Kind of funny. Just, just whack him. <laughs> I tried, damn him. it! Joker rolls. She can't get up. Back to Kyle. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna help her get up again. Alright. Uh, she gets up. One zero. She is struggling to keep herself up, though. Oh. She has to roll strength every turn. She has advantage now that she's earned stamina. Wait, I'll try to keep wait. her up too. If she Double throws advantage. a dagger, will it just go kerplunk or is it just her? It's just her. Her yeah. items are unaffected. So, if you have a bonus action that you can take, you'd be able to do that. I don't know if you have a bonus action. Do what? Something. Hit the bastards. Cast a spell. You know, something useful. Unlike Joker at the moment, who is literally over 200 pounds. <laughs> Wow. He was so distraught about losing his pencil, he just started to choke. He was dying. <laughs> if he doesn't get it's the like pencil, the fucking I'm apple cider all over again. <clears throat> Except you're not on the floor. But with chocolate. Maybe you should have citrus and things. Apparently. Apple cider isn't a citrus. Monk. We're back to the monk. These things have not taken a hit this entire turn. You should probably oh, okay. just avoid eating in general. This is what it does to you. So I have a versus stronger girl. I actually could have done that extra dark girl because I got like an extra attack thing and then die. Ah, yes. One of the classes that get that. The only ones I knew that get it were fighters and barbarians. Paladins. Paladins get it as well. <laughs> Another class that I don't play. Paladins. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I like playing rogues personally. Because they're fucking glass cannons. With that sneak attack damage. 
Okay. Oh wait, I forgot to add sneak attack damage when Joker hit that one. So I should have added like 66 damage. But I didn't. 66? I, I thought you said 66. No, 66. So up to 36. Okay. Because sneak attack. And she's an assassin. Assassins are broken as shit. <laughs> Especially if you have Arsene. Arsene just adds a d4. That's still so adds, decent amount. That's what? Up to At four. Low level, it is. So I have seven marks. I'm going to throw two more. Okay. Really, the damage that Joker does comes from the fucking sneak attack damage. That's like 90% of her oh, yeah, damage. Uh, I got a 17 for hit. That's a hit. That's the damage that I have. All right. I'm assuming you're hitting the one that you've been hitting the entire yeah, time. I am. Okay. It's still alive. Another one. You. It has a few needles uh, sticking out of it. Uh, I got 12. It's dead. Okay. Hit it one hit point. Come out. Nice. So, we're back to the methods. Fuck the methods. Everyone roll a d20. Fuck the bayas. Spindle dash. Oh, I kind of hope it hits itself. I kind of hope it hits itself. Oh, shit, we've got a match right now. Well, right. no, not November is over, guys. So. Nat one. Oh, it's December. Wait, you got a nat one? I think you meant. You got a nat one? November 36. Mm. Me and you got sevens. Hey, lucky sevens. You take 66 force damage. Oh. Oof. Did you add your health? Yes, I did. From 6d6 force damage? You said, oh, you said, I think you said 66 damage. Yeah. Like Fucking hell, damage. man. You know what's funny? Banjo just made the same mistake a few minutes ago. Haha, I am Nyx. You ignorant bastard. You're also Banjo because he's still alive. Yes, but he's not here. Is he really? Holy alive? shit. Okay. That's a lot okay. of damage. It's at least 20. Wait, um, 21. He's dead in a heart cell face. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Gobby's dead physically. 20. So was Scorn. 20. And mentally. 21 <laughs> damage. 21, that's actually the average. It's amazing. It's also a multi. It's also the third multi. Uh, fuck. Multiplicative. Jesus fucking Christ. Multiclinitary. Multiclinitary. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you people? Urbicosaclitis. I knew Kyle would laugh at it. That's all I knew. <laughs> he laughs at a lot of shit. <laughs> he laughs if you just add the phrase N-word to the end of a sentence. Because <laughs> you're subhuman trash. I am son. <laughs> Back to the bar. All right, I'll try and hit the fucker with the Jebel Scythe again. Do it. Roll, bitch. You might kill him if you hit. Sweet, 19 plus 9. Hit. Try to kill it. If you don't kill it, I will be disappointed as fuck. Eat. Eat him, my child. How much HP does I have left? Can't tell you that. Eat him. Well, I mean, I get a plus 5 for whatever I get. So yeah. it's a minimum of 9. So I said you might kill him. Okay. Not with those rolls. Nine, five, six, seven, eight plus five, uh, thirteen. Mm. Still alive. Close, but no cigar. Still alive. Someone hit the fucker. Oh, right. Bonus damage. I can hit the fucker. Yeah, why don't you hit the fucker? <laughs> um, Stop telling other people to do shit. Do shit for yourself. Vicious Mockery, the Bayesian. I am so looking forward to when you roll the fucking 18. Where'd the die go? Oh, it's over there. 18. What did you roll? You want a 14. Haha, -ha, he gets hit. Yes. Fuck the bass. Takes one damage. <laughs> you could have killed him with that. <laughs> and you failed. <laughs> Fuck. God that damn it. Kind of bullshit again. <laughs> Barbarian, just punch the damn thing and kill it. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Whack. <laughs> I got a 15. It's dead. It's fucking dead. Move on. It had one HP, didn't it? Fisticuffs. For fuck's sake. It had one HP, didn't it? It did. Fuck! 
spam it. Oh, I was fine. like, he hit the vicious mockery. He's gonna kill it. He's gonna be actually useful. Fucking one. You had a twenty-five percent chance to be a failure, and you nailed it. <laughs> That's my luck. I can Absolutely survive through destroying it, Chief. <laughs> I'm doing better than usual. You're doing better than in me the, right now. In the past, I wasn't able to hit. Shit. You absorbed a shit ton of damage. I mean, yeah. I'm still technically alive. The hell did you get Joker up? Speaking of which, I need to roll to see if she is still standing. Is she? I don't know. No. Was that a two? Yes. But she got a one. At this point, she's back on the ground. She has advantage. All right. She's on the ground. Was that a one? That was a nine. Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to sink this carrier. <laughs> she's Roll really for strength. heavy. What do you mean? Roll for strength. I got a fucking six. She strength. weighs like you can still a fan. thousand pounds. Yeah, but like carrying not with the trunk is more than times five, right? It's times 15. Whatever you roll is times 15. That's how much weight you can carry. Wouldn't it just be my... Oh, whatever. Eight plus three. Uh, Eleven. Yeah. No, you take whatever you roll at your strength times 15, and that I have to compare that to how heavy she currently is. And then you can see if you can carry her. That's 160. I rolled an eight. What... What do I add to the eight? Your strength. Your strength mod, and then you times that number by fifteen. Okay, eleven times fifteen. That is a hundred. That's hundred and sixty pounds. I believe so. It was two. Bitch, the fuck? It's incorrect. Fuck. All right. How much did she weigh? I can't tell you that. More than she usually does. Cause she's usually one forty. Hmm. A lot more than she usually does. More than eight times her weight. No, not that much. The bones would have broken when she was jellied. More than likely. Where's the fucking baby? It's back with Anki. Daycare. <laughs> daycare with Anki. Anki daycare. Anki daycare. Anki daycare. Don't worry, your kids won't get hurt. Because there's a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your child to Danky Care. <laughs> Danky Care. No. No one's going to mess with a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> Except for the idiots that do. We have a trained dinosaur that will kill anyone who tries to fuck with our baby. And even if the child gets hurt, it can fucking heal them because it has magic. We have an insurance policy. Anki, it's can... called Magic Man. <laughs> Anki knows resurrection. And if they Not do, yet. Your child might be a lich, but they'll still be alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, undead. But close enough. Not dead. Is if someone is able to kill him, they won't get far, because he's got a fucking cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches love cannons. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, what's going on now? Joker's um, on the ground. The party just beat the fuck out of those methods. There's 11 of them, right? There's yeah, two, it's on wait, the other side of the wall. Two of them are still alive, aren't they? No, they're all dead now. Oh, fuck. They've all been murdered. I missed Never time. <laughs> Did you just pull the lever? I pulled the lever. Whoa, Your hand fuck. goes through it. Can I use Mage Hand to pull the lever down? Your Mage Hand goes through it. I suck the lever off. <laughs> Your mouth goes through the lever. Fuck! You mean the lever goes through my mouth? Yes. What'd I say? Now that's my mouth goes through the lever. You mean that might work? <laughs> it comes out the back of your throat. It's very disturbing. Fuck just wanted to do something. Rock, pick up Joker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll do that. Roll for it. The fucking elephant is struggling. 16 <laughs> plus whatever. Plus 5, so 21. What is that in score? At least over 300. It's like 350. 330. You can pick her up. 21 times 15 is 330. Well, 10 times 15 is 150. 150 that would be 315, plus not 330. 10 plus 10 would be 300, right? <laughs> he rolled 21. Yes. Ten plus ten would be. Oh fuck! Yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> he can pick her up. It's not like they haven't all done that shit before. Messed up math? Yeah. yeah. Fuck math. Like, seriously. You are slightly struggling. I mean, pick her up. there's got to be porn of math. I'll pick her up. Anyway. Fuck yeah, I don't want to find that out. He's going to look it up. I'm looking it up right now. Fuck. Oh, I gotta what was scroll the past There's there those DS games that try to teach you math that were really popular. And there's like the one guy that was <laughs> that was his face. I think there's porn of him. Probably. It, yeah, it exists. That's probably one of the dumbest things I've ever said in my wow. life. But I'm happy that I've said it. I respect it. <laughs> Mathematics. <laughs> Why do you do this shit? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it can't be that bad. It can't we, be that bad. Can we continue? Because we're not going to get through this if Cole, <laughs> not Cole, Kyle, keeps looking up porn! You fucking cock-sucking son of a bitch! <laughs> You're not far from what's going on in this. <laughs> Cosine of bondage. What? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> what? What? I will remove your testicles with a rusty pair of scissors. Where are my testicles, dummy? <laughs> <laughs> DM, the fuck is happening? I'm waiting on you guys. I'm just gonna keep continue. Your hand keeps going through it. Oh, I forgot to mention that the uh, little little creatures you just killed turned into black charcoal sticks after you killed them. I didn't neglect to mention that, but that happens. I'm gonna light them on fire. <laughs> cool. <laughs> black chalk, that's what it is, not black charcoal. Black chalk. I'm gonna light them on fire. Can you light cool. chalk on fire? Yes, roll for fire. Could be flame. Roll 14. I used a cantrip. That's I fine. Roll shit. I mean, just be to, to roll a d100 to see if they actually catch on fire. Because it's chalk, which isn't exactly flammable. Alright, I cast control flame as well, William. And I just hold the fucking fire there until it yeah, catches. Alright, so you burn all the chalk. All right, you're fucked. Huh? You needed that. You son of a bitch. So Kyle just screwed us it's over. It's one of the keys for the game. I sure hope no dust methods respawn. They don't respawn. I sure hope no <laughs> dust methods respawn. <laughs> I hope so too. I sure hope no <laughs> dust methods respawn. <laughs> okay, time is rewound. He no. now has a gash in his shoulder. Why Where's Fucking not, not how that works. What if I summon some dust methods? They wouldn't turn into black chalk. They just die in a vacuum. What if I suck you off? <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different thing entirely. It's a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. Hydrate yourself. That's a threat. So, what's the party want to do? Just as a. Mm -hmm. Just to explain what you were supposed to do is pick up the chalk and draw the square that you saw on the door around the lever, and then you could grab it and pull it to unlock one of the five seals on the gate that's in the main room. Kyle, you fucked us! That was the puzzle. Guess we lose. So we have to go through this four more times. Four different rooms, and there's a different Look, thing in each room. Look, if you hadn't started off by saying charcoal, I wouldn't have fucking burned it. <laughs> <laughs> but then I said, it's chalk. I'm sorry. They said, I, I burn it anyway. Like I was on the path. <laughs> on it the was, path. Can we roll a d20 to rewind time? And Only time Magic Man can do that. Can I just, like, carve it? <laughs> it needs carve to be chalk. Carve a square around the lever? Can I roll strength to kick the door down? Yeah. You want to try and kick the gate down? From yeah, the I want to try to dispel the magic on the gate. Okay. We're fucking screwed. So you walk back into the main room and head down toward the gate. On the gate, there are five different shapes. There is a five shapes. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm not telling you incorrectly what the five shapes are. 
Uh, is it a triangle stuck in a dick? <laughs> it isn't. I know there's a triangle on there, but... Oh, it's cursed. It's definitely not that. Oh, here it is. I actually have a... Actually, there's a picture of the... I didn't realize that was the door. That's the gate. Is that a pentagon? That's the gate that you were trying to break open. The game says that that is your curse. So the square was the one that you were supposed to unlock with that room that you've now fucked over. You son of a bitch. There's a triangle, a square, a pentagon, a hexagon, and an octagon on the door. Can I roll... Each one of those shapes represents one of the five rooms that you need to get a key from. Or somehow unlock it in the room. Can I roll to pull out black chalk from my bag? Do you have any black chalk? Fuck if I know. Then no. So I ask to roll. I mean, it's... You can't just materialize shit! Well, I mean, we're level nine. We would have run to a store somewhere, right? But why would you buy fucking black chalk? Why buy white chalk? Black chalk is fucking awesome. Just, I'll just cast Minor Illusion on it chalk? and make it think that you there's black chalk, chalk on it. Instead of white chalk. And tell you to think that. Yeah. Alright, I cast Dispel Magic on the gate. You fucking die. I'm not the one doing it. I'm actually trying to figure out where exactly it says. What? I stole what I them all. What? I stole your testicles. So. For mine. Fifty dollars if you want them back. <laughs> so you wow, that's that's pretty low actually. It's that's surprisingly really cheap. Because <laughs> I'll just steal them back. <laughs> I don't. It's have just a cycle, you know. You really only never planned on having a kid. <laughs> so you cast the spell on the door. You hear laughing. What kind of laughing? Oh, like hag, like an old hag. Fine. Three of them specifically. I'm glad I stayed in my room. You know, I never meant to be a stand-up, but it um, was that funny. You hear no response. Well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> the three little dolls that were hanging out in the room scatter. That's not a good sign. Anybody? You're in this room by yourself, by the way. Nobody followed you. Ah. <laughs> you wanna uh, back no. the fuck up to the Fair room? enough! No, no! <laughs> <laughs> you wanna back the fuck up to the room? Mm, I'm gonna chase after the monkey. Fuck, damn it. Where, wait, where did they scatter from? Uh, they were near the pillar in the center. Oh. So I'd be like, they're fucking gone. Um, I'm gonna chuck a fucking spear at the monkey. <laughs> Why the fuck do you hate the monkey? Roll for hit! Seven. That's a seven plus probably a. It's. Strength plus proficiency, right? Uh, yes. Uh. Miss. Oh. These things have high ass ACs. No way. And by high ass, I mean it's like 15. <laughs> and I have one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate the monkey so much? Right, I'm going to walk over to my spear and grab that. Seeing as that's my only melee weapon. Now let's see. <laughs> Wait, Catmap seems like the kind of person to grab Fuck. black chalk. Come here. I mean, he's you a little cat. cunt. He's a cat. He likes weird things. Small cunt. Ah, got it. You take seven force damage and get thrown back away from the spear. All right. What the fuck? The cackle, the cackle, start getting louder. You gonna call for help or? I will <laughs> cut your throat open, <coughs> grab your trachea, and pull it out. Stop, I can only get to the <laughs> Damn it, man. What the hell? Um, can I still see the little bastards running around? No. They have hidden under the stairs. Uh, hmm. What if 
want some help? The little oh. straw one does yell that we tried to warn you. Of what? The Sown Sisters. You're fucking screwed. Thanks, no thanks, I guess. I'm gonna cast gust on my spear. The fuck does try that to throw mean? it into the air and then I catch it as it falls. All right. You catch it just fine. And I take 14 force damage and immediately die. You only have 14 HP. 14. <laughs> no. These sisters could kill them. Yeah. Very easily. Hey, would we hear what the fuck is going on? Probably not. Do you want to call for help before you fucking die? I mean, you all would have seen the elephant just walk out of the room by itself. Yeah. I'm not. None of you just care. Not a enough. hard target to fucking Okay, miss, roll exactly. for caring. Oh. Fuck, that's a five. Oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Can we get that? <laughs> so do they. Die. 13. I have advantage. advantage. Advantage for caring. It's not an actual roll that I'm making you do. You're you doing it yourself. Just, you could just like do it anyway. I'll go out. Sure. All right. I'll take off. Okay. Joker follows. Because she just kind of follows majority. <clears throat> Cat map. The fuck you doing? Um, where are we going out? We're walking out. The Everyone's room. outside. Out of the room. room. So as soon as everyone walks out, you hear the cackles starting to pick up quietly. Well, I say we take a long rest, my pals. That that sounds like a horrible idea. Yes, in the poisonous gas. I say, <laughs> we, I say we walk back to the chalk room where I burnt that shit because it was fun, and we took a long rest. Would we know we needed the chalk by now? Oh, you, the characters have no idea that's what that was for. I just wanted to tell you out of character that was a thing that you were supposed to do. Can I roll to try and put that together? No, because it's actually just fucking piles of ash now. Would I have seen the chalk? Yes. So anyway. no matter what we do, we're screwed. Pretty much. Unless one of the Sown sisters drops some fucking chalk. See, this is good. Yeah. Because now we don't die to the final boss. That also means we can't stop anyone else from dying to the final fucking boss. Oh no, we don't get paid. See, we just... Leave the island. Or and the whole world gets affected with the death curse and fucking dies. Somebody else will fix it. We'll yeah. just grind some explosives <laughs> and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> DM face. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, we rigged the island to explode. Rock you what? <laughs> rock has exploding rocks. I mean, I don't have to blow up an island. <laughs> we can get it. Who said we were aiming for the island? It's called down just the power of a 19th level spell. I cast a wish. I wish the island was gone. <laughs> I don't have a 9th level spell slot. Get a 9th level spell slot and then we'll talk. I'll use my 2nd level spell slot to summon magic land and then ask for a spell I don't have that spell, spell anymore. Oh, fuck. None of you have any way to summon Magic Man anymore, other than just yelling and hoping he hears you. You know, like hundreds of feet oh, underground. It's Magic Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely wouldn't come to that. <laughs> In either sense of the word. A boulder would probably just drop from the fucking ceiling onto you. Oh. Thank you. He dropped his balls. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it was a circular boulder. <laughs> Ball. It's a cube. It's a cube. It's a fucking cubic boulder. It would probably be one that's shaped like a fucking sword. <laughs> so we just stab through him and cut him in half. Her. Her. Look, I didn't know. I thought you were a girl. Yeah. Never mind. I Guard told you. An elephant. I mean, he'd still do the same thing. Yeah. Just fuck that. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? You guys. If I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You all just walked out into the poison. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to another room since. Let's go take a long rest. Please. Let's grab the elephant and get the fuck to another room. Thirteen. 
hit points out of 111. Okay, well, what the hell is the nap? <laughs> Cure wounds. Can't do the help for that. Yeah, I'm going to go, like, they can do whatever they want. I'm going to go back to that room we were in and just take a fucking nap. Isn't that like an cool. hour for a short rest? What's a short rest? Is it all the hit points or hit die? You can roll as many hit die as your level. Song of rest. I'll be taking a long rest. That's eight hours. Yeah. Song of rest is like... All right. We all, go, we all go into the room. By the way, I lied. Joker didn't go outside. She can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> Would anyone know? He's carrying her. Oh, yeah, you are carrying her, aren't you? Yeah. So you just be carrying her around. So let's all go back in the room. Oh, I'm going to cast Dispel Magic on Joker. So <laughs> t- take an eight-hour nap. That is the wrong direction. Are we really on a time limit here? Yeah, like, like, should we lock not the no. door? Not in that room, you're not, but... Uh, so you cast a spell magic? Yeah. Cool. She still can't get up. The fuck is dispel? What? Well, yeah, we should be able to get up. Come Do, on. Are they <laughs> dispel magicking the dispel magic spell? No. It's not a spell. Then what the fuck is it? Transfiguration? No. Worse? Worse than I thought. A curse? Yes. It's a curse. So it's a curse? Yes. We're about to take a long rest. Yes. I'll walk up the Joker, poke her in the forehead, and cast Greater Restoration. Curse is gone. Cool. She can now get up regularly. Maybe She's back to her regular weight. Greater Restoration is fucking great. Wow, Joker, you really need to lose some weight. It was kind of hard picking you up. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> You're going to get your ass stabbed. Joker pouts and pulls out a dagger. Oh. You need me right now. <laughs> Yeah, we kind of do. Otherwise, this would be in your throat right now. You never, you never mention a woman's weight. <laughs> say whatever I want to say. Joker just kind of shakes her head and says, "I guess I appreciate the honesty." So long, rest. You know, we probably could have gotten Banjo to help us with this. He couldn't leave. Why couldn't he leave? He would probably die. Why? He's a vampire. Fuck. Sunlight. Sunlight kills him. I mean, I have a disguise. Well. Yeah, disguise kid. Put put makeup on his face. That'll stop the sunlight. He has the Banjo. Put him on coats and makeup. Wait, (laughs) hold the fuck. Hold on. He ain't getting none of that. He still has the banjo costume, so he has a giant bear head thing. Yeah, that wouldn't attract attention at all. I mean, it would attract attention, but it would keep the sunlight out. <laughs> I would have loved to just be able to fucking abuse that. Right. Just fucking Rosny's just like looking at it like, what the fuck is that thing with you? <laughs> Do I need to fireball it? Teachers would do it. <laughs> you would. <laughs> Speaking of explosive third level spells. Rosny? No. I could bring Rosny into this. He could just show up. Give me Rosny. <laughs> just come through the wall. Just poke his head out. Oh my god. <laughs> just like, I think hey. I dug into the wrong room. <laughs> hey, you want to help us kill a bitch? I'm gonna give you. <laughs> just come through the fucking ceiling. Rosny. He can help us kill this bitch of a lich. Rosny would be able to kill a pot of shit. He's a little 15. Would he have black chalk? No. No. I don't so know what the fuck you have on him, to be honest with you. So we took a nap? Is that what everyone's doing? Long rest? Sleep. Lovely. Mm. I'm falling the door. <laughs> so Barricade the door. Again. Yes, that's a good idea. Cool. About half an hour in, the door slams open. Fuck. He barricaded it. Does that do anything? Nope. Well, the door is fuck. ripped off the hinges and thrown into the poisonous room. And the gas starts to seep in. Who the fuck just woke me up? You hear the cackling from the Stone Sisters. Okay, hold on. Mm, just cut me the fuck. Hold on. 
I got like 30 fucking rings, Dylan. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, I was gonna say that. If worse comes to worse, I can kill Nobody them. Nobody interrupts my fucking nap. Um, Shit, I have a lot of spells. Holy hell. Uh, where I need to look the at fuck this. is the thing? Uh, it's around here somewhere. Wait, what? Ooh, that's... That's, uh... That's, that's something. I'm glad we skipped the... Wait, what? 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 Hey! Right. Oh. Okay. God, there's That's so much really shit. shit. Is uh, there any stone around here at all? Oh, yeah. Okay. Check the floor. We have stone. Oh, it's all like polished stone. At least in this room. Alright. If worse comes to worse, I can just cast a couple fourth level. Uh, Cool. Uh, three wound candle. Okay. Okay. Which is kind of bullshit, but I'll throw it anyway. Because I used Where? them and I used them. Wait, 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 wait. To make the Joker actually um, functional again. Yes. I'm trying to get up along with with my foot as well. But these fucking witch bitches who work for the lit. So, uh, how do you guys feel? about a fight right now. I mean, I have all my spell slots. Good! Wait, you said that was well, you, you don't? What do you mean? What is you your have HP? Your, wait, what do you mean you have all your spell slots? Except for my fifth level. Okay. I have 21. That is literally the only one I'm doing in the game that I've reused. The only other fifth level spell I have I want to an hour which is sleep more. Which yeah, is yeah. real. You only got half an hour. Good. Uh, okay. Half an hour wouldn't get you anything. Has to be an hour or more. Because they're super fucking hard to hit. As long as you get an hour of sleep, you're fine. What the f But you said they interrupted us half an hour in. Yeah, but you get nothing. Those biases. What the fuck does the Song of Rest do? Damn it, Brain. Who has the least level? How many? They have 13. What? Yeah. You know my health potion? Uh, no. I've got healing. I can just heal them easily enough. Yeah, I've also got healing. I don't need healing. So. <laughs> he's dying. Nice. <laughs> what do you um, mean he's dying? I have 21 hit points. Yeah. He has 13. Oh, Use your health potion. That's different. Even worse if you're still alive. Use the oh, health that's potion different. on yourself if you're that low. Cool. Uh, uh, what do you want? I had to figure out the encounter that's about to happen. Fuck! <laughs> Are they coming through the doorway? Fuck a song of rest. What? What is... I'll just explain to you what the fuck's happening. Okay. Nothing right now. You just hear the Stone Sisters cackling. And you can hear groaning from the main room. And everyone's probably grouchy as shit. Oh, I think, think I know what I is going on. What do you think's going on? Oh. Are the little kids now monsters? Yeah. Oh, I was about to say the little straw one runs in. Oh. Hey, you're all fucked! The straw one runs in? Yes, because the straw one's the only way they talk. Hey, you guys it just kind of points backward and just kind of shakes its head. <clears throat> yeah. And it just runs in circles. You can't exactly dig. It shakes its head again. It does like a big scary monster pose and starts stomping around. There's a big and scary. Then it points outside. There's a big mm -hmm. scary fucker out there. It holds up three fingers. Three scary fuckers. Mm. Um. How big are the scary fuckers? It looks around and it points at rock. About his size? <laughs> Not that big. How hardy are they? Are they like? Really tough? <coughs> or are they just really strong? It scratches its head for a second and holds up eight fingers. Eight out of ten? Eight nods its head. 
Eight out of ten health or s uh, eight out of ten for health or strength? One puts up two fingers. Strength? Three fingers. Three for strength. Two for health? One puts up a three and a two. Oh, 32. Oh. <laughs> it face palms. <laughs> well, that's going nowhere. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's keep going. What's going on? You're gonna keep doing charades <laughs> with the little straw thing? Yes. All right. Um, can I roll to see what the fuck it's trying to say? Sure. Intelligence check. Fuck. Plus nothing. Holy shit! Sixteen. It's trying to tell you both. Can it is very strong and it hits very hard. Oh, can very I roll strong to look out and the very. Door? Sure. Ooh. Are you trying to be sneaky or are you just trying to look out? I'm using my eyeballs to see. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to? I'm also to trying to smell it. I'm trying to see. Perception. Whiff in the air. Two. I, I have anywhere. advantage on smell. Eighteen. It smells like death. Fuck. Undead. I'll is this thing undead? I'm pretty sure it is. I'll try and sneakily look. No, it, it isn't undead. I'll try. But it still smells like death. I'm sure. I'll sneakily look out the door to see what the fuck is on. Stealth check, and then perception check. Aha. Not necessarily in that order. It's whichever order you want it. Which one is stealth? Nine. Plus seven. Sixteen. He's gonna make Joker do that with a plus thirteen. Sixteen. Is that your stealth or your perception? Stealth. Okay. Perception. Sixteen as well. You see flesh golems outside. Uh-oh. Three of them. All turn back to the others after going back inside. Do you know what a flesh golem is? I, I've never played against them in 5e, but every time I've played against them in Pathfinder, someone in my party dies. <laughs> <laughs> All come inside and say, hey, we got some flesh golem looking fuckers out here. Um, and it looks like they're wearing plate armor. Wearing shiny plate metal armor. Anyone know how flammable these guys are? So they're wearing metal. Right? Only Plant Boy would probably know that. They're wearing metal, right? Yes, but they're still that flesh. That is very flammable. Yes, but they're still flesh. Don't worry, it's flammable. So uh, I'm going to just... Metal. How I'm many enemies are there? Three. There are three of them. I'm just going to assume that Plant Boy looks this up. Um... If a golem takes fire damage, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until its next turn. Excellent. What about explosion uh, damage? Uh, his book says nothing about explosion damage. Interesting. Interesting. Let me look at this spell. You guys should be able to take these things out, no problem. Maybe. If you go... If you guys want to stay in here for a second and let me do something. Where the fuck is the spell? Here we go. I think it's you to this there thing. You might want to speed this up a bit out of the way. Yes, because gas. Yes. Holy shit. Uh, Which I never started the time before, but I'm keeping a decent one for most of it. All right. Um, All right. So where are these guys standing? Just kind of around the center of the main room. Are they close to each other? Uh, let me take a look at the room. I'd say they're all within 15, 20 feet of each other. There we go. Uh, yeah, they're within 15, 20 feet of each other. Maybe even a little bit closer. Okay, so they're all within 20 feet of each other. Yes. Okay. So in the middle of them all, I will cast a fourth level. We're all away. We're all twenty feet away from them, right? Yes. You're in quite a while away. In the middle of all of them, I will roll a fourth level fireball. Lovely. And while he's doing that, I'd like to conjure an elemental. I'm gonna get down their HP real quick. I have six. No, it's 68. Or 86, one of the two. Hold on. Let me look at my dice. I don't have much. Here we go. Hey. Eight 
D6 for third level. For fourth level, it just adds three D6, I believe. Increases by one D6. One D6. You just go up by third. Even worse than I thought. Yeah. So nine D6. Uh, Fucking hell. Uh, love it. Fuck. Uh, uh. I just realized I did their HP wrong. Shit. Okay. That was a nice number of hit points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Twenty-five damage. Oh, I thought you'd say twenty-three. What? I thought that you'd say twenty-three. Why? Because I would put them at a nice even number. Ooh, sorry. Well, they well, seem barely phased. Still stumbling around. They would take fire damage, would they not? Yes, they take fire damage. So they have disadvantage on attacks. And for six seconds, yes. Mm. They still haven't noticed. Oh, they've noticed. Are they still within? I'm, are they, I'm gonna walk out the room. No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> before they, before that, are they still within 20 feet of each other? Yes. I'll cast another fourth level fireball. Cool, do it. Um, you hear the cackling of the Seven Sisters. How much HP do they still have? More than the Druid. More than 100 HP. More than like 120. I think that's how much you have somewhere in there. Well, I mean, I still did a decent chunk of the house, right? What do you consider a decent chunk? Like, more than 10%. Oh, sweet. Rolled a lot higher this time. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, wait. They have to make a save against it. Oh. I forgot about that. Yes. Uh, what's the DC? Spell saving throw? No. Because they rolled a... My is it dex? I think it's dex. My spell save DC is 17. They rolled an 18. Fuck. So they take half damage? Yes. So they only took... What did I get last time? I have no idea. How much... What's their total HP compared to what they have now? Because I'm an idiot. I don't want to fucking do that. God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Um, they I'm sorry, took dude. 25, so they would have only taken 12. So that means they'd be at... Oh, that's also a kind of a nice number. So it's a good number. Hope has been restored. Now they're going to roll again for save, and they got a 17. So it meets it. Which means they save. So they take half damage Fuck from this one as well. these fleshy bastards. Okay, so... You're just gonna anger them. And then they will beat the shit out of you. I mean, we're gonna anger them by attacking them anyway. Oh, they weren't particularly going after you yet. They were just kind of being mindless in the middle of the room. Well, I mean, it seems like they haven't noticed us yet, and that's two fireballs. No, they've noticed. They, they are looking at you. They're just not moving. Okay, so... And they don't have any weapons. Shh, I need a ten... At least I don't think they have weapons. Yeah, they have. But they don't need weapons on how much fucking damage they do. That's 34 divided by 2. 78. Yeah, they take 17 HP. Cool. I'm gonna walk out to just right outside the door and just kind of look at them. They look back. One of them waves. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might be safe for a little bit. Are these things non hostile? I mean, they're not attacking you, are they? I thought maybe they didn't see me. Just since chuck I two fucking switch. fireballs at them. <laughs> I mean, can you ask if they're hostile? If they're mindless. You could try and ask. I'm sorry that my friend's been such an ass. 
It just grows. I don't know what that means, but I think it, you're pretty cool. <laughs> just <laughs> thumbs up. Just you nod cool. approvingly. Ask if they can give us talk. <laughs> you got any they, fucking chalk? They just kind of <laughs> stare at each other. <coughs> you hear the witches whispering amongst each other. Do you have any chalk? <laughs> when the when the uh, barbarian's more chariz- charismatic than the freaking bard. He is. Because he's dumb and people like dumb people. Because they're dumb. Hey! I, I cast two firewalls and did shit damage while he's making friends with them. Oh. Nice. They start walking toward the stairs. You're upstairs. They are essentially coming for you, is what I'm telling you. Yeah, so they're gonna fuck us up. Or that's the plan. Why don't you guys just stay there where you are? They do not respond. They continue walking. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I just keep I'm gonna metal on one of them. Roll initiative. Damn it! Can I do something directly before initiative? Fuck. No. We have to see if Kyle can even do his thing. Ooh, they rolled pretty decent with that one. What do you mean if I can even do my thing? I, I, I like, started the combat by doing that. Well, then we just got to figure out where he's going yeah. in the combo. Nine. Uh, Joker didn't roll super well. Oh, let's just bottleneck him with the door. That sounds like a fucking terrible idea. What? How would bottlenecking them be a bad idea? <laughs> the I mean, how would there's three of them, and I'm guessing uh, how big they are. You want to take one can on walk in one at once. That's the wrong thing. Just I ignore mean, me. <laughs> I haven't slept in two days. They only need no. one to kill you, so I wouldn't get too comfy with that doorway. Where the fuck did their stat thing go? Uh, three pages to the left. Because I know, I'm just guessing where it would. That is very incorrect. It's not there. I think it's actually past the book. So it was still to the left. Going, going, going. Oh. Right there, found it. Okay. So it was seven to the left. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and write down. Joker's initiative was an 11. Wait, are these things held together by magic? No. Unfortunately. All right. Kyle. Uh, What'd you roll for initiative? 15. 15. What's your modifier for dex? That I added that modifier. with the modifier. What is it? Minus one, 11. Fuck. Huh? Fuck. M- minus one, plus five. Yeah, you'll have to re-roll. Uh, oh, fuck it up a little. Bar- Nine. Barbarian. Thirteen. Ooh. Monk. So it's double what I rolled. Jesus. No one's rolling great. You need to re-roll, Kyle. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. you're probably going first. Fifteen. Yep. Okay. So the order is going to go. Rock. Kyle, the flesh golems, the Joker, the monk, and the barbarian. Not the barbarian, the bark. So I need to get this in order. Whoops! I just sent it in the chat. That is not that good. Uh oh. Yeah, their HP has been real, so nobody look at the chat for a minute. I had already popped out on my screen. God damn it. <laughs> Just don't tell anyone. <clears throat> no, unless it's five, in which case tell everyone. It is not five. And it, it just popped up on my phone, too. It's quite a bit <laughs> more than five, actually. Does anyone want more chocolate? Uh, so he's there. Who's no. next? It would no be one. you. If you're going to keep off, then I'm going to keep vasecting. Except vasecting. I'm going to keep vasecting. getting vasectomies. <laughs> Cry. And it was Every time you do that, you mess. Uh, 
Everybody knows the story. Swola, Ebola. You now have Ebola. <laughs> All right, I got initiative corner. So right over here. Your dick is now a noodle. noodle. Barbarian boy. Oh. Are they still walking up the steps? Yes. Can, can I push them? <laughs> you All can right, well, <laughs> certainly try. Did I get my spell off? Uh, will yeah. I just roll strength for this? Yeah, you roll strength against them. Ooh, have fun with that. Fuck! They got a 21. I rolled a 1. <laughs> you push this hole. You're just shoving on them, and they're just kind of standing there staring at you. Bounced out of my mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. <laughs> okay, which yeah, one are you casting it on? There's three of them. Uh, the one in the shoulder and keep okay. walking. What do, what do they have to do for it? It takes 2d8 fire damage when the spell is cast. Okay. Um, it takes 2d8 um, at the start of its turn, and it has disadvantage if it cannot drop the item, including the chest piece metal armor okay so it has like double disadvantage because it's because of fire damage all right uh, it takes eight damage okay um, and now I have my action and everything yes it's okay your turn. I use my bonus action to relight the sheet metal all right um, and then what can I even fucking do? Oh, uh, toll the dead. Okay. I'm the one I eat it. Lovely, do it. All right. Don't you have to roll? What do you mean? Toll the dead. Oh, right, they have to roll that. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, they failed. Okay. They got a two. Six damage from two D twelve. Okay. <laughs> Is that all? Uh, yeah, that's all I got. All right, it's their turn. The first flesh golem will attempt to hit barbarian boy. Ooh. He has disadvantage though. So, what's your AC? Twenty. All right. Does it uh, have double disadvantage? No. Oh. That doesn't exist. Oh. Triple disadvantage. Uh, how would he have double disadvantage anyway? Because sheet metal implies disadvantage just as a spell. Like, but where would the other come from? Fire, 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 and the fire damage. Because flesh golem. <coughs> uh, you I said was twenty. Just like, yes. Mm -hmm. First attack misses. Second attack hits. One trillion disadvantage. You never uh, hit. You hit yourself. You flesh golem hit itself in its confusion. Take. Ooh. You roll a one automatically. <laughs> Nineteen damage. The universe opens up beneath you and you just fall into hell. Uh, the next one will attempt to attack you. The first attack misses, second attack misses, and the third one will attempt to attack you. First attack misses, second attack misses. Guys, I thought we were friends. <laughs> The one in the back hold up, holds up his middle finger. Well, it was the one in the front that waved back, and he's currently on fire and very unhappy with his current circumstances. Mm. Oh, he needs to take another 2d8. <laughs> the one in front takes another 10 damage. Cool. All I'm right. Uh, Joker is next. She can just throw her daggers at the one in front. Uh, that's a hit. How and beefy that are is these hit. boys? Uh, given that they deal roughly 20 damage on average per hit. And Pretty fucking beefy. Yeah. And they have plate armor. They beefy. Uh, what Joker do? She hit. So, uh, that'd be four plus what? So they're beefy as fuck and hard to hit. Four. Banjo would be screwed plus against these ten people. <laughs> well, isn't he always screwed? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but he would be especially screwed by these ones. And then 14 plus 
Poor Banjo. Sneak attack bonuses. Just couldn't hit which is anything. What? Even in real life. Roll 10d6s. Who? You, because you're fucked up. Right, because I got fucking army of dice. Who needs to know the fuck? Tell Holy me what shit. becomes of it. Holy shit! Now that's all. Five sixes. Yahtzee. <laughs> Yahtzee, motherfucker. Oh, God. Five sixes, so 30. Bless you. Uh, Thank you. 35. 36, 37, 40, 46. She deals 60 damage. Joker? Yes. Holy shit! The one in front is looking very injured. Oh, you after that shit. attack. <laughs> did she did she fucking nat 20? No. What the fuck just happened? That was a 14 and a 17. What the fuck just happened? She hit. Twice. Oh, was that both daggers? Yes. Okay. That's a fuck ton of damage. Yeah, and she could have done double that if she critical. I should have got dual wielder, son of a bitch. It's an amazing ability. But if you're wielding daggers, you don't need it because they're light weapons. I need. Is Jevil's scythe considered a light weapon? No. Fuck. Uh, the monk is next. I need this spell. What's one of my elemental wicked things? I think that's a range too, so I think I'll do it for. Things of the fire. So I want to cast on both of theirs, and um, I can spend two key points and hit a creature thirty feet, you know, thirty foot radius for one creature, and then it takes three ten bludgeoning damage. And I, if I add a key point to it, it'll take an extra one d ten. Wow! All right. You're really trying. This is mine now. <laughs> Please, I can't trust you. Please give it back. I stopped it from hitting you. It still hit me. <laughs> I mean, if it comes back near me. It's mine <laughs> for good. <laughs> okay. So what's happening? The, um, oh yeah, the creature has to make just a stop. stop saving throw. What is it? Oh fucking uh, everything. Unbroken ear. What does the creature have to do? Make a strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. And aren't these fuckers strong? Uh, yes, it rolled an 18. Okay, so what do I roll? Because I rolled a hit point. I don't know. What's it say to do? No. Oh, okay. If it's your, if it's a spell or a spell like ability, yeah. We roll it. It'd be 8 plus proficiency plus wisdom. Which should be... Your proficiency should be 4. So yeah, that's... Should equal 17 if you have max wisdom. What's your wisdom? It's plus four. Never mind. 16, so it still succeeded. Okay. I don't know what happens if it succeeds. Um, Damage, maybe? Yeah, so let's say it's a Yeah, it takes half as much damage, so um, half of 3d10, and I'll add a, and I'll use a key point to try to do like an extra d10. Okay. You said these guys are mine, do you? That's a d10. Ish. Yeah, that's what I'd be counting. Are you able to convince them to stop? So I'm going to roll yeah. four yeah. d10s. Uh. Yay. <laughs> I don't know. I barely did that was proud of myself. It tasted like the death ramen. Well, no, when it says <laughs> you still roll all the dice and then you just do half of it. Even if I get a nat 20, yeah, that's plus 9 in persuasion. 40, right? No. Yes. These are all because they're being controlled by the hags. Hags are not a cunt like you. They're clean. So I'm down two level four and one level four. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> dice! Fucking hell! See you later! <laughs> Sayonara! Fuck you in particular. <laughs> Did you have it? It just fucking yeeted. Okay. It yeeted itself <laughs> out of existence. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 See you later. <laughs> Did you drop it again? Oh, you dropped it again. God. <laughs>
Damn it. Oh. Roll it and nothing falls. Well, one fell. At least the other three were still up. Okay, so that's zero plus zero. Okay, how do I do a zero in this case? Zeros or tens? Yeah, so it would just be one. Oh, sorry. Zero plus one, would this be a two? Because this is a ten. No. Three is uh, two. The other one is six. Nine. And one more. Do you need to borrow some dice? I think it's just, I think it's just like the eight. Eight is the eight. This is so much to punch. I don't think it's gonna die though. It's a five and eight. Seven, eight. Now that's a lot of damage. Oh, so what are the so that's Except a, for the fact that eight cut in half, right? Well, you take the total and cut it in half, not each die. Okay. And this doesn't matter either way. Yeah, this it would. Because if you rolled five fives. Or four fives. Oh, that'd be twenty. Cut that half is ten. Oh right. Each dice in half. It'd only be four two. So that's eight. one in this. So that's the same because like the dead these were made as if you were rolling them both. So you're just using that as a thing. Okay. So it's nine. Why so so it's <laughs> How much damage? Yeah, four point five. So huh? Wait, what? Five. The fuck? Oh, wait, isn't that? It's five damage. Yeah. If you don't add your last five. You rolled five on four d tens. Yeah, just cut in half. You rolled ten. Oh well, no. I need to know the full thing. Because it actually gets cut into quarters. Three. So they four take two. Ten. They take two damage. The roll was ten. Yeah. For ten on four d tens. Yeah. That is unlucky as shit. Fucking hell. That is an oof moment. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Get your sound so, out. We need a good ooh. To the bard. Ooh. Let's see if you can kill one. Jebel Scythe the Hurt One. Do it. Roll for hit and see if you hit. 15 plus 9. That's a hit. Um, 44. Where the fuck are my 44? I'm fairly convinced you're not going to kill him. Somebody's just having a time out there. <laughs> Whee! Four, four, one, two. Ooh, you actually might kill a bunch of them. Okay, so that's eight. That's twelve. Okay. Plus five. That's seventeen. And I'll viciously mock this bitch. Alright. It rolled a nat 20. I'm sorry, the thought. No, nat 20 on its wisdom check. The fuck well, Dylan? its wisdom might be negative two. It's not a ten. It wouldn't matter anyway. It has to make a wisdom save of seventeen or higher. Well, it's gonna be a minus three. It still would have no, met it. It's their intelligence that's a minus three. You did it. Oh, oh. You could have killed it with that, by the way. Oh. Is is it a one HP? It is not. Imagine you okay. roasted someone to death. <laughs> I've done it before. Uh, With a back bar. to the barbarian. <clears throat> I'm about to end this man's whole career. There are three did. of them. Then I took his minion from the open debauchery. That was a fun one. One is on the brink oh. of death. The other two look pretty much fine. It was a great killing. Whack onto the one the most damaged thing. <laughs> Got it. It was a one shot. What is so that even mean? My god, it went behind okay, her. Let's open a bakery. Uh, 21 and 15. Come one on. of them hits. And with how low his HP is, how, what, what's your damage roll? Uh, 12. Got to activate rage. Uh, you still can. It's only bonus action. It's still your turn. You just wouldn't be able to add it to this. And, uh, but it's plus five, right? Yeah, plus it's fucking five. dead anyway. You can't roll low enough to not kill it. Kill the fucker! Ooh, one is down. Is it the one that had heat metal on it? Yes. Okay. 
Did you lose another dice? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. All right. So, what are you doing? Is that your turn? I activate rage. <laughs> Understood. Kyle, it is your turn. Okay. Make a move. Kill a bitch. You can't use uh, death. Well, none of them are hurt. Oh, wait, they're all hurt. Fuck, I shot him with fireball. Yeah, they're all hurt. How the fuck did I forget that? Yeah. I mean, it didn't do a whole lot, but it's something. I'm gonna toll the dead. Give me a roll for the team. They got a 15. Oh. Which one you hit? How did I forget I shot two giant fireballs? Uh, which one was more hurt? Which one was more hurt? Which one was more they're all about to hit. Uh, one <laughs> directly to the left of him, and I there's one kind of in front of him. I hit them with jump the effect, remember? Okay. Got him right in the forehead. <laughs> They're all still about well, to attack me. I made him, like, I got him down to, like, how much HP did he have before mm. Rock killed him? Yes. No. What? How much HP did they have before Rock killed them? Two. I brought him down to two HP? Joker brought him down. Let's be fair. With 60 damage and a single hit. <coughs> okay, but from that, I brought them down to 2 HP. They only had 10. Shut up. <laughs> 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 oh, so I would have killed it anyway. <laughs> yeah, probably. You would have been oofed. Didn't I deal more than 8 damage? <clears throat> no, you did. That's a hint. You are you done with your turn? Mm-hmm. Have you done anything yet? I don't think you've done anything yet. I told the dead did twelve damage. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't really think I can do much stuff here. Let's see. You done? Yep. Lovely. All right. The golems are going to attack Rocco. Uh oh. Nat twenty for the first one, and uh, twenty three for the second one. Not natural. Don't worry. So you're only taking one critical hit. How much health do you have? 74 at the moment. Uh, it won't kill you. It might hurt, but it ain't gonna kill you. So, uh, especially not, HP especially HP not with those rolls. How much HP do you have at the moment? 13. Shit. So stay away from them. I know. Oh wait, it won't work. They're gonna die soon anyway. Don't worry. 27 from the critical hit. Eighteen from the non-critical hit. So in total, forty-five? Question mark? Twenty-seven plus eighteen. Yeah. And then I cut that in half because of my rage. Yes. Alright, that's their turn. That's literally all they can do, I think. Is that all they can do? Yeah, that's all they can do. Oh, wait. They have multi attack, not just single attack. So that was one of them. Fuck the bastards. I need to roll for the other. Screw the bastards. Uh, 26 to hit for that one. And then 26 to hit. They deserved it. (laughs) No, no. He didn't push. He didn't push him. He just went. Five, eh. Eh. I rolled a one. That's all they're telling. <laughs> Just eh. That's all you uh, that. Twenty in total for the first hit. So you take ten. Lovingly caressed his chest. And then twenty-three for the second hit. So eleven. Have I been giving them multi attack this entire time? I don't think I have. No. Uh, the first time. Whoops. Well, I mean, yeah. I made did I? at least one. Okay. Then it's like, like the first attack hits, the second one doesn't. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure the first time they actually attack, I they attack me six times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh. Oh, what's your max HP anyway? Uh, one Wait, one. what? Huh. 
111 gang. Hmm. Do they have some sort of OP as shit ability? Because from the way your eyes are, it looks like they can fucking one shot the whole party, Dylan. <laughs> they can't one shot. What the fuck do... did you do? They don't one shot. They two shot. They don't. They two and a half shot. No. You fool, 8d10 force damage. It has no nothing to do with their damage. damage. They get paralyzed. They're undead and they can't do that. Holy They're shit. They're not far off. We are the undeads. They're not undead, though. They're really? I told you that. They're constructs. They're yes. Mas they're masters of seduction. They heal. I suppose that could have got some pretty They nice can heal. I didn't know that Unless they can heal. they fire or something? No, it's a certain thing that if you do it to them, they heal. What, poison them? No, they're just immune to poison. Oh, well, that's gay. Wait a minute. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, never mind. Every okay. type of gay. No, um, you know what else is gay? Homosexual. Yeah. Is your weapon magical? I don't think so. You deal no damage to them at all. Fuck! Ow. First Sorry. of all. Wait, what about Magic Man? Didn't he enchant the weapon? I don't know if he enchanted his. Did he? Did he enchant yours? No. no. The only thing that's what did on you there get from Magic Man? Oh, exploding yeah. rocks. So, uh, yeah, your weapon deals no damage to them. Wait, wait, wait. Scorn enchanted them, didn't he? No. It's titanium. It's just titanium. It just deals mm -hmm. more damage. I literally asked if anyone wanted their weapon enchanted, and everyone was just like... I did just right now. I think I tried, and it was like... Um, you've been casting spells. That's magical. That's fine. Yeah. Jokers are enchanted. They're magical. Devil Sight. You've been using the Devil Sight, which isn't magical. Because Jevil's soul is controlling. So you shouldn't have been dealing damage either. Well, I hit them once. Do we just say that I'm just going to leave all the damage as it was. The rest were fireballs. From now on, though, you deal no damage with your physical weapons, and you deal no damage with your physical weapons. So basically... I don't think he does either. I don't think your shit's enchanted either. It is his. Is it? Kind of. Paralyzed undead. So it's magical, the, but it doesn't do The bow staff much. would hurt, but his, like, claws would... Uh, claws would deal no damage at all. You have to use your bow staff. So I have to use spells and banjo blast the bastards. Yes. My apologies. I didn't read these things stat block fully. Whose turn is it? Uh, did Rock just go or did these go? I think these guys just went. Did you rather just yeah, go? They beat the fuck out of you. Uh, Joker goes next. And she's just going to chuck daggers at the one that is more damaged. That's a hit. And that is a hit. Just barely. So, uh, get 10d6 ready. 5, 15, that's add 15 to whatever you roll. For the money. Fuck, that's a lot of three. That doesn't look too good, but. That's three. And since she's got magical daggers, they take full damage from this attack. Yeah, count it again. Like 12. 17. 17 plus 21. Plus 9. 30. 32. 34. 30. I already took damage off. So, that's Joker's turn. Now back to the monk. Interesting. Just take them all one at a time. Did you say a monk claw is an immunity? Yes. You have to hit him with the bow staff. Killed them with a magic axe that did 240 health? That yeah. Crazy. You have to buy that for magic, man. Oh my gosh, I can't buy fire it. Fire damage is in my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> so fire damage doesn't do anything to me? Fire, fire damage, damage does it. do shit. It's fire good damage shit. is really good on them. Fire damage is good shit. Can I purchase okay. sexual relations from magic man? Yeah. For your what? another yeah. elemental discipline? How much time do you get a fire? 
says when I take your attack action, I can spend one key point to cause uh, Kindle the Flame that increase my unarmed strike to reach my ten feet. And it does fire damage instead of whatever damage, bludgeoning damage. Okay. So I was wondering if that would stack with my the damage my unarmed strike will affect the um, like the one that goes off and subjects my fire. Does it say instead of or in addition to? It says instead of bludgeoning, but I don't use bludgeoning and unarmed strike. I use so you just do an unarmed strike and it'd be the same damage, but now it's just fire instead of bludgeoning. Stop it! <coughs> so you just attack normally. Maybe. So that would cause fire damage. Yes. <laughs> and then for like the bonus action. I have extra attack, so it takes the attack action to um, pass, and then I can have another attack. So I was wondering if I could use my flurry of blows to do two extra attacks. Well, yeah, just two attacks with it, though. Because it takes one attack action, pass, and then, and then if I use flurry of blows, could I do two attacks? Two on our strikes? Yes. Okay. All right, so uh, I cast Fangs of the Fire Snake. And which one's focus on me? Or I just try to pick the one focus on me. We'll just assume that's the more damaged one. Okay. For convenience, we'll say. Yes, for convenience. Yeah. Also, they walked up a, s a staircase, so they're kind of in a line. It's a 10-foot light staircase. Then fuck that idea. They were in a triangle. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. Triangle formation. Roll for hit. No, if you hit the bastard with either one of your attacks. Okay, so I'm doing two attacks with the um, fire spell, whatever. Which is 17. Do I roll for the other hit? Or yes. Do I, do I roll for damage or just roll for damage? Either <laughs> way. You have to roll for the other attack I at think some about point. What you're doing I today. swear to fucking god. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> what the shit? I had my eyes closed. Holy Jesus. <laughs> Your bag is the. You said something in my fucking bag. Yes. Okay. And the R2D6 now for arm strike. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yes. So that 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 means. Got it. Now for hit with the other one. Seems a miss. Um, so 17 is the right hit. It is the right plate armor. Which is bullshit. Understood. I told you they were wearing plate armor. Which was bullshit. Look, man, I don't know what kind of bullshit you put on these enemies. <laughs> That's like, yeah, they're dual wielding their fists, so they in get the book, one extra the golems AC. are clad in plate armor AC 17. No, you fool. Oh, they have defensive duelists and they're dual wielding fists. You can't defensive duelist with your arm. What if they're using the knife? They're using the knife on their arm. Monks could. Monks could defensive duelist with their arms because it's technically a finesse weapon. <laughs> I just love the idea of my arms are a finesse weapon. <laughs> oh. So I think the monk is done. I don't think I can okay, do anything so, else. So if I use patient defense, like, because, like, Ash just took the dash dodge action. You like can't. You already used a key point and used your bonus okay. action. Let's see what that weapon does. We would be to the bard. Your I mean, it's not yours. It's just your yeah, I know. Okay, so can't use that. So who the fuck is in front of me in between these things? Where the fuck are you people? Those two. Those two are with the golems. Yeah, can, I can I step in? Kind of. Can I step in front of them to get between them? And no. Them? There's no room. If you fucking They're move back, I could blast the bastard back. Literally a fucking clump of flesh right now is all that's going on over there. Oh, that's kinky. <laughs> <laughs> it was so like quiet and just like. 
you're just steer it. tamed back. Like normally you're just really loud and obnoxious about it. That one was just quiet. It's kind of weird. That's the sound you hear in the distance when you're alone. Uh, uh, alone. Uh, uh, when you have sleep wow. at 1 a.m. <laughs> Come on, Bard. I want to cast Slowly Dissonant Whisper, slaughter. but these fuckers have been rolling so high. Indeed. I'll try Dissonant Whispers once at fourth level. On which one? The. Where are the other? Where are they? One's beside him and one's in front of him. Which one's more damage? The one in front of him. I'll go the other one. Cool. Roll a four. Excellent, it failed, so I do. How much do I add to this shit? Fuck, I should have been looking this up. Uh, it's just 1d6 per level above first. 1d6 per level? Yeah. I do know that. Could have sworn it's two. Uh, I want to look it up, but I'm pretty sure it's just one. I'm going to look it up in case it's two. Because usually casting spells at higher levels is really worthless in comparison to just casting them at their basic level. Yeah. Usually. It's like, oh, it does 3d8, and for every level higher, you add one extra d8. Yes. Instead of making it bullshit overpowered like what actually happened to the ancient bone. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Um, but do you want an 8th level fireball that just rolls 20d8? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, I'll give it to Rosny. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't spook Rosalie. He'll summon a fucking moon fireball. So you have a third little spell slot. What are you going to do with it? Cast, Cast fireball. fireball. Okay, how many d8s is that? 40. <laughs> yeah, spook Rosalie. I dare you. All right, everybody put their dice in the middle. <laughs> We're going to need everyone's dice to do this. So 6 d6. We'll call the dice. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not casting a nice double fireball. It wouldn't do a whole lot anyway. Not with the current rules. Isn't there a thing I can do where I can add, like, the bardic inspiration to my damage? I don't know what I have to do to get that, but I know it exists. It's a spell. It's a spell? Yes. You have to cast it on yourself. Damn, or somebody I else. I could have sworn it was something not a spell. No, it's a definitely a spell. Or a magic item if you can find one. Or just buy it from magic items. Fuck it. Okay, one, two, three, three, four, five. Uh, it's not like he was like a fucking kindergartner trying to count. <laughs> he just forgot some of the numbers. Eight damage. Like a bang. That's it. Yes, that's it. My spells are weaker than the fucking melee weapons, okay? That was almost the worst that you could have rolled. I know. It's I'm bullshit. Uh, Barbarian, Rocco. It is your turn. How is your modern life, Rocco? <laughs> I'm glad somebody got the reference. It fucking sucks because he's getting attacked by a golem. I'm yeah. going to try to step away from these guys. You would have to use your action to disengage. That's cool. What's your HP? Uh, 31. I mean, you're enraged. Do you really want them to gang up on somebody else? Don't worry. They'll be ganging up on me. Don't you have, have the bear totem as well? No, they're not. Yeah, but they do around 20 damage, right? No, they'll be so ganging up on me. You're not even close to them. No, for, uh, my turn's for next. each attack, they do about 20 damage. Uh-huh. So if I get hit with, like, three of the attacks, I could die. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Just walk away. I'll go in there. I probably should have healed you. Walk away. <laughs> Are you going to disengage first? Yeah. Lucky us. I don't want to have to hit you with two opportunity attacks from these fucking things. <laughs> fucking dead. Is that all you're doing? Uh, I think that's all I can do. Okay. You lose rage. Because you haven't been hit. Ah. And you haven't attacked. So, uh, Kyle. Oh, Shit, oh. I could have used Cloud of Daggers at level four to just make like six... D4 All right, damage my every bonus turn. action to turn into a werewolf. Ha? Huh? A werewolf. Yes. Got it. And then I walk at the fucking things. Do you do anything else? D and don't then I hit them using my action. Don't you, like, not take any damage due to lack of cover? Uh, which one are you hitting? 
like uh, werewolves can be hurt with either magical weapons or silver weapons. Yeah. Oh. Everything else is just impervious. Yes. And that's which is why, why they're great. great. Which yeah. is why you said you they they could take down a Koran. Which one were you guys hitting? The one by rock. The one in front of him is the most damage. I'm hitting one. the one that was in front of him. All right, roll yeah. for hit. I gotta fucking look up this stat block to see which one this is. <laughs> I think they have like a plus four to hit or a plus five. They have multi attack. Oh, that's only in hybrid form. And I'm in wolf form. Yes, you're in wolf form. Which means I only have bite, which is plus four. Uh, one beam. Um, 17. That's a hit. Alright, so we got that one beam. 10. 8. Ooh. Are its attacks magical? Hmm? Are its attacks magical? Yes. Okay. I wanted to make sure. Yep. Circle of I didn't remember. What is it? Moon circle gives me magical attacks on beast form. Ah, I love that shit. Oh, fuck that I put their HP slot in. Okay. But you hit the one in front of him, correct? Hmm? You hit the one in front of you, correct? What is Moon Circle? Next. Uh, it's a druid thing. It is the Flesh Golem's turn. And they will go for the druid. So get ready for four hits. Are you ready? Are yeah. they magical? They are. Oh, fuck. Darn. <laughs> uh, what's your AC? 11. No, 12. Uh, 15. Nat 20. 11. So five hit miss. Actually dodged one. And 16. So you're taking two hits and a critical hit. What? Yeah. You, did you gain more HP with the werewolf form? Yeah, you get HP equal to the beast. But any HP that he loses past the beast's form HP goes into his regular HP. Uh, yeah, hold on. Hold the book Why up. am I getting attacked by three things? You're not. They you're not. There's two. Attack. And they have multi-attack. Yeah, but why did you only roll three times? Because uh, you four. dodged missed one, right? One missed. <clears throat> and one was a crit, so it kind of made up for it. Yeah. Uh, so the first hit was a regular hit, so that would be... I did uh, not think their attacks would be magical. 19. It would have been pretty good. Magic? Cool. They are constructs made by witches. Look, man. <laughs> uh, the first regular hit deals 29 damage. Uh-huh. I'm going to do the second regular hit next, just to get that out of the way. Uh, you know what these witches can do? 17 damage on the next they regular attack. They can take attack. a stalag what was the first one? or stalagmite or whatever the 26, fuck. 26, I think? Go in the other room. Okay. 26, Use it to go fuck the themselves, because the I am tired one? of this bullshit. Wait, the second one? second one was a 16. I'm also okay. tired in general. I need to sleep. Can you stop? You can't even hear me. I can't even hear myself. You're louder than everyone else at the table. Yep. Like you always are, my boy. Yep. Today is the beat disaster. Thirty-three damage with the critical hit. I'm down. It's almost ten o'clock, and we haven't You're even got past the first room. Yeah. Uh, Thirteen plus fifty-eight <laughs> equals the HP of the werewolf. So you did more than that. Damn. Your druid is down. Yeah. By like four hits. But that was both of their turns. Yeah. So next is Joker. She will attempt to hit the weakest one and try to kill it with a single dagger. So you're like, uh, mm, she missed. Uh, the other one, yeah. mm, also a miss. Fantastic. Joker's worthless. Mm. Monk. <clears throat> you're going to be their next target if you don't do something. Taking off my staff, I'm gonna fight off my little weapon. Uh, it's a bonus action to pull out a weapon, I believe. Pull out a weapon? Yeah. If you like attack when you pull it out, it's just an attack. Okay. I knew it was either a bonus or no, it's an action to either pull I, I it like, out or put I it like, away. I was like literally reading it. It's like if you mm -hmm. pull it out and attack with it, it's just one attack. I think it's if you put it away, you have to do an action. Yeah. Okay. I always get those mixed up. Then I'm really bad about it. So I can for the key points of the thunder strike with my staff. So uh, I 
part of you that's the one closest to me, and it has to do with, um... Well, we're both five feet away, so you'll need to pick one. Oh, okay. I'll hit one... The one to the right, I guess. Cool. Wait, does it have to do with Constitution saving throw? Got it. I think it's, uh... Mm. I will hit the spell move. Yeah, I think it's it does damage and then and then it's also the stunning ability too. Ooh, that one. Yeah, you're not hitting them. Oh. The roll was so bad, you missed and you overextended yourself, falling down the staircase. Okay, can I? Definitely not. You guys are kind of fucked as it is. <laughs> okay, we that was. So that was one attack. So I'll try it again because I just tried the extra attack. Okay. So 20. <laughs> nat 20 or non nat 20? Nat 20. <laughs> okay. Nat 20. And that's plus what? 25? Well, it obviously it's a hit. Mm. I think that makes up for the uh, nat 1. Yeah, it does. So I'll be 20 plus 5, 25. So, yeah. so what's the damage and what's going on? Okay, so. Dagger is one d six. That one's a six. You're not gonna like the number they just rolled for that con save. I get five. You roll one more time for that stroke. Okay. It's one six. So five eleven. Four damage. Okay. Did they roll out stun it? Did they roll a nat twenty? They did. How much did you do? 11? Yeah. Cool. Magic Isn't that all? There's a magical spike. Subtracted it. Magic the fuck out of these things. Huh? Can I spend any more key points? I mean, I have that. I can have that. Well, you can only spend a key point as a bonus action. Sorry, is it a bonus action? Well, you spent the key point to stunning strike. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, next would be the bear. So they're down. So Druid is down, yeah. Yeah. Any fucking healing word? Cure wounds. Oh, you want to get close. Great idea. Fuck. Just use the cure word. Like no I only problem. have cure wounds. <laughs> no the bard doesn't have a healing word. Me. Wait a fucking second. I even have healing word. <laughs> it's such an overpowered fucking spell. It's a bonus action. It's a bonus action that heals from range. Well, fuck that, apparently. Um, third level cure wounds. So 3d8 plus his spellcasting mod. Or wait. Three, 3d8, yes. Am I still in d20? No. Okay. As soon as you go, as soon as your life points run out for the beast form, you will take half your mana. I could reload it. Um, Roll three d8 plus five. What? Rolling D fours over there. <laughs> Fuck. Wow, that's a great set of rolls there. Fifteen. <laughs> Not even. That's more than you had before. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was fifteen. Never mind. I thought it was nine plus five, so it would have been fourteen. I'm the one who can't guess. Yeah. But you're still gonna die. Yeah. Like one hit. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you back the fuck up. Yeah. Or go beast forms or something. Can you? If he beast backs up. They're going to gang up on either you or the monk. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so. And he doesn't have the HP to be there unless he beats for him again and they don't roll high. I have 30 hit points. So. They would wipe the floor. What level do you have to be to beast for me with Tarask? Like 90? What? Challenge rating of the thing, my level divided by three. All right, so. Tarask is on level 37. Plant Boy is on the Discord. Hello, Plant Boy. You bastard. Tell him to get his ass over here. No, I'm pretty sure he's home. Tell him to drive his ass I over here. I don't know here. where he is, actually. I just know we left, what was it, last night or this morning? Yeah. At some point. It was, I think it was last night. Plant boy, where the fuck are you? I don't know where he is. No, it's not. You said he was listening? He's not listening. He's just he's on the Discord. He's active. Oh. He might be listening, but I have no idea. So, the bard just left, correct? Um, I would like to cast Vicious Mockery on Big ugly number one. 
heart ball. Well, they're both hurt. So which one are you? The one that's most hurt. Cool, roll a d4. It failed, got 16. Four. Cool, it doesn't really care. It doesn't give a shit, but it yeah. takes four psychic damage. Yeah, so that's kind of fine. It's pretty, it's pretty okay with that. So, uh, Bob Bear, we are back to you. They're all around the, around them, right? Yes. So I can't go by that way. <laughs> uh, the bard is behind the druid, and the monk is beside both of them, so it's kind of like monk, flesh golem, flesh golem, druid, bard. And you're kind of like back here with the rest of the party, with Joker, and... Plant Boy and Don, if they were here. Hmm. I mean, if no one was around them, I would love to use Shatter, but... What is Shatter? Ten-foot sphere, con save, uh, fail is 3d8. Uh, um, pass is half. 3d8. Or Non-organic beings have disadvantage. So they'd have disadvantage. No, they're made of flesh, so. Oh, yeah. Flesh is... Thanks for giving them advantage again. Flesh is kind of organic. What kind of damage is Shatter, anyway? Yes. Uh, thunder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thunder. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Shatter does good damage. So if everyone can back the fuck up, I can shatter the bastards. Yeah, just everyone disengage. Yeah, I can't do anything without <laughs> killing other party members. I think we should just go. Plus, their their movement speed isn't great. You could throw the rock behind them and hit the monk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is the monk behind them? Yeah, kinda. Oh, the fuck man. Why? Did you just stab him at the back? I mean, poke him in the back of the head. Yeah, Whose turn is it? It's mine, and I'm thinking nothing. <laughs> All right. Gonna back away more. Yeah. Cool. Joker pats you on the back and says, "It's okay." <laughs> no, it's not. I want to make magic. <laughs> <laughs> is Jevil's sight really not good for the dark? That's OP as no. fuck. What? I know what I'm turning into. Fuck. Good luck trying to kill me, jackass. <laughs> He's going to do it now. No, he can't. Could he turn into? Could you turn I would love room? to bet, actually. Because there's still stuff in this room that you haven't even seen yet that's in the encounter. Ah. Fuck. They haven't attacked yet, though. No, they haven't. It's mildly likely. They're passing their turns as they go. Is it the souls this raise? There are one thing. Is it a vampire? No, there is no vampire. The is vampire would beat the shit out of all of you. I is it the you darkness? Suck my weed. <laughs> is it the darkness bias? No, I wouldn't throw more Let's go! What's going on? So, you just passed your turn. Is she going to do anything? Uh, that's for you. And I'm up with health. So you have to Fifth spend half your movement speed to get up. Oh. And the plan right now is for him to shatter them. So, so if you could get disengage away. and get the fuck out, nope. that'd be great. Morphing into an Empress Dana. Uh-huh. I don't know what that is. Uh, Two-headed serpent. Uh, the main thing on it is... Uh, Regeneration. Regains 10 hit points at the start of its turn. If it takes acid or fire damage, it can die, essentially. But other than that, I can't die. Only acid and fire damage yeah. can kill you. Uh, I try to stall it. Yeah. <coughs> Let's just look at the homebrew website. That's not. So why does it say homebrew page at the top? I literally went on to the... Wait. I went, on to, at the I top. went on to fucking <laughs> no. I went on to D and D here, Beyond. Here, 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 here. I swear to God, I went on to D and D Beyond. It might still be an actual Empress thing. Empress fucking Bana right there on D and D Beyond. I can't look it up because it's in the hidden shrine of Tamoa Thane or whatever. The fuck? I don't think that's an official book. I'm gonna be what, honest with you. What the fuck is on D and D Beyond? Because they still because have D and D Beyond stuff. still has like uh, under dark Arcana shit. God fucking damn it, D and D Beyond. All right, I'm gonna that's why I don't like them. Yeah, they're in the Forgotten Realms, which is the uh, regular realms. Wow, just turned into a whale. 
Hold on, you might be able to do this thing. I just want to look and see if I can figure out where the fuck it comes from. What book it was in. So wait, if I cast Shatter and you were still there, you wouldn't take damage? Well, I mean, I'd take damage. I'd go down to zero and I'd be unconscious, and then I'd regenerate ten hit points. You didn't realize if you go to zero HP as an animal, you have to revert back. That's not And then it hits your normal HP. Well, maybe just stay back till you're at, like, six. <laughs> we just do the, we just, like, run circles around him until I regenerate enough hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Would you regenerate your normal hit points, though? DM, would you regenerate normal hit points if he was at max health? I'd say it would just sort of form? boost it. It only goes to beast hit points. Yeah. It only has 11 hit points? That's kind of bullshit. It regenerates health. You need fire damage to kill it. So. Or acid. Or acid. Which Hold two on. of us deal fire damage, three if you count the monk. Hold on. Four if you yeah. count the... There is something else that I'm coming to and just, you know, fly away like a dumb fuck. A bird? You can do flying? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Can I, I just wasn't sure. Yeah, I think level six or eight is flying. But wait, since I'm a changeling, could I just morph myself to wings? Fly the fuck out of there. You wouldn't be able to use them, but you could have wings. Mm. Aesthetically pleasing. The fucking stat block for this goddamn thing. There it is. That's good enough. Reveal Ankylosaurus form. You're turning into Anky. I bet. I'm we have a lot of anti. I can make her. <laughs> oh, geez, this is a completely different one. What? Uh, the one I was looking at earlier had 11 hit points, no regeneration, no nothing like that. And this other one I'm looking at has 59 hit points, uh, has multi attack, uh, has advantage on a bunch of shit, and has the regeneration. So I don't really know. If this is a thing or not, because I found like three different fucking stat blocks for it. There's a lot of homebrew shit going on here. I'd say. Yep, it's homebrew. <laughs> Says at the bottom. I mean, unless you want to homebrew it right now, and just say I'd have you to get this and this and this, and that's I'd have it. to fuck with it quite yeah. a bit. I'm probably just gonna turn it. Those into fucking one. slods that you guys are fighting have pretty much all of these same stats, but they're like a challenge rating seven. Hmm. So. Not exactly great. Not exactly balanced, I should say. Could you turn into Anki? I'm Anki? I don't know, I think Anki is a three. I think. Yeah, it is. And what's the max level you can transform into? Three. He can do level three. So you can turn into an Anki and fuck him up. That includes shit like killer whale, giant snapping turtle. Um. Let me know what you're transforming into so I can pull up the stat block. If it's something magical, then you can do damage. If not, then you're kind of screwed. Yeah. Hmm? Pick something magical to do damage, because they don't take damage from non magical well, things. Anything I turn into is a magical attack. Yeah. Oh, it's just a druid thing. What can you turn into that does a shit ton of damage? Um, can I get an opportunity attack if I fly away? Yes. I'll still have an action there, I think. You could just disengage and fly away. Yeah. Let the bard do his shatter to have his moment in the spotlight. <laughs> to a swarm of rats. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually not an awful idea, because... Wait, no, that is an awful idea. That's an awful idea. These guys have magical attacks. Uh, I turn into a giant eagle. Okay. Holy shit. As a bonus action, and then I use an action to flap, flap the fuck away. That's not an action, that's just a movement. Disengage. Yeah, but I need to disengage. Yeah, you need to say that, otherwise I get opportunity attack. Disengage. Bye bye with an action to disengage. Away. Lovely, Aaron, I've got your Hold stat block pulled up. Hold Let me just speak giant eagle. Caw, caw. Holds up middle feather as he flies away. <laughs> I'm flying, I'm kind of using those feathers. <laughs> Just flaps really hard with the one he starts flying in circles and through the air. <laughs> you use a metal talon, though. Alright, so I'm assuming that's your turn. Yeah. Okay. By the way, if you shatter, you could kill one of them. Excellent.
seconds. I'm 80 foot away now, so I see the max distance. Okay. The room's not that big. The room's big. not that big, but I'm just going to assume you play to the farthest the corner farthest and corner. chill. <laughs> yep. So, uh, the golems turn around and smack the monk. Sorry. Like, what I didn't think you just get turned around. I mean, no. one just turned to the left, the other turned to the right. Just and they're both going to hit you. Tunk. <laughs> so, get ready for four attacks. What's your AC? That one probably um, missed. That was a uh, 14. That was a 14 to hit. I'm really hoping that doesn't hit the monk. Oh, no, I need your armor class. 19. Holy shit. That's a miss. And he's rolled a 19, so that's a hit. Uh, what is there? Plus, is it plus 7? Plus 7? Plus 7? Plus 7. Cool. 19. That's a Tarak. No, Tarak is more than that. Okay. That's a something. Uh, magic damage. 25 plus good mark, if I can math correctly. You mean and then most? 23. Three of them hit, one miss. I mean, the basic Tarak is a thing. So. I'm not even bowling. 10, 10, 10 14. When I could, I probably would have a thousand ball bearings. 16 damage from the first attack. Seven, 12. Uh, 27 from the second attack. The attack is trembling. Down, you're not dead yet. The truck you bombed. So that means the other one can actually attempt to hit somebody else. Is anyone else near the golems? Hi, how are you doing? You walked up to hear me. Believe it or not, I can tank a hit if they can't hit me. Uh, 26 to hit. Yeah, they hit me. Why do you ask that question? <laughs> yeah, um, I You're got plus it. Plus seven to hit. Yeah, I, I think I'll fucking yeah, hit you. Um, I got a, yeah, I got an AC of like uh, 32. Um, yeah, it did no. 15 damage. Yeah, 38 That's to hit. hit. Yes, it rolled really low every time. It rolled like a 1, a 1 on the 2 d8s and like a 4 and a 4 on the 6s. <laughs> this is yeah, really crazy so again. 15? Yes. But since the monk's down, you could just, you know, back up and shatter now. Alright, you sons of bitches. Well, when it goes, when it goes to your turn. Whose turn is it? Uh, Joker's. Joker. She will, knowing your plan, hit the one with the more HP. And that don't look like it's about to fucking keel over because you missed. And she hit. Okay. She hit one of you. So uh, get 5d6 ready. And then we're going to add 7 to it. 5d6 plus 7 is how much damage you deal for the stronger one. Wow. <laughs> That's some numbers. Eight. Those are eight numbers. numbers. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah right? That's 17. 24 I'd, damage. Kid. I'd give those numbers a 3 out of 10. Alright, it's looking wounded. So I can shatter the fucker? You can. I think. Is it your turn next? No. It is the monk who needs to make a death saving throw. No, no, you could cast it like behind or like to the left, so they won't hit the monk. So I can hit both of them, but uh, avoid the monk. No, death saving throw. You rolled a d twenty. Oh, did they walk away from me? Do I get opportunity? It wouldn't matter. They didn't walk away from you. They walked up to you. I think you beating the shit out of you. You're the one who has to who has to disengage. Well, actually, then you wouldn't be able to cast shatter if you disengage. Yeah, twelve. That's a fail. Bard. I can shatter the fuckers. Okay. Eventually, if you fail a certain amount, so that's when your spells. I'm assuming you're going to shatter them. Yeah, I'm just wondering if I should do it a third level. I mean, I don't see a reason why not to. The shatter hit you if you cast it. I don't think so. I think it hits everybody within the range. Yeah. 
So you don't have to no, hurt you, yourself with shatter. You didn't cast it on yourself, right? Why do you think Jebel kept hurting himself with fireball? I mean, I can take either <clears throat> take Let me shatter damage or take opportunity attacks and you know, hope that they miss. Or kill the monk. Don't kill the monk. Just don't right. do it. I'll, I'll, take the I'll take the damage and cast it for me. Each creature in a 10-foot radius sphere centered on that point. So you're a creature. You would have to make the save as well. A creature made of inorganic metal, such as stone, crystal, or metal, has disadvantage. Yeah, if they said that. They don't, because they're made of flesh. Fleshy boy. Fuck. So. Um, 48. Cool. Where the fuck are the eight killed at? Okay, they need to make a con save. Higher than 17. They choose not to make the save. That's suspicious as fuck. They have immunity to cure. No. What? Cure? I don't fucking know. I heard him talking to him earlier. <laughs> so they're taking the shatter damage, mm -hmm. which is suspicious as fuck. It should be. Dylan, what the fuck are you doing? Roll the damage. Is it too late to not do that? Yes. Fuck. You have been mean. Consider yourself. Yeah, just like with the alcohol. <laughs> you mother! <laughs> Still one of my proudest moments. It's yeah, <laughs> we turned an out of character thing to in character, That's and Banjo drank 30 fucking bottles of alcohol! Roll the damage for Flexa! Uh, you remember when I said these guys could heal earlier? Yeah, so, what's up? remember how. Thunder I... damage heals them. Yeah, what's up, Dylan? You what? Motherfucker. <laughs> and this is the highest I've rolled, too. Commit to end Which life. is kind of sad. It's a 15. So make your save to see if you take 15 or 7 damage. 15. 15. Good, good, good. Make a. Let's say the con save. And they heal 15 each. Fuck the bastard. I'm glad you brought up casting Shatter because I was looking for someone to cast Thunder Damage ah. so I could heal them. 13 Boy, plus 1 is 14, so I fucking fail. And take 15 damage. The mother! Congratulations. Fucker. I am very proud of you. What's 51 minus 15? Because I can't math right 30 now. 30 something. 30. Yeah, 36. What? 51 minus 15, 36. I believe. Yeah. Yep. You, Dylan, are a fucking bastard. Why do you think I kept pushing for you to use the spell? Because I genuinely thought you were being a good fucking person. But no! <laughs> you took all the middle fingers and said fuck you to the highest degree because of your bullshit. Hey, Rocco, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do? <laughs> Laugh at the bard. Beat the shit out of the fuckers. Because you got a decent amount of HP. And if you do go down, with I what? can still heal with you. What? With what? He can't hurt them. Fuck, you don't have magic weapons, do you? No. What bullshit are these creatures? You just ask Joker to hand him a knife. What's your dex? But then she wouldn't be able to do sneak attack damage with it. Which is what is doing all of her damage. I need to heal. I need to heal because every dagger she hits deals an extra five d six. As oh long as somebody is twenty. As long as somebody who's an enemy of them is within five feet. I need to heal the fucking monk. So, are you done? If she die, I'm going to punch you in the sternum. Where is that? <laughs> <laughs> the bone right here. Yeah. So what, what are you doing? You have a bonus action. <laughs> you do, or else your rib cage would be flapping. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking butterfly. <laughs> that was actually quite the interesting torture technique they did back when Vikings were alive. Can we continue my do a thing? Perhaps? Um, well, let's, let's fucking see. It. What the fuck can I do? Mm. You wanted it to be like on the left and the right. 
Well, it's all save that. Except for the fact that you put it here and here, which is the front and the back of the mic. For my bonus <laughs> action. For my there bonus action, that I'll better. viciously mock these bitches. Which one? Doesn't matter. Got me eighteen. Fuck these things. Ooh. Now what? the flesh columns are laughing at you. <laughs> Fuck these golems. With a fucking golem. <laughs> <laughs> Take 3d6 emotional damage. <laughs> I think you meant psychic damage. Oh no, he knows, uh, he knows what he said. So, uh, Kyle, it is your turn. Oh, there goes that. I rolled a 13. Wow. The one time he tried to throw it forward, it didn't. It, it actually came toward him when he wasn't trying to eat it because it was a chocolate orange. Mm, what am I doing? Taking your turn. Uh, well, I'm gonna fly back to the group, right? Which one? Because they're kind of split up right now. There's Joker Probably and Rock Joker's in the group. back, and then there's Banjo and the Monk All right, let me, let with me. the Golems. Let me find the range. Can you claw one of them to death? What's the range of this spell? No, because I doubt with like a plus three would any matter. Hold on. Oh wait, 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 wait. When is it at? No, you that said it was all four eights to make that plus, even more. Plus five is what? Uh, for an eagle's attack. I will not be attacking with the eagle. I just wanted to look. So I was doing. Yeah, I'm gonna fly back to the group and then untransform. Okay. And then I'm gonna cast sheet metal on uh, the one that's looking damaged. Well, they're both kind of looking damaged. The one on the left. The one that's more. Who's damaged. left? Because it changes depending if you're talking to his left or his left. No. To the wall. Oh, for fuck's sake! He damn he does the one that <laughs> he takes the one with more HP. Fine, he takes the one Got with him. the least HP. Okay. <laughs> takes 2d8 damage, which is the 13. Okay. And he has disadvantage. And it's not his turn. Yeah. Uh, that was an action and bonus. Uh, I'm out of actions. Cool. Next are the golems. I hate these flesh golems. I want them to die. They're dead. And the immediate, the, the one on the side takes more. He can be shielded. Ten. But you didn't. You would have had to roll perfectly and could have killed it. I did. That's why well, I, I didn't know, but now I know. <laughs> I know he's disappointed. <laughs> so uh, is the monk up with health at all? Nope. No. All right. Banjo, you're taking four attacks from Flesh Golems. Fuck! One of them's got disadvantage. Yes, I'm gonna roll for that. Do any of you now. know healing? Because I'm about to be. What's dead. your AC? 16. Uh, with disadvantage, the first attack misses. Disadvantage, second attack hits with a 16. Uh, the second Golem throws the dice on the ground. The second Golem gets a 26 and then a 9. So, you're taking two attacks. We may need you to walk up and literally just take the dodge action over and over again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just punt. You could have been doing the dodge action this whole time, and grabbing their, their attention. Mm. While well, we beat them from the sidelines. Twenty for two. You take 22 damage. We can heal you. Nope. Thou hast done oof. Is he down? I don't 14 know. HP. Cool. Now the other attack. Kind of my own. Jesus fucking Christ! Thirty-two. He rolled perfectly on every single attack. He didn't need to roll that well. No. Thanks, Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. Very cool. Thanks. Uh, so that's their turn. Joker is going to attempt to attack the flesh golem with the most HP. We can't do shit without someone going down, can we? Two hits. Prepare a 10d6. 
Hooray. 2, 5, plus 10, 15. So we're at 15 to whatever this rolls. This is a joker attacking? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Did you think it was one of the golems? Yeah. Fuck the golems. They've like, been pulling out so much bullshit from their ass, I wouldn't be surprised. You said 10 d 6? Yes. Those guys hit a shit ton of attacks on them. Look at how fucking low these rolls are. He says They're as I looked at... Ooh. Pretty fucking average, actually. Yeah. I say as I look at, like, a six and two fives and two fours. Yeah. And Where the fuck is the second four? They are both within inches of their life now. Fantastic. Monk, death save. It's in that one you die. Oh. <laughs> 15. You succeed. Success. 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 Next, the bar, death save. Fan fucking death. Oh, shit. That's 20. <laughs> Nat 20? Yeah. Double success. Beard. Hmm. 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 Do I have like one hit point, right? No. So you both have two successes, right? No. He has a fail and a, su and a success. He has two successes. Okay. Nat 20 is a bullshit. So are Nat 1s. Those are absolute you know what else is bullshit? I kind of forgot I wrote all that shit on the board. <laughs> you, know <what laughs> you know what else is bullshit? I will erase. No, leave it. I kind of like that font that I kind of made up over there. I don't Do know why. Arrows. It, it kind of looks like as if someone scratched it in. I think it looks cool for a time. <clears throat> That's just me. <laughs> it was so pathetic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's not chalk on these bastards. I don't know how much they'd use a chalkboard at the smart board. The though. smart board. So, uh, uh, Bairb. Ba Van, not Banjo. Uh, Nyx. Nyx is yes. the closest one to me, right? Other than Joker? Yes. Unlike her twin sister, Zin. A uh, family dynamic going <laughs> on there. <laughs> I'm gonna try to run up and, uh, medicine check? Medicine check. Go for it. Go for it. One Nat minus fucking one. one. You now have a fail. Huh? You now have a fail. You're joking, right? Yep. Well. Don't worry. I, I know you're trying to help. Here. What? What the fuck? I stabilized both of them. I'm not going to Well, Kyle, it is your turn. I cast Spare the Dying on Cat. Uh, oh, it's not stabilized. You're oh. stable. He's got no hit points, but it's stable. Uh, yep. You can make this save anymore. Cast healing word on Daniel. Nyx. How much HP do I got? Uh, I don't know. It's like a D6 plus 5. D4. D4 plus 5. Is it wisdom modifier? Or is it wisdom modifier plus proficiency? It's just wisdom mod. Okay. It's D4 plus 5. Oh shit. 4. Uh, 9. Yeah, so I'm up with 9 HP. Because 6 or 9 HP is going to make a difference with these fucking things. That's my turn. Cool. Flash golems. Their turn. And uh, they attack me. Two of you are within range of them. Five. So uh, we're going to play evens or odds if I can find my D4. Look yeah. behind you. <laughs> All right, that doesn't help. Pick. Just for that, you pick a number. No. All right, they attack you. Three. They attack you. Damn it. Ooh. Are you joking or actually being serious? Uh, I am being serious. Uh, uh, actually, uh, 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 heat metal. You need to roll a heat metal damage to see if it kills it. Oh shit, is it going to kill it? Seven. Seven. On the first one, yeah. That is a hit. So there's one remaining, and it is almost dead because Joker beat the shit out of it. You so uh, it will attack you with one attack and just see where it goes. 26 to hit. And 
by default, it does uh, eight damage. Fuck, I'm at one HP. So it didn't matter between six or nine. That's if it rolls ones on everything. Shit. That's a two. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you and your bullshit dice. That it die is mocking two. you. Oh, it's the eight. It is mocking you. What do you mean it's bullshit dice? <laughs> the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I wanted to see like fucking seven ones. <laughs> you went two off the bat. I thought I was gonna roll one. I was gonna fucking die. Bro, it's like fucking eight fucking eights, you know? <laughs> he just dies flat. Right, so he is on the ground again. Uh oh. And the flesh golem will direct his other attack at the barbarian. He'll probably miss, but uh, 19 to hit. That's a miss. I got, I have a 20. Jump me, jump me. Alright. Uh, what did you even roll Joker. to hit me? What number? You said 26? High enough to hit, apparently. Otherwise, I wouldn't have rolled damage. 26. So it rolled a 19. I mean, you could have said, no, he doesn't hit me. And Dylan would have been forced to accept that. No, I would have been forced to murder the party with the sisters. Fuck. Yeah. Joker will attack the flesh golem with her daggers. That's a miss. Plus, and that's the a hit. we can't see that are in the encounter. It's dead. Flesh golem boy is down. Great. Now the other fucking things come out of hiding and attack us. Nope. All right. How many golems are left? None. They're dead. This was fun. We're still trapped in the room. All three of the golems drop keys. I'm on the floor unconscious, so I can't do shit. Uh, if, if one of you guys wants uh, to stabilize me or wake me up, that'd be great. Uh. <laughs> Six. I cast Spare the Dying on Mike. Cool. Stay blind. Can I cast a Spare the Dying on Everybody's stable. Um, I'm going to drag them. Oh, fuck. The green still has poison in it. Yes. Why'd you have to remind Dylan about the poison thing? Well, because it hasn't been long enough yet. I'm going to pick up the keys. Every turn's only six seconds, so you still have a few minutes before it does any damage. Assuming none of you are going. <laughs> <laughs> um, you said we already cleared out seventy floors, right? Seventy rooms, yeah. Can I just like take him back to a fucking previous room? It is blocked. By what? The staircase has a. Uh, if that's a gate over. It has it. a bullshit mode where it doesn't let you. Pass. Understood. Bullshit. Like, no. What? What is it? I want to know. It's a gate. It's a rock. Does it close automatically? Iron bars. Iron bars. So something that rock could easily punch through its way. Iron bars that I could cast sheet metal on. Yes. And then burn. That's the spell. Getting us all killed. Because the magic, because the sewing sisters are still watching. And if we try and leave, they'll fuck us over because that's the kind of DM. Um, that Dylan is, and he's gonna fuck us over as hard as we can. Hey, sewing sisters, Ike, I'm gonna head out. Is, is the gas coming into the other room by you? Then? They ripped the door off. So we'd have to enter another room and fight that bullshit before we can actually rest. Or you can just talk to the sisters like you haven't been doing yet. Um, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get... <laughs> One D eight plus five. Assuming it's first level. Eight. Thirteen. Shit. Wakes up. I smell bullshit. Hmm. I smell mm. con saves. What? <laughs> Shut your mouth. I found the keys. <laughs> what are the keys shaped like? Triangle, square, and octagon. Square. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we can make it past that. Nice. Because you're a moron. <laughs> All of us? 
Freaking Kyle's the one that burnt the damn pieces of chalk. Nothing like a good day's work. So we can put these into the gate that we saw before? Yeah. There's still like two or three shapes we have to go through. Or not two. We don't have the pentagon or the hexagon. Let's go find the pentagon door. Yeah. Let's, uh... Oh, boy. Oh boy, con saves. Sure. You already said we had to do con saves and then nobody fucking did them. I was making a joke. He was fucking because he was complaining. Oh. Well, I didn't realize that. Because <laughs> you don't pay attention. Because I was also making a joke right there. I mean, it's about that time. Let's get into a room before we fucking die more. I, I, would, I would go look for the door, but... My intelligence is eight. You don't even know what a pentagon looks like. I'm all right. I'm up. So Ash is gone. Me. <laughs> Where is the penta? <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> well, uh, we should probably get uh, to one of the other rooms before we start getting affected by the gas again. Yeah. You hear cackling. Uh oh, just gonna walk through the door. <laughs> Hi, sisters! <laughs> Ew. Oh, fuck, they're actually talking. Mm, what do you want? Mm. Well, our goal was to kill you, and uh, clearly that didn't work very well, now did it? You done fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get us. <laughs> I mean, they came pretty close. I don't suggest that you try to anger us, as we still have more than enough magical power to finish you off. That's going to be really hard. We anger a lot of people really easily. <laughs> we don't mean to. It just kind of happens. <laughs> yeah. It, it, yeah. We've kind made of the group dynamic. <laughs> we've made enemies out of pretty much most, if not all, of the island. Except Rosmi. <laughs> Except for Rosmi. And kind of Magic Man. Yeah, we make friends out of people who shouldn't be friends with us, but they are. <laughs> yeah, you don't mind if we just go open all the other doors, right? Feel free, but you won't find the keys inside. Well, where are they? We have them, of course. Can we uh, yes, borrow sure. them for interest? Or can what we? interest? You'll be your soul, interested perhaps. to see what we do with them. I'll take your soul if you don't mind. I might. Well, then, no key. Would it be fine if we at least rest them for a while? If you don't mind the poison. In one of these rooms that's out of the poison, of course. Good luck finding one. I will think twice. If I gave you a gold piece, would you get rid of the poison? I don't know how to get rid of it. It's all Acerax doing. Oh, well, I mean, it seems to be coming from that. Is it coming from the pillar? Yes. It seems to be coming from the pillar, so what would happen if we destroyed the pillar? More of it would come out much faster. Fantastic. What if we covered it with something? Good luck. Fantastic. How big is the fucking pillar? I'm going to try to cover the pillar. About a 20 foot diameter. I'm going to try shit. to cover the pillar. I really wish. With what? Wall of stone, a brick level spell. I gotta look at the dimensions. I really wish I knew Move Earth. That would be fantastic. And you did. I know he would. Do it. What? He just said do it. I knew he'd do it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Can we just magically summon Banjo and Rosme? Nah. We ha it's been like two, three hours and we haven't even made it past the first puzzle room. Do you realize Acerac is right on the other side of that gate, right? No, I didn't. I thought we had to go through five more rooms or some bullshit like yeah. that. Those were the five rooms. You were supposed to go through them all. But, uh, we're but the hag has got the keys instead. But we're fucking stupid. All right, Donna, I need, like, the dimensions of this fucking pillar. You can just well, use spell multiply to get your... It's a brick level spell. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 20 foot diameter, and it goes from the floor to the ceiling, which is about 50 feet. And it's pouring gas from pretty much everywhere. We have a soul to trade. Fuck off. Hold on. Not it's a fifth level soul. spell. It's pretty fucking thick. Snake. 
you've thrown them at a couple people. <laughs> oh my god. Ten foot by twenty. <laughs> Jevil. Uh, I think that would be a bad idea. We have a salt that train. Is 50, 50 foot high. Mm-hmm. And didn't he say that he had to help us? I think that would be bad. I just did 10 hails with one for each side. I, I'm just coming up with big bang, yeah. I think big I can do brain it. strategies here. Hmm? I think I can cover it. Think. I think. So, um, I can make ten panels that are ten foot by twenty foot, and they must be connected. They don't have to be straight, but they can be like wrapped. Sounds like a great to me. Um, and if it's split, five on one side and five on the other side, it would stack up 10 by 10 by 10 by 10, be 50 foot tall, and then it would wrap 20 foot on each side. So you can cover the pillar. Yes, I can cover the pillar. Holy shit, he covered the pillar. Now, um, I need to sit here for 10 minutes concentrating on this spell. Is it 10 minutes to build the wall, or is it 10 um, minutes that you can hold it there? It instantly pops into existence. Okay. Um, but once the 10 minutes are up, the wall of stone is permanent. Okay. Like, but if, it, if my concentration breaks before that, then um, uh, it just kind of poofs. It poofs. But it after that, poofs. they don't really break it anymore. So, RT, what are you doing? Keep me alive. We'll okay. keep him alive. We'll keep him alive. Her. We'll keep her alive. The sister that's been talking the entire time says, You really think you can save her? If we wanted her dead, we would have killed her by now. I oh. mean, this poison's mm-hmm. gotta be annoying for you, too, right? We're immune to it. It's hard to see in the yeah, room. It's a lot of it, things. It, it's a bad aesthetic. Acerac gives us protection. He gives us shelter, he gives us food, he gives us whatever we want. And we can even take some of the souls that he's been stealing. I mean, it's still not a nice view, though. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, but once the entire decorator in here, think of the property value that could be raised with just, you know, some, some interior decor, some paintings. <laughs> once the entire world is dead, it the won't matter. matter. But then it wouldn't look nice anywhere else either. It'd just be I a think it looks great in here. No, no offense. Undead, but if we've managed to get to this part, there are more. I would hope there's more capable people out there. So if we're able to get here, <laughs> if us, a bunch of idiots, then this tower is fucked in general. If us, <laughs> a bunch of dysfunctional, idiotic pieces of whatever the hell we are can make it this far. Think of what someone actually competent could do. Why'd you just point at me when you said that? It's not very rude. Because you're more competent than Banjo was, at least. Rocky. Fuck self. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't point in game, I just needed to spread my arm out, and there's a bunch of fucking dice here. Rock's upset. Why are you upset? We're rock. I didn't move in game, this is out of game. Rock's upset. <laughs> He's not mad, he's just disappointed. Go on, go on with the conversation. That was all I had to say. So what the fuck is going on? We we'll give you the keys if you want to go and fight Acerac yourselves. I mean, not right now. We're not nearly ready for that. Yeah, we need to stop doing these things. I'm sure there's a room on the other side of that gate that isn't poisoned. Just be careful that he doesn't find you while you're sleeping. I mean... Of course, if you ask nicely. Can I please have the keys? She throws two keys at you. Oh, for the Pentagon. Wait, we can the see them? Yes, you can see that one. I thought they were just disembodied voices. The other two still are. Fantastic, what does she look like? She is a witch. Uh-huh. A witch. Uh-huh. That answers your question. No, it fucking doesn't. What I'm do they look like? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Very well. I'm gonna go open up that gate. Please. We need to rest. What have you guys do? 
After you don't steal, mind the poison. After you steal a bunch of money, I'm getting rid of that. She. She is freaking shit. I'm working on it. Well, even if you stop the pillar from flowing, where's the rest of it going to go? That one magic I can just push it out of one of the rooms and then... Hold it there and not sleep? Give them a second sleep and then they can figure it out. Well, I mean, gas is flammable, is it not? Well, just, a, just a fireball. It'll fucking... Let's not do what that. What are you talking about? You already <laughs> sent two fireballs at the pillar. I mean, is the gas flammable? No. Oh. Then no. If it was flammable, we'd all be dead. Yes. <laughs> and believe me, I was considering it. God, I wish it was flammable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck! That'd if be it was hilarious. wait a minute. For this. If this gas, if there was enough of the gas, it could have blown up that entire part of the island, couldn't it? No, oh. it would have just blown up that room probably, oh. and everyone in it. So and then Acerek the would have came over like, why in the fuck are there a bunch of burnt people over here? What the fuck happened? <laughs> oh, they lit the gas. Those goddamn hags! Those damn dude. adventurers always yeah, coming can, in here and blowing shit up. Out of the room. But you wouldn't be able to sleep. I would be, I think. Oh. So you would have to have like a continuous flow of wind to keep it active. Oh I wait! I can summon an elemental, and then I can, um, I can keep him there. Is it concentration, or is it just you summon it and it's there? I don't know. I'll look up the spell because I didn't write anything for it. If I had one more third level spell slot, I could just use Dimension Door. 500 feet to a non poisoned room. But. I just need to know what the group is doing. Does anyone else find it weird that Dimension Door doesn't actually have you go to different dimensions? (laughs) (laughs) That probably wouldn't be able to. It's probably. Because I was Thomas. It's in the name. Why doesn't it let you do it? Because that's a different spell. But dimension is in the name. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's bullshit. More like teleport door. <laughs> <laughs> probably because it sounds better. And it probably because you cross through a sub-dimension very... Because alliteration. Way. It's basically the portal from Fortnite. Portal. Now you're thinking of portals. Hey, did you find a spell yet? Because this is good. Finally hey, Sam. Huh? Yes. Don't you have a computer as well? I do, but I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He's looking up the elemental spell. I don't know what spell that is. There's a lot of spells that you summon elementals. What's the spell? Uh... (laughs) (laughs) Ah. Alright, well, he's doing that. I'm going to use the restroom. That is a problem. Because it would work, but I don't have a fifth level spell slot. I thought it was a fourth level spell, which it's not. Oof. Planar binding. Spelled O U E F. Oof. Yeah. So, what is the group going to do? I think we should just open up the door. <laughs> I think we should just open up the door. It's a minor thing to do. I, I mean, you have all the keys. I don't know why you would. I mean, the question is, is Dylan going to literally put Acerac to just kill us? No. If we try to sleep. Yeah, of course I'm going to. Like, it would just end the thing. Like, Acerac will just find us and he'd be like, dead. I'm just going to open up the door. We're just going to open up the door. Cool, so they set us stairs going downward. We all walk through the door and then close the door and then rest right fucking there. Understood. Long or short? Too long? Stay too long. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, it's just looking at a trap. I thought I was reading the map wrong, but no, I'm not. So, you all take a long rest. to return before we continue because we're in the home stretch
there are two more sites to go. And the first one should be easy. Fairly easy, actually. Maybe. Actually, I was wrong. There are three fights, but one's hardly a fight. It's chilling in a hot tub. That's the fight. And yeah, they're, they're five, five feet apart. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. There's a hot tub? No, not about that part. About the two enemies being five feet apart. I summon water. I heat. That won't hurt either of them. Any I of them. I chill in the water five feet apart. Wait, from this, this is like a seven <laughs> not gay. Seven five feet apart because they're not gay. I throw in the water to ice. No! Not to do that. I only know Dude, that because of Game Grumps. Dude, chilling so. in a cold tub. Five feet apart because they're gay. <laughs> That's how you get shrivel dick. Yeah. <laughs> that was the idea. All right, so what in the hell can this thing do? What did I miss? We opened the door. Uh oh. You're all just kind of sleeping. What the hell? So did we figure out a way to stop the game? Well, you all just okay. slept on the other side of the gate, so. Uh, we opened the door. So the giant pillar of stone looks for nothing. Yeah, pretty much. It just. Well, actually, I, I could literally just be behind the gate concentrating on it for 10 minutes. I'm a devious son of a bitch. But why would it matter? It wouldn't. They just break it. How far do you have to be from it for that to work? Because you're about 45 feet away from it right now. 360. I'm, I'm, it so doesn't matter. They, they could just break it. It's got a health bar. Ah. So, so we're all just long resting? Yes. Yeah. Up on the stairs. Sweet. So who wants to walk down first? So, oh, so we all took a long rest? Yes. All spell slots are back, all HP is back. Excellent. My was rude. <laughs> my, my, my. Are you going to explain or just fucking cackle like a creepy son of a bitch? Well, now can hit death. <laughs> oh, really? Dylan yeah, commits hopefully. murder her party. So, what's going on? Dylan uses action TPK. Don't even try. I Don't mean, even since you guys are actually just walking into Acerax Lair now, I actually could. Maybe Total party kill. kill. We're about to find out, because I have no idea if you guys are capable of killing him or not, because I don't know what half of you are even capable of. Yeah, Acerac is the witch. Acerac is the witch, yes. Okay. He is the crazy son of a bitch. All right, uh, I'd like to talk to the, uh, to the everyone. To the everyone? Uh, yeah. Ah. Well, someone in At character. At everyone. Yeah, someone in character, someone not in character. Um, <laughs> we don't need to fight Acerac. Huh? There's no fucking reason to. Hmm. We could just fuck it. We storm. all we need to do is kill the thing that's making the death save. Fuck up the soulmonger and So I say we it. sneak past him or distract him somehow. I don't fucking know how. Um and Anime hmm. objects. some people kill the death curse. Anime objects is pretty distracting. Um who's on board with that plan? What? Objects? Sneak no. the fuck past oh. him. Oh, that's a good point. Is what do you have I thought he was immediately after the soulmonger. What do you mean? Uh, you said like earlier when the building was weird and you were all at my dorm for whatever reason that 
he that the soulmonger was right before Acerac and he would come to see what the fuck killed it. I was wrong. Because so. I never read that far before. I was making bullshit up. Thank oh. you, Dylan. Very good. <laughs> so we have to either kill or sneak past Acerac. Yes. Before we can fucking kill the soulmonger. Yes. Fuck. I've got a spell that gives an amount of people plus 10 to sneak. And Joker has a plus 14 to stealth. So. I mean, I have a plus 9 to stealth. And I could probably find an animal with a really high stealth. I would, I'm a plus be ten, kind of a right? lazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're not stealthy. Time. I don't even want to try. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, um, but separating the party sounds like a really fucking bad idea. The question is, how do we get back afterwards? Especially if there's somebody who doesn't come along. You know? I mean, you all could just hang out at the top of the stairs, whoever doesn't go. And then when you break the thing, fucking bolt back out. I mean... Assuming you can even make it back out. I mean... We're gonna walk back through the fucking poison room and just get our asses handed to us? We could... Excuse me. Dimension door. Mm -hmm. I don't know. One of the other rooms that we already passed? Good idea. It has a range of 500 feet. So I need to know what's going on, because I want to have all of us get out of here in a reasonable time. All right, I am. We're gonna be uh, here till three in the morning. Yeah. I'm looking up how many people I can hit with this. Uh, I think it's just everyone within like thirty feet, if I remember right. Wait a minute, couldn't I just dimension door us to the frickin' soulmonger? If you know where it is or what it is. So I could sneak over there and yeah. just dimension door back and motion everyone through. Potentially, yeah. But you would be right that close to the party, so if you get... And if Acerac spots you, he has more than the ability to kill you in one turn. Mm. I mean, if he does the, the plus 10 thing, then even if I roll a 1, that's a plus 19. Well, then he'd have to roll as well, because he has to be with you. Mm. What's your spell? The more people there are, the more chances somebody rolls low enough that Acerac sees them. Cool, look, I'm looking. How observant is the master anyway? I can't tell you that. But let's just say he has a higher passive perception than Joker. What's Joker's passive perception? 20. 25. <laughs> passive without trace. All right, so passive without trace. Um, a veil of shadow and silence that radiates from you, masking you and your companion from detection. Uh, Within 30 feet of you, including you, have a plus 10 bonus to stealth checks and cannot be tracked except by magical means. So we could sneak past, or whoever has a low stealth could just stay behind. Yeah, I'll just stay behind. What's your dex? Um, my dex is. Uh, I think he has like a plus 5 to stealth. Yeah, exactly. You should come with me. Unless you really want him to come with me. After I just said what Ace Rex passive perception was. He'd have to roll like a 17 or higher every single stealth check. Or be spotted. Oh, there will be multiple stealth checks. Yes. Fuck. When you get into the room, you'll see why. Is it going to be a bunch of floating eyes? Is there going to no. be Is there going to be a fucking elevator? No. I gotta look for There's just an Ace Rex. And a few other things. Mob entities. But it's all his shit. We need to find a polar, cut off its eye stalk, and look inside there for beauty. Because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Ha! I saw that on Reddit. Yes. Saw that on Reddit. Yes, I know. I stole it from there. You son of a bitch. Yep. I'm, I'm going to call the Reddit cops. They're going to be after The Reddit you. cops. They're too busy munching on fucking digital donuts. I can get a plus three to stealth for clumsy. <laughs> what the fuck's a phase spider? Plus six to stealth. All right. Phase spiders can shift through the ethereal plane. That's. Can I? You could. But you go into the ethereal plane, so does your spell. But it doesn't matter, because spells shift through planes. Oh, cool. I forgot that was a thing. But that is true. 
So it won't matter if you do that. Can you pick I'll just us? climb on the walls and ignore all the shit on the ground. Perfect. Can you <coughs> take someone with you into another plane? Probably. No. They cannot do that. It depends on you, though. Shit. Well, it's got a plus six to stealth, so that's like fucking nothing. Yeah, plus six, plus ten. I mean, plus sixteen to stealth is pretty good. Plus 16 to stealth is pretty good against a normal it opponent that's not fucking a Ace normal Rat. opponent, yes. That's not fucking Ace Rat. Well, you're dealing with Ace Rat. It makes it so that we only have to roll somewhat good on all of our stealth checks. Nat 20 every time would be perfect. Yeah. But you kno- want to know what yeah. we're not going to get? What are we doing? I say... Move if, we, if we travel with less people, do we get a like, is it like harder? Yeah, it'd be harder to check us, right? Mm-hmm. There'd be less people for him to contest his perception check against. Yeah. So I'd say like just me and Joker, honestly. But I can dimension door the rest of the party too, just so everyone. Well, can. as long as Joker's near him, she gets a plus twenty four to stealth. Yeah. She pretty much can't be spotted. And he can just go to the ethereal plane. Hopefully, Acerac can't see through planes. Let me just grab a pen. Well, I'm sure if we only want a possibility, that's a good one. I, I think just me and Joker. So you want to cast the spell and then go up with Joker. But wait, yeah. if you two just go alone to the Soulmonger, that'd mean just you two would fight, be fighting the Soulmonger. I mean, did you not see how much damage Joker was dealing? Yeah. I mean, I know she did a lot of damage, but she still tends to go down a decent bit. She hasn't gone down yet. I can get her up to where she is. And she hasn't gone down yet. I mean, it just seems... She has more HP than you do. Because I gave her an 18 to con. Because rogues need that shit. It just kind of seems not okay to have only... Two people fight the final thing. Plus, uh, she has defensive duelist, and she has uh, uncanny I mean, like, dodge. If you want to come with, I mean, like you're just gonna be an extra person for us to spot. It's really up to you, because if like if you want to go, then feel free to go. But you need to make your decision. Do it anyway. Okay, Dylan has told me in the past that this thing is immune unless it's a magical attack. So you are not coming. You can't be damaged from this. It's got like 200 health. So it's a lot of fucking damage that needs to be done before we can go. Like me and Joker can pump out some damage. I don't do too much, but. Joker can do like 60. Yeah. In a single turn. And Just I how long can she do that without being spotted? Like plus seven to stealth check to be relevant. Wait, so you guys are going to be attacking while staying stealth? I mean, you'd have to try. Otherwise, Acerac's going to beat the shit out of both of you. I mean, he might not be able to kill you as easily because he can just keep wild shifting. Yeah. But he could kill Joker in I a know. single turn. I mean, but her like stealth is a plus 24 if he has the spell active. Like, the only other thing I could think of would be to send Locke and maybe Catmask to just essentially run Acerac in circles for as long as they possibly could. And he just gets distracted for maybe two turns. That's, <laughs> that's the only other option I can think of. What are we doing? Fuck, what did we? Uh, I think mine's 40. It might be 50. I think mine's 75, right? Yeah, I think mine's 75. Mercs are always bad. 
then I mean it won't matter when you're in an enclosed room. And Acerac is a lich who doesn't give a fucking walk speed. Make your roll quickly. 12 and 10. Here we go. 20. Should have saved that roll for later. I should have. All right. Let's sneak with you guys. Cool. So, I'm going to assume it's the Druid, the Bard, and Joker all going. Yeah. All right, I cast a, well, yeah, I cast a spell. How long does the spell last? You walk for ten minutes down the stairs. I do not cast the spell immediately. I'd say probably wait till you get there. After about nine minutes, you can see a light at the bottom. It's a very intense light. The one hour concentration spell. The one hour concentration? Yeah. When you reach the bottom of the stairs, it is a large triangular room. You're entering on one of the sides. And you're looking toward a point. There is a large sidewalk on your side of the room that goes out about 10 feet for a large drop off into a lava pool. There is a small five foot wide walkway that goes up to this large looking creature. There are two walkways leading to some small, uh, small little platforms that lead to the back of the room, which you can't see because this massive monstrosity is in the way. Which, if I can get a picture of it, I will be happy to show you. Uh, those of you who come down, which is us three, see that. That is the creature that you're looking at. giant fucking baby. Acerac is standing in front of it, doing something. Doing Acerac things. That's a charm interaction. <laughs> I mean, if it comes down to it, it's probably a charm or something. Charm him. I can't charm him. Joker looks to the back of the room and says that she, 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 she sees some sort of tank in the back. What's this called? Seashells by the seashore? Sally sells seashells by the seashore. It's a tank, tank that's full of what looks like soul. M1 Abel. Oh. <laughs> she thinks it's the soul monger. Mm. I think Either the thing in the back is the soul monger, or that giant fetus looking thing in the center is the soul monger. What's the thing in the She's back? She's not sure. The thing in the back? Mm -hmm. There's a giant container right there. Kind of okay, like the thing in the back. Glass is container. The and the ugly fetus baby looking motherfucker is there. Yes, and Acerac is standing in front of it. Also in front of it is a large pool of some sort of purple liquid. There How are many tubes leading out of this creature and one of them is going straight into that liquid. How large is the pool? Uh, the pool is 20 feet in diameter. It's pretty much as big as the pillar from earlier. Um, it looks like the only way to get across is to go up those walkways. Or I could make a bridge with my shark. You would probably notice a bridge. A stealth bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the bridge makes a stealth check. <laughs> or I go to the other existence realm and make a bridge there. It'd still Was be in the physical realm. Was that bridge always Fuck. there? Bridge says yes. Well, I can't argue with the bridge. Bridge is okay, so like. <laughs> Can I go? Okay. <laughs> I don't remember installing that. Wow, those construction guys really, <laughs> really worked their asses off. <laughs> Gotta hire them again. <laughs> I knew hiring gnomes was a great idea. 
I've got a bonus bridge. <laughs> Too bad I killed their family. Mm. Walks up in a soul jar. Thanks for the bridge, guys. Soul. <laughs> So, what are you doing? Um, I mean, should we go for the fucking soul jar? Should we wait okay. for him to leave? Where the fuck are you gonna go? Somewhere else? I whisper quietly enough. Dylan, you can't hear us on the mic all the time. Yes, I can. I wasn't whispering. <laughs> <laughs> A little quieter. <laughs> <laughs> I whisper like this. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you getting closer to the mic? You All right, make um, a meme. Um. Yeah, don't say things out loud because I can tell you that it's a bad idea. Yeah. Um. What does Joker say? What do you mean? What does she say? Joker says, "Fuck you." What should we go for for? He says, well, since I have no idea what we're actually supposed to kill, I don't know. What, do you remember what the mage said who hired us? Did she say we needed to kill something or she destroy She said destroy something? the soul monger. Destroy the soul monger, so that has soul in it, and that's a tank full of souls. Yeah, but that weird baby looking thing might be the soul monger. Either way, we're not going to get past Acerac that easily. Hey Google, where's a monger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just standing there. Hey Google, where's the soul monger? <laughs> okay, here's what I found. <laughs> the couch runner. <laughs> From the tank. Out. What? We found two results. <laughs> Acerac turns out. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Alexa, who the fuck is this? <laughs> Alexa, there's an intruder. Play what you know how to play. Just fucking starts playing the Persona 5 song. <laughs> it seems like a monger is a person. Oh no. oh no, they destroyed my soul monger. That's so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. <laughs> play Despacito <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I say we go. How about we watch Acerac for? a minute or two and just see what see what he does. I'm going to cast the spell. Which spell? The, spell. the ten stealth spell. Oh, I it's thought that was already cast. Don't worry. Oh, uh, if it's close really, really long, down. I'm just going to walk down there with All my right. bag full the of explosive rocks and just take the whole thing down it. with it. What are you doing? We're well, stealthy now. Cast we're it. stealthy I as fuck. Alright, we're going we're gonna to just watch Acerac for a minute or two, I guess. See what the fuck he's doing. He seems to be talking to us. The giant key this thing. Do we do what he has to say? You want a perception check? Hmm. Ten. Oh, Wait, that'd perception. be a nineteen actually. Perception. Joker got thirteen. Says he's not hearing us. Thirteen as well. Because bonuses. None of you hear him. Ooh, he does exclaim after a few seconds. God damn it! <laughs> he turns around and flips his cape. Like, <clears throat> this goddamn thing. He walks down the archway toward you guys. I'm gonna scrunch up against the wall. Stealth check from everybody. Could you just phase into another fucking dimension? Uh, Joker got a 26. Nat 20. Nat 20. Plus 19. Jesus Holy Christ. Fuck. Joker rolled the worst because she rolled a 2. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Still a 26. Oh. I, I rolled a 39. 39. Uh, 10 plus 6. 36. 16 yeah. plus So if Acerac rolls higher than a 24, right? <laughs> higher than a Higher four. than a 24, then Wait. Joker is screwed. Is no, 26. He has to roll higher than a 26 to see Joker. Is she hidden or inside? I mean, she's against the wall with the rest of you. Yeah, we don't know if she's lying. Or she could just be like, oh, there's a retard on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Get out of here, you silly boy. Get out of here. Acer Act. How long it will take my soul monger to build this thing? Acer Act is walking towards the stairs, and he kind of stares strangely towards them. Towards the stairs? Are we on the stairs? Or? I assume you're like against the wall at the bottom of the stairs. He stares for a minute. Do any of you do anything? Fuck no. Hold no? still. It's not like I can do anything in my main hate room. Acerac hey, looks down at his cape. And you can see a small stain on it. He looks back up. Sighs loudly. And yells, Sisters, god damn it! When was the last time you fed this thing? And you hear one of the sisters from upstairs open the door and yell down, We haven't recently. It's not our fault. There was a problem up here. And he yells, Problem? Cortley's right, <gasps> right next to him. <laughs> the sisters, I mean. Yes, you're, you two are next to the sisters. Don't say These anything. three are right next to Acer. Just chilling. What kind of problem? And they say, uh, the pillar stopped working. It's not flowing gas anymore. And he says, wait, what? Wait a fucking second. He looks to his right, and you can see gas flowing out of a tube on the right side of the wall, starting to fill the room. I may or may not have made a mistake. I mean, killing the soul monster. He looks toward you, and he says, Could you, perhaps, take a second of your fucking time to fix it? <laughs> and she says, Yes, sir. And then shuts the door. <laughs> he turns around and says, I'm surrounded by morons, and walks up the arc again. His back is now to you three. Don't attack. That'd be fucking stupid. <laughs> I know my intelligence is 10, but come on. Okay, um, we, we so. should probably start moving to something. Where can we go? I mean, the tank's the best Do you option. have a map or anything that we can use to see this shit? Oh, fuck. Where in the Probably red? Am. You guys are about right there. And Acerac is walking up that really tiny little walkway. So if one of us had moved Earth and just moved this well, he can probably fly on it. Okay. Um, Thorn and the whip tank is the where bridge. on there? Back here. Oh, okay then. Thorn whip off the bridge. So you'll have to go up, across, and then through here Jesus. to get there. Well, even I then, it's not there because this little spot leads to this section. Well, I mean, so I'm a spider. I can back just there. climb on the walls, you know. <laughs> yes, so can Joker. Fuck you guys. She can just dagger her way up. Mm. She'll be making a lot of noise, so I'll disadvantage on her stealth checks, but she could do it. I mean, she rolled a two and succeeded. So two mm. equals twenty-six. One equals twenty-five. I mean, we could just take one of those tendrils and just kind of like. <laughs> those are moving. And aren't they attached to the soulmonger? No, they're attached to the atropa. The fucking what? The giant fetus thing. That thing has the tentacles attached to it. Okay, um, so Acerac on the bridge? Yes. He's walking back towards the giant fetus thing. We had one of Vonk's rocks that could cause a distraction, but we don't. I basically do. Where did you get them? <laughs> I, no, I, I basically do. I have the enchanted pebbles. I still have three. Um, I'm going to chuck one of the enchanted pebbles at that uh, gas pipe. What gas pipe? You know, the one that was backing up. You mean the one right next to us? Mm -hmm. Where is the, you know, I put a wall oh, around the gas and the pipe that's... That is 
on like over here on the wall. Uh, let me sneak over there and I just. <laughs> you'll have to make a stealth check. Okay, you sing the group. All right, we're walking over there and I'm gonna make a distraction. Because he can just phase out of existence. Yes, but you and Joker can't. Yes, we can. So if you get away from him, you'll lose a plus 10 to stealth. Oh. And he'll be able to see you. Right. Shit. Yeah. Or at least have a chance of being able to see you. Yeah. I mean, like right then, unless he was like literally like looking at us with magic eyes, he couldn't detect us at all. Well, these two don't go into the plane with you. Only you do. Oh, that's part of the spell. What? He can't detect us unless it's magical. He's the fucking witch. I, I think it said that you it. can't track them unless it's magical. But I think they'd still be seen. Yeah, so if we move mm -hmm. ten feet to the right, he can't. Oh, right. Tracking. That kind of tracking. Besides, he's not tracking. He's just looking over and he's seeing you. And he's like, oh. Can't be tracked. You're Fireball right. ninth level, motherfuckers. He doesn't have any ninth level spit. Can't be tracked except by magical and will leave no trace. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm just gonna start walking. Alright, everyone give a stealth check. Everyone in the three. Ooh, she got a nat 20, which means she has a 44. 12 plus 19. Yeah, I got a 14 plus 16. 21 plus 30. 32. 30, 32. Uh, 30, 32. Alright. 31. Okay. He got a 31, so it doesn't matter. If anyone's gonna get spot, it's gonna be him. Who got a 31? You did. I got a 30. Oh, 30. Never mind. I was like, oh my god, he's gonna have 31. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what you got. Yeah, I got it. Alright, are we over there? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna grab a fucking pebble. Is that three enchanted already? The one I enchanted before? I'm gonna chuck one of the gas pipes. So, what is your goal here? What are you trying to do? I'm trying to break it open so that gas starts leaking everywhere. It already is. Oh. Because <laughs> it's blocked from up there, so all the gas is coming back. Yeah, but it, is it like a glass pipe? No. It's like steel. Uh, you can still hit it and make a noise. Yeah, I'm going to hit it with a gas to see how deep you know. Acerac obviously hears a noise, turns around, looks at it, and he says... Trying to talk to me? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He's been God damn it. He's been inhaling too much gas. Acerac looks over and he says, What the fuck is that? Looking directly at you three. Talk to me, talk to me. Kind of leans forward and stares very intently. Specifically at the druid. Spider. <laughs> if spider. I phase, does my shit, my spell remain in the same in both yeah. planes? Phase. He would see you disappear behind me. Well, he just saw a trick of the light. It must have been in the wind. <laughs> Acerac <laughs> looks toward the air and he says, Did I not just see a fucking spider? <laughs> Wait a fucking second! <laughs> He starts walking over there, and his oh. hand starts glowing blue. Oh, shit. He says, I swear to God, if it's one of those goddamn spiders that go through planes and shit. Oh, <laughs> <my> <laughs> God. Damn it. Aren't they white with blue speckles? Yes. Okay. A little bit. Very bright colors. <laughs> so he's walking down the arc, kind of keeping an eye on the group. Is there anything around that's oh, loose let's or anything? My spell list here. <laughs> there are some bones around, like skulls and ribs and any of arms. them. Any of them at like thirty feet away from us? Yes. Damn. Any just out of his vision? Uh, no. He can see all of them. Hmm. He can see all of them. But yes. Like where are they placed in comparison to us? Um, if you were looking at the gas pipe, they'd be behind you. If you're looking at Acerac, they'd be to your right. Okay, so they're off to the right of us? They're against the wall. Okay. 
Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Okay. And Mage Hand is invisible. So um, with Mage Hand, I'll try and shuffle the bones just a tiny bit off to the right to make it seem like this spider wandered over there for some reason. Okay. Well, if it goes around, I don't want to go there. Would I have to roll would I have to roll deception to get him to think it went over there or something? No. Okay. So it's just perception to see if he saw it. And he did. And looks over and sees Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Those goddamn spiders! <laughs> he goes, I have an idea. Scorn is afraid of frogs. Okay. Ace Rex is afraid of spiders. His hand starts going blue, and he kind of points his fingers at it. He goes, Hold on! Where the fuck is it? Um, are there any other bone piles around it? Uh, around there that? are. They're just kind of like lined up against the wall. They're not really piles, they're just bones scattered everywhere. Excellent. Also, a ring on his right hand is glowing. He shoots a giant cone of frost in that direction. Is it going to hit us? Yes, it hits all of you. Does Dexterity he, save. Does he see it hit us? Um, he won't see it hit you. But it'll still hit us. But it will still hit you. Okay. I'm trying to find his DC. Oh, okay. shit. That's a total of 10. And since it's a deck save. Wait, a deck save. Okay. A deck save. Oh, shit. I don't like that look you're giving me. I rolled a three, but wait. It's a two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. But listen. I rolled shitty. But listen. It gets worse. Listen. <laughs> I rolled a five, but it's plus nine. So it's 14. 14, that's still a fail. Against the Acerac, I wonder what his spell save is. Joker rolled a 23, shit. 20, which he just saved. She rolled a 23, so he just saved. She takes no damage. That fuck. I would have had to roll a 14 to be able to save. I would have had to roll a 23. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to roll a 24. Fucked. You were fucked. Okay, so the two of us are hit. Joker's fine, but he doesn't see any of us. Wait, you're in another plane. Is he still affected? Mm. Yeah, mine's affected twice. Ooh. Oh, right. That's how we we're both take 24 going? cold damage. Oh. Shh. Acerac <laughs> looks toward that corner and goes, Die, you little eight-legged bastard! I'm tempted to shuffle the bones again, but I'm not. That would be fucking stupid. He's like, I swear to God, if I see anything else move in this <laughs> fucking corner. <laughs> yeah, don't cast a fucking... He starts shuffling backward, off. kind of keeping an eye <laughs> in that direction. We definitely got his attention. What do we want to do? Like, how are we going to sneak past it? I'm going to go in the room with the witches. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that... Oh. Yeah, you can come out of the room. <laughs> 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 GTF out of there. Uh, are they working on the... Uh, yes, they're trying wall? to break away at the wall. Hey, would you do me a favor? Depends on the fairy. Could you ask him to come up and help? Lord Acerac won't do that. He's much too busy. What could get him to come up? He um, said exploded. <laughs> if we told him there were powerful adventurers up here, but then he'd just tell us to go deal with it. If there are weak adventurers up here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if he told him he had fans? <laughs> <laughs> he'd ask us to kill them too. Wait, why, why aren't you telling us? <laughs> well, you're the most interesting thing that's Lord Acer will, at some point. I see no need to. <laughs> so they're just being lazy. <laughs> they're just being lazy. You they're they're kind of lazy. Do you not pay you enough? Is that it? He doesn't pay us at all. We just kind of live here. Okay. So if they just want somewhere that feeds them and clothes them and all that, 
And couldn't we just... Could, couldn't we... I don't know. Help us get rid of him and then this place would all be yourself. The Lord Acerac is much too powerful. He could kill all three of us with just the flick of his wrist. So I'm hearing that they hate capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a proposition for them? <laughs> You're not up there. Come to my drug-filled hippie communist society full of elephants. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fun time, but you're not up there to offer. It's in the backstory. <laughs> they wouldn't know your backstory. It's in Ashley. That's, I come from a commune. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Vandro was there. He could probably just talk to him and convince him to go that. Well, no, he doesn't have any food to give him. Hmm. Unless they're like frog meat. So what does this mean? It's like, it, we could do that for the mighty. Give them food and water? <laughs> yeah. And shelter? I mean, they're pretty content with where they are. Okay. Plus, Acerax offered them power. You guys come down here. Say that you're the spider extermination leader. <laughs> oh, <for laughs> sake. I hired you guys weeks ago. What Trained in mean? phase spider hunting. <laughs> You'll need to search every inch of the building you to know, make sure the <laughs> nests are wiped out. Acerac has a 27 intelligence, but I'd be willing to look us up. Wait, <laughs> I. Okay, the thing no. is though. If, uh, if I did stay behind and we did that, then, well, actually, for one, you'd be screwed, because Mage Hand. Um, but I have tell a... Him he needs to vacate the premises so we can get the extermination done properly. <laughs> <laughs> I have a plus 13 to deception with advantage. Yeah, advantage that'd be against his insight check, which has a uh, plus 12. Eh. It'd be pretty much just a roll two d twenty and see who's his eye. I'm gonna talk to his sisters. Go. This doesn't let anyone down there. Uh, not particularly. Not even us. What about Girl Scouts? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> likes those cookies. <laughs> you <know>? The what? <laughs> Fuck it. Go. <laughs> How long have you been sewing together? They're not. What? <laughs> they're the sewn sisters. They're not sewn together. No, they do have stitches and whatnot all over their arms. And oh, God, you just offended the sewn sisters. You're going to As in they were stitched together from pieces of people. Not stitched together. It might be flattery. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Your stitches were She so wouldn't take it as flattery. <laughs> <laughs> She'd fucking end you. All right. The best option I see is uh, open up the door. Call them a bunch of bitch and run. Don't sue a bitch. Oh, I mean, I could if. Oh, I, hmm. Ace a rack, more like Ace a reeks. <laughs> Have I heard the witches speaking for about a minute or so here, in total? Excellent. I can mimic their voices perfectly. Great. That's not helpful here, though. No, because then you'll hear it come from the fucking core, and I'll be like, wait a fucking second. <laughs> I mean, I could trans my for self into the one. You could. Easily. And then he'd be asking you all kinds of shit. Yeah, which I wouldn't know the answer to, because fuck. Distract. Oh, wait, the door, the door backed off the floor recently. What do you mean? Like the skull, the skull, skull door? Or we're going yeah, to the shape tower, door, right? I, I mean, mean Acerac is down, but you guys went up to see the sisters. Yeah. Whole mess up. Which, I mean, all the keys are already in it, so you can just kind of open it whenever you want. I say that the stealth group comes back and essentially, like, proposes another plan. That is your idea. Like, stealth like, back, because mm. they're still watching you very the thing is, like, Oh, shit. The thing is, like, what do we fucking do from where we are? Uh, don't I get mean, murdered. He's watching. He can see everything we do. So until he looks away, we can't really do shit. Like, if I went in alone as a space fighter, I could just climb over the fucking wall. 
But when you're here, when Goku's here, we gotta go over a break. I'm in. When he look on me. And, like, if I go in alone, I, like, there's going to be some fucking trap or something. I mean, probably. I don't even know how this dude happened. We should probably just wait till his turn to wait and then we'll go down there. And then we'll, uh, Regroup with the others. Yeah. If all else fails, I can just act like one of the sisters and just. I mean, we could literally like chaos. sit down here for another like three hours and just watch him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as long as he just like chills in the middle and we're in a corner, he's not gonna come over here. What? No. <laughs> fuck. A shaggy stat block. <laughs> 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 Was there a super stat block? Maybe I just. I just looked up what the fuck uh, true sight is. This one hundred. I actually don't know what it is. One hundred. One hundred. <laughs> and one of the images that come up for true sight is Shaggy. <laughs> Not even <laughs> fucking look. It's Shaggy. Oh shit. my god. It's actually like Ultra Instinct Shaggy. <laughs> I <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> wait, 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 Dylan. I need you to post this to Discord, please. What uh, are the doing? stats? Open image a new tab so I can see. Oh, it's so high quality. Plus, what the fuck? Plus 10, plus 0, plus 10, plus 0, plus 0. Fist, melee weapon, 4d8, plus 10 bludgeoning. <laughs> you can do that first. <laughs> it's amazing to be a fucking trash. <laughs> I don't need this anymore. What am I doing? Please. Send it to Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I am so going to look at that later. Okay. So what are we doing? Is there room to sneak past him on the bridge? Uh, Fuck. not particularly. Hello. Hey guys, are you below you? Yeah, like on 30? Uh, um, so you don't have to. Oh. We were just checking the room. We'll make sure the room's in order before we leave. Pardon? We'll make sure the room's in order before we leave. Thank you. We will too. And if we can find you, we'll tell you that we're leaving when we do. Okay. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this little bit of time from here. Okay. And don't worry about if you put any in it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. No problem. Have a good night. You too. You as well. You too, ma'am. She threw away the recycle bag. Yeah, I took the bag. I think we don't want to take the recycle file used to give everyone free recycling. Now it doesn't. Yeah, they have to pay for it. They have to pay to save the planet. Mm. Well, Fucking bastard. Fuck that. Anyway, what are we doing? After well, I looked up fucking <laughs> Ultra <laughs> Instinct <laughs> Shaggy. When he looks away, we are going to try and sneak the fuck out. Yeah, I think we sneak back and then I go in alone and just try to get information. Okay. Right. Look, there's only one person there. I can go on the fucking walls. And you were the only one seen. Yeah. I guess. But, I mean, if we can... I mean... Do you okay? Something happened. Uh, um... If we can lure him up and away, then... Kill you. I mean, I mean, even if we could just get Rosna, that would not be a large deal. All right, we're sneaking back. You guys could come back. Stella up checks the from all three of us. Wait, can we wait till he looks away to do so? If you want to. All right, let's all right, let's, let's wait just till just he looks. Sit the here until he gives up. Acerat continues staring at his hood. If I killed that spider, his body would have shown up. It's still over there. <laughs> or it's somewhere on the wall! And he turns around. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get the fuck out. 
Yeah. Still doing stealth checks? Yes, because he's pretty much right in front of the stairs. Right in front of the stairs? Yeah, he backed away too in front of the stairs and then turned around to look for this goddamn uh -oh. spider. Uh-oh. Joker got a 41. So she's not going to get spotted. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Unless he rolls a 1, you might get be spotted. <laughs> well, your stealth is 10 plus whatever the fuck your stealth is, so... 10 plus 9, 19, that's a total of 24. Uh, I got... Where the fuck are they? 27, I think. 27? Yeah. Ace Rex immediate whoop, immediately whips back around. I heard that! And he sees Banjo. Or not Banjo, Nix. Apologies. When the fuck did you get down here? I don't know. I fell through a fucking hole and I got here. Looks up. There's no hole up there. I know. I don't know what the fuck happened. Dude, he looked up. You could have sneaked away. <laughs> <laughs> he walks toward you. Oh, fuck. He's like, all right. Um, don't worry. You're not the first one to randomly end up in here. So I'll give you a warning. First of all. Actually, I have a better idea. So, um... I have a question for you. Are you attached to your fingers at all? Yeah. Too bad. That's why I asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> why? Is nobody going to do anything? I mean, it would be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good idea for you guys to wait a second. Why? Um, look at what I can do. He I think grabs I you have... by the wrist and looks at your hands. I have one idea. Why did you say yeah? I mean, he would have said good or something like that. It wouldn't have really mattered. He would have said, man, that's no fun. Yeah, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. One idea. I'm just going to just concentrate on the spell. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait. I would warn Joker first. <laughs> I mean, if I wanted to, I could just shape shift my fingers away. You could. Is that what you're going to do? I mean... Could I do so without him seeing? <laughs> if he's sleight of hand. Have your hand though, like Would it be sleight of hand or stealth? Because trying sleight to sleight of hand. Okay. Uh, sleight of hand, still plus nine. Seventeen plus nine. Lovely. So twenty-six ish. Acerak looks at your hands and he says, "Wait a fucking second. Weren't your fingers just there, like, five seconds ago? I don't know what the fuck's going on. He goes, ha, don't worry. I have true sight. I can still see them. But they're not there. They're just shape-shifted away. Like, you can see through shape-shifting. I'm going to tell That's Joker true sight. to get out. You want her to run? I want her to run. All right. She's or gonna... stealthily run. Or stealthily. Essentially get away without being seen. She's rolling. She got this, and she's leaving out of your range. She's only doing with her stealth. It's 30 foot. If she can make it up somewhat up the stairs, she can. She wouldn't be able to. Really? Because Ace Rack walked up to you guys. She could get behind him before yeah. he would see her, so. She was still going to 29 without the plus 10. Yeah. And, and his passive perception doesn't beat that. Okay. So she's fine. Okay, she's gone. Okay. Ace Rack says, So you're a changeling, are you? I'm going to cast Conjure Animal. <laughs> <laughs> I want to conjure like 16 spiders on his face. <laughs> <laughs> just, on his just face. all over him. Acerek has a hold of the, the changeling. He's looking. He's like, I can't say anything. What the fuck is on me? Oh god! Another one of the holes appeared. Now there's a bunch of fucking spiders. Okay, that didn't work. I'm running up the stairs. Bye bye. Are you gonna stealth or are you gonna just <laughs> stealth the fuck out? Re stealthing. Uh, I got a plus ten for this, right? Uh, you're, you're reactivating the spell, so you're reactivating the spell, yeah. Yeah. Thirteen plus sixteen, that's nine. Thirty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty nine ish. Regardless, yeah. higher than Acerac's passive perception, so he won't see you. Acerac grabs one of the spiders by the leg, puts it in his mouth, and starts to chew it. Oh, that's oh no. He's not afraid of spiders. Just be fucking these are spiders. Uh so he just can't eat them, they just go away. 
He just wipes the rest of them off. Yeah. And he goes, so, uh, you didn't happen to see a little uh, blue and white bastard spider out here, did you? Not since before the fucking hole. Hole, hole. Mm. You could say you were uh, drawn in by the fucking dimension of spiders. The fucking thing pushed me down a hole before I could get away from them. Perception check. Against Deception? His, yes, against his insight. All right. Uh, 14 plus 13, so 30 and 6. 14 oh, plus 13 is the 30. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, no. 14 plus 13, that'd be 27 and advantage, change one of our bullshit, 17 plus 13, that would be 30. Okay, so Rack looks to you and he says, pretty good bluff, I gotta say, if I didn't know so much about these goddamn spiders. Believe me, I've had to call an exterminator before, it wasn't fun. Mostly because I had to kill the exterminator afterwards so he didn't really even tell people where I lived. And why we didn't go with that option? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, the exterminator wasn't a bad guy. Wait, those witches lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> they lied. <laughs> I mean... The only problem was that his left eye would twitch all the fucking time. It kind of freaked me out. I thought his eyeball popped out at one point, but I'm pretty sure it was just that fucking fetus thing making me hallucinate shit. Ugh. Speaking of the fetus thing, he lets the you what? go and turns around and starts walking toward it. Oh god, what the fuck is that? Ah, yes, my creation. Don't worry about it. It just eats souls. It fucking what? It, it, it eats souls. I believe I just said that. Yeah, I heard, but what the fuck? You want to be food? No, not Aww. really. Can you describe it as a bong eater? <laughs> For fuck's sake, you're not even down there. Where where am I right now? I assume you just bolted up the stairs. You can just come back down. I haven't heard any screams yet, so I'm assuming it's still You alive. probably heard the oh my god, what the fuck is that thing? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna casually just, you know, creep back down. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned that Acerax always wielding a staff. I don't know if I mentioned that. You never that, did, no. You just didn't show him. He has a, he has a staff. It, uh, what did I mention? What did I do it seem to look like? Not really. Tell me but Acerax I, always got wood in his hand. Mmm. <laughs> Funny. Long hardwood, to be exact. Funny! <laughs> Alright, um. Sorry, I had to make the wood, you know. I had to add on to it. It was my duty <laughs> to do it. My duty as a bard. So Acerac starts walking toward the creation. He says, have you never seen anything so magnificent? I, I can't say I have. Of course not. I'm the only one who can make these things. Just like I made that one thing. How many years ago was that now? A few thousand? I wonder how he's doing nowadays. Nyx is magic still not ma magic man for longer than a few seconds. Anyway, so uh, how do you feel about becoming a god? I, um, I don't know. Very conflicted, probably. Lovely. Starts walking toward you again. There's not very much I can do at this point except keep talking. He says, I can turn you into a god. What would that entail, exactly? You could do whatever you want. You'd have more magic power than you could ever imagine. Would I be able to take away my husband's weaknesses? Depends. What is he inflicted with? Ah. Uh, you know what vampires are? Of course I know what they are. Yeah, he's that. Yeah, you could do that. Easily. I mean, that sounds pretty intriguing. What would it cost to do so? Because there's always a catch with these things. Well, I mean, of course. Uh, you would just have to, uh, you know, swore your loyalty to me. And what would that entail? Ah, just a short little ritual. 
Nothing fucking, more, nothing less. Fucking think of something I'm bullshitting out my ass here. Control. Okay, um... <laughs> what are you saying? What, just a simple ritual, nothing more, nothing less. You won't be harmed in any way. I meant, like, what would you have me do for you? Oh, no. Nothing, really. All my creations just kind of run wild and do their own things. Okay, out of character for a second. He basically wants to turn Nyx into another magic man. <laughs> oh, God, what the heck? What the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> he just transforms into a rat and just runs in and starts smacking Acerac's leg with his head. <laughs> he would fucking die. Like, then Acerac's just like, huh! Ah, rat! <laughs> I mean, that fucking penis thing has got to be the soul among you, right? If that's the thing that eats the souls, you just kill that, and then no more souls eat. So, like, unless there's some, like, fucking thing on it, like, a, just a critical spot where you hit it once and it's like, oh, I guess I'll die. <laughs> uh, the middle, p the absolute center of its brain? Unless I just pierce its heart or brain, you know, it's just like, oh. But then it's D&D, so you can't do that. You did 12 damage, but I pierced its heart. 12 damage. <laughs> I really have no fucking idea what to do. I chopped his head off. One damage. Do you guys it's have any fucking off. idea what to do? You don't know what the fuck is going on. How do I, like, just... Because Joker's gone. He's ran back up to the group. I'm still here as, like, a spider. Wait, is Gaster going to show up at all? Because that was quite the odd conversation for them two on the wall. Oh, fuck. This whole time it just could have cutting words, the bastard. So he would have rolled less and not seen us. He would have heard us. Fuck if I know. So, I still have 41 rocks left. <laughs> <laughs> Each one does 3d6 damage. <laughs> we could we could combine that. So forty one so times three d six. At minimum, if you use them all, that's one hundred and twenty three damage at minimum. Of all those d sixes rolling one. Is it magical damage? Yeah. Uh, okay, we can combine that with my rock. I have I have twenty one pebbles. It would each do one. Go fucking bury Acerac and Rex. One d six. <laughs> Plus five, so that's a minimum of like a hundred fucking twenty damage. We could just bury him in fucking rocks. <laughs> hey, Zrak, I got your daily delivery of rocks. <laughs> the the only thing with mine is that we have to remember, since they explode, oh if we're in the five foot, you five gotta foot throw range. it from ten foot. Yeah. A five foot range, you can throw it directly behind him and only he would be affected. Or, what would blow up the soul money? I was thinking if Joker's coming back, give Joker the bag. <laughs> like your minus one to strength? But she can hand it off to someone it's else who's like not me. How much does it weigh? It's, it's a, just it's a bag of 41 rocks. I think she could pick it up. She's not going to be able to throw it into the well. Have to somebody else What's do your it. strength? Well, I have 16. If they you could continually to... distract the witch, Joker could go back down. You got to remember, it's a 10 minute walk up the oh, stairs nice. and 10 minute walk down the stairs. How long have I been bullshitting him? Here's the door that the witches were at. It's been like two minutes. Shit! It's already 10 minutes. The witch door? The witches were and at I the need door a door to. Them. I need a oh, door to dimension door the fuck yeah, away. Hey, bitch. We were in there. What are we doing? 
Acer Hack is currently talking about uh, turning Nixon to a god. Uh, um, the you? elephant is currently listening. Joker is running back up the stairs because she was told to. And uh, you two are up the stairs. Up the stairs? Yes. So she'd make it in five minutes. Where is the ritual again? The elephant is in there. Fuck if I know. I'm just letting him talk himself out to buy time. Okay, um, I think the rock strategy is what we gotta go with here. That'd be a total of ten minutes of him talking. But how would he know about the rock strategy? The Joker? Probably Joker. She's I mean, pretty do you trust smart. The Joker? No, I'd have to go back up there. And she's twice as fast as you. But I mean, he can. Well, he can. Rock is the rock. only thing Rock is thinking about is rocks. <laughs> yeah, so you would, so your mind would be drawn to explosive rocks, like. <gasps> yeah, the Joker still death. doesn't know which one is the soul miner. I'm pretty confident that it's the fetus. I mean, that won't release all the souls that are currently trapped, but it'll stop new ones from getting. And Banjo's got a soul. The only thing now is the death game. Which, I mean, I could literally just wipe away with a, with a uh, greater restoration plus curse. And greater restoration is kind of bullshit. Acerak takes a step back from Nyx and waves his staff, and a large black hole appears. That is a 30 foot diameter beside him. He waves his staff and it starts moving with his staff. He says, wouldn't you like to have powers like this? That's, that's pretty overpowered. What? I, I don't think I've ever heard of that spell. What is it? Don't worry about it, all you know. Thank you. Accept my offer. You can do things like this. Now oh, here comes the catch out of character, Dylan. Out of fucking character. Do not you need to pull say another that. alcohol bullshit thing for this. You need to say that. Now here comes the thing for this. A, oh boy. I can't really distract him in any, any way. And if I say no, he will probably kill me. Hey, maybe it's a no. I think we should start walking down the stairs. <laughs> Okay, so if I say no, he'll probably kill me immediately. If I say yes, I'll have to swear loyalty to the crazy lich dude. But if I did get powers like that, I would probably... Would I be able to help them? Who? The party? If you get a hold of the staff? No, if I... Mm. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading shit about the staff. You could ask if we could wipe your memory. He killed the exterminator that he kind of liked, so he wouldn't go blah blah blah. I don't think he can. Okay. Okay. So. Fuck. Get godlike powers, but have to be loyal to him, and the rest of the party could probably die unless I find some sort of way to help them. Say no. And immediately get fucking wrecked. Sounds about right. <laughs> do I have anything in my inventory that can do something? Detect magic and commune. I could commune with the DM. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I have five. Things of catnip. Alright. What the fuck? Fucking Acerac smell of catnip. He's like, wait a fucking second! Do you have catnip? Why is this way to go? I need death from my potion. It might be ten times more powerful than I am now. Because apparently catnip is a fucking rare herb in this universe. Thousand ball bearings. Ace sure. Rick looks to you while you're doing this and he says, You know what? If you're just gonna sort through your fucking shit, I think I'll just kill you now. What? Excuse me, I'm not gonna do this out of game, am I not? 
Uh, not for a long amount of time, considering it's almost midnight, and I'm sure school will want to go home. Oh. So we are going quickly. All right. So apparently, oh goodness gracious. Um. Literally, the only thing I can do right now is say yes and hope someone interfucking fears before I get fucking. The only person who could interfere right now is Kyle. So maybe we'll wait for him to get back before he is wreck. Fucking end you. Um, I need an actual door to use to mention door, right? I have no idea. Do you? I thought it just like summoned the door. Fuck you better hope it doesn't make a door because there are no doors in this place. Yeet myself out of there. Just realized I'm still in all caps, so uh, hmm. Dimension door. No, it doesn't say that it requires an actual door. So I can basically just yeet myself the fuck out of there? You teleport yourself from your current location to any other spot within range. The range is 500 feet. You arrive at exactly the spot desired. It can, it can be a place you see, one you can visualize, or one that you can describe by stating the direction or the distance and direction such as 200 feet straight down, or upward to the northwest at a 45 degree angle, 300 feet. You can bring along objects, as uh, as long as their weight doesn't exceed what you can carry. You can also bring one willing creature of your size or smaller, who is carrying gear up to its carrying capacity. The creature must be within five feet of you when you cast the spell. If you try to teleport in an already occupied space, yep, uh, I'm reading it. You yep. take 4d6 force damage. Have fun. So I can basically just yeet myself up the stairs and get the fuck out. You can try. Right, because he's a lich. Yes. And magic and bullshit. Fuck. I mean, it's instantaneous, so. Instantly get the fuck out. Hey! Do you have any sort of distraction whatsoever. Literally anything, because if you can make him turn around for a moment, I can yeet myself out of there. Uh, Maybe. Oh. I can, like, throw a rock Eesh. behind him. Damn it. If you think you can get out with, like, a second, like, a second of distraction. Well, the problem is, he might be able to stop Dimension Door somehow. Could just keep getting the door. I mean, I could commune with DM to see if I can get the fuck out. Have you? No, I haven't. Would I be able to do that without getting his attention? Who are you asking? Fuck you'll, you. ha you'll have to commune if you would ask me that. So I'll have to commune to ask you if I can do the commune spell without getting Acerac's attention. Well, no, you can do the commune spell. That's fine. So I can do the commune spell without getting his attention. Because right now we're just kind of playing with the giant black hole that he has. <laughs> if I had that power, I'd play with it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, same. All right. Oh, fucking hell. Now if I need... You, if you're really lazy, mm -hmm. and you're sitting down enjoying your time but don't want to get up, but your joints are like all the way there. <laughs> go do that, but then you know every once in a while go into the black hole and then you'll be all pissed. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's the day in his life. <laughs> Poor Acerac. I just want to see him. Can you roll a d twenty to see if he accidentally sucks up the soul manga? How the fuck do we do that? I don't know. Like it's <laughs> bigger than the black hole. Oh, Wait, you can't do that. Chops it in half. No. He's not even that close to it. Uh -oh. He's like 50 feet away. There should be more than that. How far is he away from that goddamn thing? Am I like halfway down now? <laughs> uh, no. Nothing's really happened yet because he hasn't talked to me at all. He hasn't done the commune spell. He hasn't let Acerac beat the shit out of him. Nothing in game wise has happened. Fantastic. Oh, oh yeah, there's the weird creepy things. Okay. Acerac is. Yeah, that 
50 feet away from the fetus at the moment. Mm. All right. Fetus. Commune spell. Fantastic. Let's okay. do it. DM. Yes. Can I dimension door the fuck out of there while he is distracted and get away safely? No. Shit. Is there any way I can get out of this without either becoming a god tier, being bound to him loyally, or yes. getting killed or the shit beaten out of me? Yes. Fuck. I have no idea what it is. You have one more question, yes or no, or short phrase. Yes, no, or short phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Zero. <laughs> okay, one question left. So there is a connection with a pair of fucking scissors. <laughs> Any suggestions from the peanut gallery? How I like peanuts. <laughs> how would I get away? And then we'll give you a very cryptic response to that. Very short answer. I just give you one word. Yeah. That's better than no words. That's better than no words. How do I get away without, how do I get away? Distract him. Distract him and stealth the fuck away. Mm. <clears throat> Toss a rock. An exploded rock? Wait, you activated your spell. Could you have also activated that spell that I activated? The stealth spell. It's just an area of effect. Mm -hmm. You're within 30 feet. Am I within 30 feet of him? Is there a way to get like, the soul monger to, like, I don't know, um, be in distress somehow? Your little pal gets sucked into the black hole. I would have thrown it opposite of him. So you're okay. Black hole's here. Other side. And, w like, okay, so, like, he's here, right? Yeah. And the black hole's, like, where? Here or On here? On his left side. Very close right. to him. Here. Um, and then. How far away is he from the staircase? Uh, right now, it's probably in the map. Uh, I think it's like 20 feet. Okay. Um, How far am I from the staircase? About 30. Because he's in between you and the staircase. Wasn't I close to him? No. He walked, walked up to you guys. He was at the staircase, and then he walked up after he saw you. So I would have to get around him to get to the staircase. I mean, I could mage hand another pile of bones to distract him with another spider. I mean, he still thinks the spider isn't, like, dead. Oh, okay. You can ma mage hand one of the player's yeah. bones and hit him in the back of the head. <laughs> um. One bludgeoning blow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much I would suggest it of. Hmm. Don't fuck with the bone pile, let's go. Not necessarily that. Oh, if you hit him the wrong way, he turns around and turns his staff and smacks you with the black hole. It's gonna be a problem. Oh, so... Okay, so you're not saying no to the distraction, you're just saying no, don't hit him with that fucking bone. Yes, because if you get hit with that black hole, I you're probably do. dead. It does an absurd amount of damage. Does it do more than 52? It can. Let's go. All right. Unless you deck save out of the way, I guess. Mm. I guess I'll try and mage hand one more pile of those bones. Okay. And you're going to attempt to hit him with it? No. Okay. The fuck? So what exactly Just are you trying to do? Just distract by shaking it? Yes, as if the spider was there again. Where? In comparison to him, like where the spider was last time, n near there, but like in the can it be in the corner? Of be his in front of him, he'd just be able to look over and see it. Can it be like in the corner of his vision? And then he just turn his head. Gotta remember, the pit of lava is on his right. 
pit of lavas on his right where the black hole is. So you're not going to be able to get by without him seeing you. Unless he can sneak up close enough to give you the, bu the, the, bu the buff of the stealth bonus, and then you sneak by him. You want to try that? Because I'm 30 feet away from the staircase, right? Roughly, yes. So if he can get, like, right by the staircase, I would have the buff, buff yes? Well, he already has the buff, so he can stealth pretty well by himself already. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you I also see that the demonstration of the black hole is higher. <laughs> I'm cool, go downstairs. Ask him. He'll be glad to show you. Can you imagine what he'd show you? <laughs> it would be you. Do you want to see this cat disappear? Do you I want mean, to explode? <laughs> I, I mean, I have catnip. I'd rather see how he reacts to that. He's allergic. <laughs> I'd be shitty. <laughs> I really would. Okay. Kill him with an anaphylactic reaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, so what are we doing? Are you going to try and sneak up to be able to give me the buff? I guess I am. Okay, so you're going to do that. I'm going to move a pile of bones and then stealth the fuck out of there. All right, you move the bones, Acerac kind of gives them a glance. You move in, I assume, to give them the buff. I'm still in the ethereal realm. Okay, and I can try and stealth the fuck away. Your stealth check. Fuck. See, this is where I'm gonna get in that one, because it's fuck. Mm. All right. Bop. What number you need to beat? 17 plus 19. 36? Question mark? No, yeah. Isarak doesn't seem to notice. He does say, Spider. <laughs> <laughs> I really know how to pick him, don't I? <laughs> I've just made Acerac stupid. <laughs> he, he's supposed to be this really fearsome thing that you have to go up against. No. I was like making enemies a, dumb. But we're all a bunch a bunch of fucking idiots, so we would fucking die. All right. It's, it's really um, fun to play overpowered dumbass characters. <laughs> are we meeting Rosny, you on the stairs? Magic I'm going man. down the <laughs> Magic Man's <laughs> actually smart. <laughs> yeah, but he, he is too. the way he acts kind of offsets yeah. that. <laughs> he's been going down the stairs. So yeah. Everyone Did goes up the stairs. Or except for the one going down oh, the stairs. And we meet in the middle? Yes. So Joker would meet up with you two after about five minutes. Not even. They'd be walking down. So it'd be like four minutes. Because she's like jumping up four stairs at a time per step. Oh dear lord. That's <laughs> I mean, she's got that rogue <coughs> shit going on. It's not as hard as you think, but if you trip, you're fucking screwed. Yeah, but imagine doing that for like four minutes straight. Gotta, you, you can't skip leg day, Rock. You can't <laughs> skip leg day. <laughs> Joker's a rogue. She ain't skipping leg day for real. So she meets up with you two. Says, uh, so we might have gotten the attention of the witch. Rock. <laughs> Good plan. It's the only plan. <laughs> okay. I'm going to enchant the rest of my pebbles. Okay. Just a canter. So. Enchant all the pebbles. Yes. Then after... About two minutes, you all meet up on the stairs. Ross. Ross. Holy fuck, I bullshitted the hell out of that lich. Can we be coming up the stairs now? Uh, Where the fuck did you go? Come back here! Don't worry, we've all got ten plus N spell. Now is the time to dimension door back <laughs> in. <laughs> I dimension door to Ross. I mean, oh, if I did dimension door back in... And I could claim it was another fucking hole. And on with the bullshit. But okay. no, I'm not <laughs> going to do that. Dimension door directly, like, next to the, the fetus and just chuck the rock in. <laughs> like. Do that and dimension door the fuck away. Sure. But I can't dimension door away from the lich. Because 
God mowed the end. Or, they, or we could do the rocks to their head. Yeah. The, that would be dumb. It, it would just piss him off, because he do, has a fuck ton of HP. It'd do what, way. 200, 300 damage? Probably. Fucking Jebel had like 1,000, 2,000. I gave Jebel an absurd amount of health. Yeah. And we barely took away half of it. And now he's in the sight. Yes. And I'm surprised you haven't called on him yet. We can call on Jebel? Yeah. He was kind of what I was referring to when I said distraction. Because your scythe turns into a tiny chubby man. And Acerac's going to be like, Who are you? Tiny How'd tiny. you get here? Oh, you so so we tiny. found an alternative way to get the fuck out. There was multiple ways you could have gotten oh, out. Okay. Distraction means... That was just the way that I was thinking. Wait, would Jebel be able to kill the fucking lich? No. Oh. Unless you beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> Would he the Lich can cast third level spells as much as he fucking wants as if they were cantrips. What about second level spells? <laughs> that as well. <gasps> Darn! What about first level spells? That as well. Alright, I say we just dimension door the rocks into the Phoenix. Because it, it, it's a lot of fucking damage. Yeah. Do you want to roll like 100 and some D6s? Because I don't. I do. Yeah. Actually, we can do it on the Discord thing you and can say do it roll on a bunch of D6s and exactly. tell us the total. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. So you want to use 41 rocks yep. on Fetus. Plus 20 pebble. Plus 20 pebble. All right. If I did 41 rocks, uh, that is 3d6. 123d6. 123d6. That's how much health the flesh guys had. Oh, oh fuck. Okay, so wait a minute. Can I dimension door just items? Number of well, dice It's roll. just a door, so... You can dimension door yourself and somebody else and as much weight as both those people can carry. That's what you can dimension door. So can I just... As long as it's within that range, you can do it. Hmm. Is it within 500 feet? Yes, 500 feet is the word limit. Okay. Which, by the way, you would have gone past 500 feet by this point. That's what I was asking. You'll have to go back to the I was asking if it was still in range. You'll have to go back down a bit, but Acerac isn't spider. coming up the stairs. He's just pushing over bones, yelling at a spider that isn't there. Is there any is there any um like plus on that? No. Okay. So I'm adding in twenty pebbles to this, and each pebble is one D six plus five. I'm gonna look at the thing stat block. So it's hundred and forty three D six plus one hundred. So uh I just rolled it. I'm not gonna look. So whenever that damage comes, I don't know what the total is. So we'll just count that as the roll. Maybe. Yeah, but the atropel has to make a dexterity saving throw on the rocks. Well, I mean, which I'm sure he does. In the fact, but I still have to do it. Hold on. In the fact that that's how many dice. Should do it online. Yeah, 143. 143 uh, dice. Like, let, okay, let me just look at this total and then add 100 to it. 578 <laughs> damage. <laughs> well, it'll take us a while, but it's a new. Uh, let's get <laughs> let's get started on it. There's one. <laughs> this cantrip is both <laughs> fucking the three. 478. Right. 627. 594. 622. I could. This is doing okay. an average of 600 damage. Okay, so if I did dimension door in, shout out where the fuck are all these holes coming from with the bag of rocks, with mage hand throwing that, then dimension door out again, or even if that failed, use Jevil as a distraction to get the fuck out. Jevil to just finish off the fucking fetus. You just leave him there and be like, good luck, bye. <laughs> <laughs> no. Get him. <laughs> Jeva would befriend the Lich. <laughs> Fuck. Bonus enemies. Well, no. Jevil would try and befriend befriend the Lich. The Lich would try and kill him and just fail. No, the Lich would make him a god. Because oh. the Lich knows Jevil. Oh, no. Are we doing the rock thing right now? Yeah. You'll have to get right. closer because you're not within 500 feet of mm -hmm. the Fetus Void. All right. So we'll start getting 
closer. You have to walk down for about a minute. All right. All right. Like we're stealth minute? right now. Is it a minute? If we met up, I'm assuming that you're moving halfway. thirty feet per six seconds, a minute away from the from the entrance. That's three hundred feet a minute for walking. So you could be like a minute fifteen seconds up the stairs, and be able to cast it and still get the heat as well. Okay. Fuck no. I'm giving you my rocks. That's very important. Yeah, don't drop them after. <laughs> Seriously, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, okay. that's me. You probably wonder. <laughs> <laughs> well, it all started. It all started when we were summoned oh, to this oh, to an island that. by this crazy old lady. In the summer of 89. <laughs> so, what's going on? Okay. So. Just to go over the plan with you guys again. We walk down. Wait a minute. What's the extent? Th is his mage set extent actually? Walk, door, rock, boom, run away. Huh? Okay. That's the plan. Okay. Nothing could go wrong. Everything can go on. If Aishara comes charging up the stairs, everybody get onto the walls. You got plus 10 stealth. How wide is the staircase? Oh, it's about 10 feet. Okay. Up oh, dick. Are we prepared? No. Give me a. Oh, God. You, okay. You literally need to teleport right ne next to it and then just kind of. Yeet it and immediately get the. Not, not even really. Yeet it. It's much more, if you get close enough, more like a drop. <laughs> well, it's okay, so floating in the air. You will have to yeet it. A bit of a yeet. So do I have a minus one to strength. I could throw it in. I mean, if you open a door, like literally on it, I could, or me or you could just. So, wait. Does Dimension Door open the door, or are we actually just. It just teleports, teleports. you. Okay. So and then you have to cast it again to teleport again. So you'll have to cast it twice if you want to get in and get out. You could just cast it on, like, me, and then I could throw it. Well, you could cast it on you, but then you'd have to I'd go. have to go with you. Yeah. Oh. So if you're still a spider, and I go with you, then we'll still have the stealth check. So we can stealth that. He'll be distracted by the explosion. The explosion. Fucking damn it. The explosion. The explosion. And we can get... And dimension door the fuck out of there without him noticing. Yes. And if he gets distracted, we can unleash de Jevil and then us get out of there and just summon Jevil back to us. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's do it. Go team. All right. All right. Let's start walking. <laughs> we start walking. I'm assuming getting to where I told you you need to be. Yes. yes. Lovely. Here's when this guy has just enchanted the entire fucking room to just be anti-teleport. It's not, no, it's not teleporting. It's dimension door. Teleporting. Dimension teleport. Mm. It is definitely teleporting. It's bullshit. That's what it is. Uh, the final destination. So we get to our point. So we get to our destination. And we have to get ready. Six times 140 is 858. So 958 damage max. Yeah. Now that's a lot of damage. You definitely kill him. 958 plus 143. Now the problem is, if we get it wrong and that's not the soul monger, then we're kind of fucked. We got one. Well, I mean, I guess we could go out, get you more pebbles, and do the same thing over. Oh, yeah, if I had, like, 3,000 pebbles, you know. <laughs> wait, <Actually>. wait, <laughs> what counts as a pebble? Small rock. Small rock. Like a about small... That big. About a small mineral about that big? Are you just going to do shaped stone? Hold on. About a... Sm hold on a sec. A small mineral about this big? It has to be a little bigger than that, but you got the idea. About this big? So, like, 
A bag of ball bearings. Ball bearings, excuse me. They're not stone. And they're they aren't stone. They're metal. They're a mineral. They're not stone. Mm. It doesn't say mineral. It says stone. Mm, it's well, I mean, doesn't I, 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 magic stone is the name of the spell? I think we're overthinking this too much. Yeah. Let's just do it. <laughs> Roll bag, run away. <laughs> <laughs> Cast the spell and do it. <laughs> Are we there yet, Dylan? Yes, yeah, sure. there. Cast the spell and then Cast the spell. Do it. <laughs> I've got the bag. <laughs> Cast, Cast a spell, a spell and we'll go through. Okay, I'll repeat in your voice and shape shift my head to match yours. Cast a spell and do it. And shape shift back. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Do you have the rocks? Yeah. Did you add your rocks to the other rocks? Yeah. All right. I'll grab their shoulder, their hairy, spidery shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> You're so spider. <laughs> He's still a fucking spider. Right. Is he going to... I gotta search up what my stats are as a spider. Are they going to be able to throw it? <laughs> uh, depending on their strengths. <laughs> which I don't think face spiders have great strengths. <laughs> <laughs> no, just... He's two. Just yeah. not that, but not that, not that one. Just Ace Rack sees a blue spider beating a pack of explosive. Like, I knew you were plotting against me! Sayonara! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit, I'm dizzy as fuck right now. Okay. Alright. Alright. So, they can still do it? Sure. Yeet the bag of rocks? Yeet. Grab their spidery shoulder. Dimension door to the thing. All right. And then toys it to be continued. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, Ace just do do do. pops through the door. Hey. You know what the sad thing is? You can actually do that. Oh. <laughs> Yo, my dick. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't. Okay, he's still distracted. <laughs> he's not distracted anymore, so he will see you as soon as you come through. What if we? Chilling. But we're stealthing. How the fuck are you gonna stealth <coughs> through a door that appears out of fucking nowhere we in were front of his prized it. possession? Hold on, you said we were instantly <laughs> teleporting, not just a deer. A he doesn't see me. A I'm door appears. Right? Or would I have to be in the physical? You would realm need the whole to be time. in the physical realm for me to take you. Yeah. Okay. Then you gotta be touching you. Oh, the second we get in there and I toss that bag, ethereal realm. I need to take you back. I can be in the ethereal realm. Door. It's not a door, he just like magically teleports. We teleport. Oh, physical realm, whatever you say. Alright. Let's go. We're in the room. Throw the bag. <laughs> Strength <laughs> check. Are you the lucky guy? Three points. I use two lucky die. <laughs> wait! I use three wait, fucking lucky wait, die. I use every wait. goddamn lucky die. Before we teleport, I give him bardic inspiration. I think I can actually only use one. But you have Bardic Inspiration as well. Yeah. <coughs> I'll get 14, 16. All right, I get a 16 plus, what is Bardic Inspiration? A D8 math. Six. Uh, 16 plus six plus two would be uh, 24. That'd be 24. Oh, that's right. Okay. 25 plus 6. 16 plus 6. Yeah. That's a 24. I should hope that you really yeet that son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. He, he, he yeets it. And he hits the atrophal. Okay. Got a bad feeling about this, but dimension during the fuck away. It doesn't work. What? And the spell fails. I hate dimension door it. doesn't work? Is that what you're saying? You still use the spell slot, but the door doesn't work. All right, well, we're still stealthing. <laughs> Roll the dice. <laughs> How much damage did you do to it? You know what, Dylan? You can, you can, you can do the honors. Let me no, please. Press roll and add 100. Can I? Can I do it? Roll. Oh. 640 damage. Holy oh, shit. Is it dead? That was Actually, a high roll. Only 320. But that still kills him. Did he dodge it? 
It didn't dodge, but it has a legendary resistance where it's like, oh, I failed the save. No, I didn't. <laughs> I still didn't save it, but Lamau. it did the... Instead of being completely overkill, it's just almost completely overkill. So you blow the fucking thing to smithereens. I saved you. <laughs> Damn it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Acer X says, nice try. Do they s does he see me? He has true sight. He can see through the planes. He can see that. But we're so stealthing. why was he... Hold on. We're stealthing. Can we roll for stealth? He knows where you are now. He starts walking towards you two. Now we could we could be the employees. You know, that atropal was very hard to create, almost as far as the soulmonger itself. Ah shit, we did hit the wrong thing. Oh. Fuck! We're screwed. I don't exactly appreciate what you've done here. All right, he's talking to us. We're no, there's no way out of this. We're fucking screwed anyway. So, okay. Um, Acid or a fifth level fireball? What do you think they do? <laughs> 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 well, we're not back you heard yet. Heard the explosion? Y'all should just book it, honestly. You heard, you like, heard the explosion, but we're not back do. yet. So you can probably infer that something went fucking wrong. So if y'all want to yeet yourself down the rest of the way to the stairs, sprint your ass down. Or just leave, down, because you're not going to kill Acer X. But we, the, the soul monger still needs to be killed. We're not going to get past Acer X. No, we're not. We're fucking dead. Let's see. What so that dimension door trick was a fairly good one. You got one you got behind me. Congratulations. I certainly wouldn't let it happen a second time. Okay, hold the dialogue for just a second. I need to think well, about how more rocks next time. <laughs> <laughs> I need to. I mean, you killed out. your target. I mean, I need to. <laughs> I need to think if I can bullshit my way out of this. If I could if I could crown of madness, Acerax, that would be fan fucking tastic. Let me fifth level him first. All right, I'm using DF on him. Uh, Acerax is not humanoid. He, huh? He's not humanoid. Humanoid implies having a somewhat human shape. Doesn't say that he's humanoid at all. It shows a it shows a picture of him though. That doesn't mean that it works. It doesn't mean it doesn't work. Yes, it does. It actually does. In the stat block, it has to stay at the top of their humanoid for Crown of Madness to work. Fuck! And in his, it just says that he's a medium undead that is neutral evil. Yeah. He's not humanoid. I'm testing DF. What? You know place a magical command on a creature you see within range, forcing it to carry out some service or refrain from some action or course of activity as you described. If the creature can understand you, it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw up to ten charms by use of iteration. Um, it fails. Oh, bop, 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 bop. Like, oh, is it just immune to charm? He's immune to charm. Fuck. Had to try, now we know. Also, he can counter spell as many times as he wants because it's a third level spell. I mean, counter charm. Um, he would have had to roll a 15 or higher, and he has a plus 15 to his spell rolls. So he couldn't have failed anyway. He would have had to roll a 1, and then I would have had Even to then, he would have had a 16 and succeeded. Even then, I would have had to use cutting words to stop it if he would let me finish. He would have to succeed on a 17. Because mm -mm. counter spell is... Uh, if the spell that he's trying to counter is 4th level or higher... He has to roll 10 plus the spell's level. Okay. So if it's 4th level, he has to roll 14. If it's 5th level, it's 15. He has a plus 15 to whatever he rolls to counter the spell. Mm. So you have to roll a... You have to use a 7th level spell for him to even have a chance at failing. He can counter any spell that you try as many times as he wants. So no matter what spell we cast, we can counter it? Well, unless you both cast spell at the same time, then he can only counter one of you. Hey. 
Can he counter a spell that's not cast at him but on yes. something else? If he can see the person casting it, he can counter it. Hmm. Doesn't matter what it is or what it's doing. Hmm. So we can still cast spells at the same time and just have to choose one. So yes. I'm just supposed to one cast? I mean... I can cast confusion. Confusion? Okay. Unless he's just fucking immune to it. I don't know what confusion is, technically. Uh, Hideous soul. laughter would make him prone, but would that count as charm? Because Wisdom saving throw, it doesn't count as anything. What? I just need to know if it's conditions or anything like that. Uh, the only thing, I mean, just the only thing I can see would be like damage slash effect control. I don't want to say that's charmed, but do you remember when the mind flare tried to use a spell on you and it didn't work? Because it was a charm thing? Unless that was something else, was it? I got it. No, I didn't. I didn't. He never used confuse on me. I could have sworn he did. It doesn't say that it's. He used confuse on like banjo or plant boy. It doesn't say that it's anything. So yeah, he would. Yeah. He would technically be able to use this on him. I think what happened was I had protection from good and evil. Uh, so he couldn't cast spells on you just in general. Yeah. So it was like anything that. Still. Fucked with you. What are the stats for hideous laughter? Because apparently it's not in the player's handbook. Because uh, no. it would make him prone if it were. Uh, uh, Tasha's hideous laughter. Not Tasha's. I just realized Tasha's hideous it was laughter. 12.30, so I'm going to head out. Wow. This is the last session and we're kind of screwed. Yeah, but I'm... I mean, they're just running. They're just running. They're just oh beating it's everything. just what happens between you two and Acerac at uh, this point. Can't really see how we can do anything. Well, I mean, if we can't, well, if he's hit with hideous laughter, doing? if he's hit with hideous laughter, then we can actually do some shit and destroy the soul thing. Uh, I'm just tired. I need to go get yeah. something to eat. Right. Yeah, it hideous laughter would work on him. Can I get my dice? Yeah. What, what Assuming he, he didn't fail. What would he have to roll to succeed? What do you mean? Uh, what What does you roll to not get affected by it? Wisdom. And his wisdom is high as shit. All of his stats are high as shit, except strength. Strength isn't all that great. You no longer call me Jamie anymore. Go on, my friend. <laughs> oh, no. We probably won't be here for too much longer. So we'll just see what happens between these two and Acerac and just go from there. That'll pretty much be the end of it. If we Let me know fail, how you guys died. If we fail, the world is screwed. If we succeed, the world is screwed, but not by any sort. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm trying to get the fuck out. Come on. Mm. Uh, I think the best thing we can do right now is just dual cast and try to just mentally confuse him. Oh, concentration up to a minute. Yes. Hmm. He'd have to get higher than a 17, but what did you say his wisdom bonus was? I can't tell you that. Hmm. I told you what his intelligence was, which was a plus eight. Hmm. So he'd have to roll fairly low already and then even with cutting words. Indeed. Wait, you said he was undead? Yes, he's undead. Hmm. I mean, shit, he doesn't get hit. Hmm. Just deal like 10 damage. Out of his almost 300 health pool. Okay. Um. I say we just double cast and then try to run. He still got his stealth bonus, so we can try and stealth even though he sees us, but still. We could. All right. We're double casting then? Alright, uh, All right. I'll see ya. What are you casting? See ya. Yeah, see you, mate. I'm gonna try and cast Hideous Laughter to make him prone. Yeah. With, um, 
cutting words to make it. So, so I'm going to cast cutting. confusion. He's doing confusion. So. I'm doing hideous laughter. Acerak uses his reaction to counter confusion. Oh, God. Bad. Wait, couldn't we just release Jevil and see what the fuck happened? Yeah, do it. Do it. Shit, let's just release Jevil. Do you want? I just did. Do it. Do I want what? That'll be your action instead of yep. hideous laughter. Yep. So he just counters your spell. Yeah. He counters confusion. Yes. And Jevil exists. Are we in combat right now using like actions and shit? Yes. Mm. Okay. And whose turn is it? Uh, uh, right now it would be Jevil's as he just entered the battle. And as he pops into existence, he kind of looks around and says, How the hell did I get here? Hi. Um, we're trying not to die, and the soul monger thing behind us needs to be destroyed as well. Uh, we're also trying to get out alive. That seems unlikely. Can you help us with that, please? Jevil looks at Acerac and says, Oh. Yeah. I, uh, I know this guy. Uh-oh. Not getting out of here. Oh, boy. We can sure as hell try. Acerac's turn. Wait, I didn't even do my turn. Already. Jevil didn't do anything, though. He, he didn't know what to do. He yeah. just got summoned. And I didn't even do my turn all day, so either. Oh, what else did you want to Nor do? Nor did I. I. an action for confusion. Okay. I use a bonus action to turn into a uh, leopard. Okay. And then I'm just going to run away. And then I'm focused Opportunity there. attack. Do you know how much damage he could do or how much he's like going to do as I roll? How much is he going to do? He could do uh, anywhere between where the fuck is it? Uh, 12 and like 72. I like those. You want to take the opportunity attack? Well, it's either that or on his turn he uses an AOE spell and kills both of us. Surprisingly, he doesn't really have any AOE spells. Interesting. Well, um, he's, he's one on one on one. Okay, between the two of us, I've used two spells that both fucked with his mind. I'd imagine he would want to get rid of me first. I'm going to go ahead and have him roll to try and hit you. Uh, what's your AC? 15. 15. That is a hit. Just barely. And by just barely, I mean 50. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, roll the fucking damage. Uh, 10. 21. 26. 36. Uh, 44. Fuck me, D12. 50. Take 50 damage. Okay. Um, wait, what did he roll to hit? 15. He rolled a 15? Yes. What's his AC? 15. 15. Can I cutting words it? Kind of already happened. I should have taken Can the Can cutting words it? I mean, he's about to hit you again. Or you. Or both. Can you cutting words him now? I mean, I could after the roll. So since it's the end of your turn, Acerek will cast or er, spend a legendary action and cast. Where is he right now? Right in front of you. Is he still on the thin bridge? Yes. What's directly in front of us? The lava. Directly in front of us is the lava. Yes, it's kind of all around you. Excellent. He cast a ray of sickness. On you. On me? Yes. What is that? You need to, I believe it's con save. Ray of, I put sickens. Uh, no, make a ranged spell attack. So, uh, what's your AC? Uh, 16. Doesn't Plus. even matter if he hits you. No matter what. No matter what he hits? Yeah. It's a nat 20. No, he got 18. Which means he has... A 33. 
said, what's this plus 15? So, uh, how do you feel about some well, poison damage? Proficiency bonus. Um, I think it's bullshit. Take 10 poison damage. I take 10 poison damage. Oh, no, 10 poison damage. Oh, by the way, you need to make a con save. Ten. Ten as well. Uh huh. You have a disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Shit. And now it's his turn. Um. Who's turn? Acer X. Use ray of sickness as a reaction. Uh, legendary action. Uh. He has three of them. Mm. Okay. That's a bit this bullshit. Show on the road. I mean, I'm just gonna end this here, pretty much. You gonna kill us? Yeah. I mean, you took the last one, though. Mm. Acerak casts what? Tower Word Kill. What? On you. What? How much? You're dead. Is? Hold on. What is that? If he has less than 100 hit points, he dies. No questions asked. Had 69, and I wanted to make that joke, and then you killed me. <laughs> Needs to make it. And there's nothing I can do to stop this. Nope. Not it's a even. Ninth level spell. And it's not my turn, so I can't hit him with a fifth level healing. Ha, I yeah. made this dumbass waste a ninth level spell slot. <laughs> he gets it back. <laughs> Plus, there's only two of you he's trying to kill. And he has two of them, so you're next. Now I really wish Banjo and Rosmi were here. You should have became a god. <laughs> sure. I'm really surprised you didn't, like, take that and then immediately just run with it. Okay, what would have happened had I chosen to accept that offer? Uh, you would have been under his control, and he would have had you fight your friends. But then he would have left. Because he would have had other more important shit to do. So I could just fight him with like, eh, cutting words. No oh matter, no, I've been defeated. No matter what you do, he's using power word kill on you next turn. And you can't stop that. Um. Unless you can somehow have over 100 hit points by the start of his next turn. Alright. Wait, so does he have to just, like, point at me and... If you're within 60 feet of him, he can cast it on you. Oh, fucking... If I hadn't used confusion, I would have actually gotten away. <laughs> Literally, I could have disengaged and then... How far away is he from me? He's right on top of you. Kinky, but, like, so within five feet? Yes. I would have to dash away to be able to escape. And does that use my action? Yes. And then he could move 30 feet and then cast it on you. Hmm. Acerac, as the person on the cover, isn't somebody to fuck with. He had to get that fucking opportunity to cast that and he's gone. <laughs> okay. So, he can cancel spells. Yep. I can't teleport the fuck away. Because it just cancel it. Jevil's there, not really doing anything. Nope, because Acer is going to kill him. And has no problem with it. Because he has three 8th level spells to cast on Jevil. Can't do shit. Just accept your death. Okay, there's one thing I can do. There's one thing I can do. You want to have this fight with Acerac? What? You want to have this fight with Acerac? I kind of want to see if I can just get him to fall into the lava. Okay. He's immune to charm. Not really what charm unless it's a spell effect. Charm. Natural charm is still charm. Attraction. Plus he's an undead piece of shit. He doesn't care. You're telling me... He did kill his own wife and turn her into an 
a lich as well. Oh shit, that was his wife? Are you yes. telling me that skeletons can't get boners? <laughs> uh, that's exactly what I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they are boners. <laughs> okay, so there is something I can do. What is it? Okay, so are there any bones within 30 feet? <laughs> no. Shit. Okay. You have been invited to die. <laughs> All right. Except, except. Smell the bone out of your hand or something. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to mage hand my fucking femur. Okay, with mage hand, <laughs> I'd like to cast. I'd my like to. Tibia. Hold on, guys. Yeah. With mage hand, I'd like to cast. Uh, I'd like to no, throw a ball Should bearing at one of the piles of bones yeah, to make no, it shift, no, like just out of his yeah. notice, to make yeah. him think there's yeah, a there's spider a there. Come up there. Okay. And while oh, he's distracted he's by not. No. Or at the least, would he see the metal ball bearing fly right, through okay, the I air? Took, I took yes. I took it out of me But his eyes flicker the bat away from me for a second. Oh, he's determined to kill you now. Because you just destroyed his eternal pulse that he spent years making. Fine then, I'll banjo like blast the fucker off the edge. The whole ass move. The whole ass move. Mm. Right. And blast what him. The fuck I want to do and he floats in the air. I like bones. 30 feet back. Ass bones. So he's 30 so feet I, away from me. Okay, so this is the human world. I still have and my movement speed. And then the radius speed. of Ulna. And 30 it's going to be amphibia. Oh. 30 okay, feet of so movement yeah. speed. What does... It's the one that's the huge shape. What does it takes an action to dash? Yeah. Bro, the worst fucking part of anatomy Whoa. is the bones in the skull. Is that in okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't remember what was the hardest for me. I don't. Did you do like okay with the spine? There's like mm-hmm. there's three sections of it. Yeah, and, and like, like did you do the breakfast thing or whatever? Like your breakfast is gonna land, so you got seven in the top part. Yeah. Where exactly am I on the map? You have to do numbers. And then you're, you're on the bridge. Oh no, we have like on the seven, bridge. twelve, and five. In about 20 you feet your, your to get to the s- <laughs> like the yeah. sidewalk yeah. that you were on that goes oh, to the stairs. Maybe the skull was a little bit hard. 20 feet to you get to the entrance, the entrance of the stairs, and that's about it. Then you could easily move there yeah. as well. But I went to a trade school, and I got my honors diploma. That's the only reason. Okay, I his he so 30 feet away from the entrance. Because I always don't like. And I'm 20 feet away from the entrance. 30. I'm 30 feet. So you just kind of blasted him parallel to it. Everyone was saying our anatomy was hard, and I was like. Probably right, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Hey, give me half a second to think. Yes. You're dead, yeah. just accept it. No! But I also did that in the seventh grade. A so, what? like, an alpha it? Puke? There's uh, no getting out yeah. of it. You can take it Can I back. run back and try and stealth I'd out of the frog? Not, not that. Can't even yeah. attempt it? Okay. Well, I mean, if you want to attempt it, pig. great, I'll attempt it. I don't know what your stealth is, but chances are it's not high enough. Yeah, Probably like, not, but I mean, I'd yeah, still like to right. attempt. But Roll for stealth, because I remember his passive perception. Us, she wanted us to get the bones out of it. Fantastic. Mm. And then we tried to see what like, animal we had out of a bone. 21. Kind of right. He still sees oh, you. Had, like, Fantastic. Ours. That was weird. Mm. Power word kill, and you're dead. No getting away from but, like, it. Fan you know, like, an alpha, like, fucking cow. It's just really dusty. That's because it's gross. It's like dry hair and all that Rusted. shit. It's just dusty as hell. Asarak killed the party, pretty much. What do you mean the party? You think he they chased got out him, alive? He chased him down and fucking ended him. The world has fallen into disrepair as the plague spreads ac- across the planet. I mean, we got we got one thing. It took the. Com- I mean, you killed the thing that was eating the souls. You yeah. didn't kill the thing that was stealing them from people. So that would have been the tank farther back. Yes, that's what you needed to destroy. I expected it to be the giant fetus. Not the, the giant fetus is eating them. So you did stop people's souls from being eaten and, you know, disappear. But he's still stealing souls from people, and the death curse is still spreading. Okay, so just for the sake of the stream and not end it on, a ha- on, end it on hey, everybody fucking died, goodbye. Can we say that just Banjo, Magic Man, and fucking Rosney just ended them? No, because uh, Acerac could kill all of them. Everybody fucking died. <laughs> Acerak has the ability to stop time like Magic Man does, except for longer and not have the repercussions. The Warzer. Pretty much. So but for minutes at a time. We, were we supposed to do that? Wait, what if we got the help of the... Um, if we had more time, if the entire party went at Acerak all at once, you could have beaten him. He only has like 300 hit points. Slightly less than that. 
Yes, and it would have killed him. I based him off a of Jebel, dude. You told Jebel's us. Jebel is a lot stronger, at least in terms of HP, okay. than Acerak is. He had like 1,800 hit points, and I was like, okay, no, Acerak yeah, obviously got like at least 500, if not 1,000. Actually, we still would have killed him if we had hit him with that bat. Yeah. But you also have to remember that Acerak could just stop time, move out of the way. Yeah. And then resume time. But I mean, and only, it would miss. It was only if like he was like surprised by it, or if he didn't notice it, which would just not happen. <laughs> okay. Unless, what about, unless what about unless you didn't know what was in the bag? What about the steampunk son of a bitch? What, what if we got his help? Because <laughs> his <laughs> he's, <laughs> his <laughs> not strong enough. <laughs> his no, but he has that pocket watch that can stop Happy time. Death he does. <laughs> so. <laughs> So if that was you, no, along was with so Magic awesome. Man, Rosmi, and Banjo, who well, would stops time for everyone who's not within a certain radius of the watch. God, the magic spell is just some like OP bullshit. Okay, so if they were in a certain like, radius, yeah, theoretically, could the, the four of them yeah. fucking end I it? You can tell. Potentially. Can we say for the so sake of the stream like, and like that Jane universe that they no, managed to fucking like end it? No. Like, it's just a gravel, you know, yeah. this is Why? like 50. Because I don't oh, feel like going through that encounter on in, my own. You don't have to, you just say. Like, well, as far as I know, like, Acerak could end most of them like, with power or kill. He could kill Rosny with it, he could kill the guy with the watch with it, Magic Man's brother, and he could kill Magic Man pretty easily. Did we ever learn that name of him? Magic Man's brother? Yeah. Yeah, you learned his name. What is it? Fucking... 